And we are live. Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California every Sunday and Tuesday, now at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Ashley St. Clair back there. Yep. Uh, She's a bit shy, guys. A few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer supported, heavy YouTube demonetization. So please consider donating through Streamlabs, which we have pulled up here instead of super chatting as YouTube takes a brutal 30% cut. So if you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. I'm doing the math here for you guys. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. Streamlabs.com slash whatever link is in the description. Uh, Let's see, we have, uh, oh, also just see the description for all the other triggers and full details. Uh, We do have TTS enabled. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS text to speech message. That is uh, currently $99 and up triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. Guys, please keep the Super Chats donations. TTS respectful, playful roasting is okay. But if you go too far with it, we reserve the right to not show or read it. We have channel memberships. To become a channel member, hit the join button. Tier one is just $5 a month. You can also gift memberships. We're also live on Twitch right now. Guys, do me a favor. Pull up another tab. Go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow on the Prime sub if you have one. And uh, we'll check back in here and thank all of you who, uh, pr- who drop a uh, Prime. We got merch. Shop.whatever.com. Stuff you can wear to not be naked. Don't be a criminal. Get some merch. Follow us on Instagram at whatever. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, BD underscore Atlas. Check out my nonprofit, Big Lady Be a Matter or BLM for short. If you want to try something new. And, oh, uh, wait, what? If you want to, huh? Oh, so I got some, some of the, if anybody, anyone here open to get roasted? Because there's some people in the chat who are professional roasters. I already know I'm going to. <laughs> Okay, you're. Okay. I don't. I don't want to, but I already know it's coming. So. What well, one thing we want to do? In the, maybe I don't know if anybody familiar with Reddit. There's this this yeah. subreddit called Roast Me, and we could submit people for roasting. Anyways, we're gonna, have, we'll like, do a it. Roast we'll, we'll do another show. Thing. I don't like. I'm not like trying to be roasted. What could they possibly thing. roast you about? Oh, just nothing. <laughs> absolutely, uh, guys. If you can't catch the full shows, we have three clips channels. Link for that is in the description. Go subscribe. Yeah, you can't. It's hard to see it from. Uh, I need to get rid of that. Without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Christy. I'm 33 years old, and I'm an OnlyFans model. I'm Monica. I am 22. I do hair, and I'm in airport customer service. You're a hairstylist? <laughs> I wouldn't say hairstylist. Oh, you cut hair? No. Are you a barber? No. What, what do you mean? Like, what like do you... I braid hair. I do wigs. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you don't cut hair? No. Okay. Because <laughs> I know people who cut hair, that's that's kind of a red flag. No, I don't cut okay, hair. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is Yuan. I'm 36, and I am a physician, specifically a neurologist. You're an MD, is that correct? I am. Uh, and uh, you said you're a neurologist? I am. Okay. That's right. All right. Rock and roll. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm 21, and I'm a personal stylist, and I also do content creation through Nordstrom, and I'm currently also a student. You do content creation through Nordstrom? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, you post to their pages, or Um, social media manager? Yes, I have my own page where they'll use my content on their own pages, Mm. and then I also do styling videos for the website. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hello, my name is Madison. I'm 18 years old. I work for the Brian Atlas. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I, okay. What? Okay. Well, normally you say whatever podcast, so I guess it's I, one I've decided same, to but. change it up. Um, I'm a host at a bar as well as a student at Santa Barbara City College setting business. Okay, cool. I'm Alex. I'm the host of the Spillover podcast and also Real Alex Clark on YouTube. A- Did you say age? Oh, and I'm 30. 30, okay. <laughs> I'm also 30. My name is Isaac Butterfield. I'm a comedian from Australia, also a YouTuber, an author, and a father. Mm. Yeah, great. And you've reacted to a couple of our uh, videos. I, I have, think, so. I have. I, uh, I you've was, got a great channel, man. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. I was really hoping uh, Al Weezy would be in here today, but... Next time. Next, next time. time I will make the flight back just for Al. Perfect. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll make it happen. Put me next to her, please. <laughs> Three times a charm. I'm the Q-Pill. 
uh, behavioral scientist, certified relationship coach, also author of YouTube. Uh, I said YouTube. I'm the author of Amazon's number one new coming book, The Q Pill and Overdose of Reality, The Remedy for a Cold World. And I do content creation as well. I'm a YouTuber, anti political correct, anti politically correct. Okay. I'm also 30 years old. 30, 30, right. 30, 30 corner. It's the 30, 30 corner. corner. The old corner. corner. There you go. <laughs> All right, great. So we're going to go around the table one more time. So what is your current relationship status? Are you single, talking sage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, polycule, sex, cult? Uh, if you're single, how long have you been single? And what's your longest relationship? Go ahead. My longest relationship is three years. I got out of my last relationship five months ago. Um, and I got engaged in the DMs from my ex, a different ex, one of my exes. So I think I'm, I think we're getting married. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were, okay, you were on the last show. You were here on Tuesday. Yeah, I know a lot uh, has changed. You were single. Yeah, and um, And now you're engaged to your so ex-boyfriend? Well, yeah, we got engaged in the DMs and Eng we're- He proposed in the DMs? He's, um, that's yeah, he's a Republican, and he comes from a traditional family, which I know no one believes I can get. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we, I had to stay here a lot longer. I didn't expect to be here. So um, one of the only people I knew in LA was my Eskimo sister. And uh, our ex, we, like I keep in touch with him anyway, and I asked him why he's not a dad, and he asked me if he could make me a mom, and I said, it depends where we live, and he said Florida. So. I said, do I have to change my relationship status for the podcast? And he thought it'd be a good idea. And I asked him if this was a marriage proposal and he said it was. So Wait, we're, okay. we're planning a life together. <laughs> Wait, so okay, a couple points of clarification. Your, you said your longest relationship with three years. Is this the ex that you're not engaged to? No, 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 this is like- A, a different ex. Oh, so actually this ex, I, he kind of called me out the, like the other night because I ghosted him to get into the three-year relationship, and then when we broke up, we started talking again. So, wow. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> well, well, the last time you were on the show, you said you were in the talking stage with a couple people, correct? Yeah. Uh, how many prior to this engagement? How many <laughs> talking stages were you in? You said it was um, a few. Yeah, like I was talking to two different guys that live in Miami. Oh, just two? Um, well, There's a few more, wasn't there? Well, like two two main contenders. Two main. Okay, yeah. so you had two main pieces, I guess. Yeah, I two like main like that I thought. Side, were... How many side pieces did you have? I mean, I don't know. Do my fans count? Because sure. I, I, I got. I mean, it depends. Like, <laughs> sure. I, I had two main contenders. To be honest, <laughs> the ex, I didn't expect him to want to mom me up, so um, that kind of came out of the blue. I do talk to him a lot, but I think it was the fact that I was hanging out with my Eskimo sister uh, that I even asked him about the kids thing, and then you know things just escalated from there. There's a lot going on. Yeah, you know? wait. Yeah, that's a lot. So are you planning? I'm still to have over to propose on a DM. Yeah, <laughs> as long as he moves to Florida, like he says, yes, we will be having. That's good. Kids okay. in a traditional household. Wait, so he did he see you on the podcast, and that that's he, what. He, um, we, we talk in the DMs, like we talk, we keep in touch a lot. Um, but he did react to like, um, a story. Okay. And then I was going to hit him up since I was like with my Eskimo sister anyway. And we were like, we're just confused why you're not a dad by now because like he's kind of in the public eye. So like, he, I'm sure he has a lot of opportunities and, um, Nick, can you pull up that photo? You know, the photo of the guy. I think I know who this might be. Nick, you know which photo to pull up? Uh, I don't think you do. It's not, the, it's not the website, it's the photo. So you're not single you anymore. Got, you got it, Nick? I'm you apparently think. engaged, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting to give There's only one photo. Right? There's only, but he did don't say, say that. it was yes, pull it up. a marriage proposal. I specifically asked. Is it this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I wish it was him so badly. <laughs> like, I don't want him to, like, cheat on Melania or anything, but, like... He wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, if, if he proposed, I would totally Trump is daddy. So, yeah, I would, um, I would, I would ghost this Trump guy is... that I, for a second time, to be honest. If it Wait, hold Trump. on. You, you would ghost the guy who you're now engaged to for Donald Trump? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? What is it about it Trump? Does... What is it about Trump Every, in your life? Everything. I think... 
Like, it's the way he talks. He's got riz. It's the way he talks. Out of all the presidents, President Trump has the most riz. No one can deny that, whether you're on the right or the left. Um, what is riz? What is Eskimo <laughs> sisters? Where am I? I Welcome to America. He's got the most He's got the most He's got the most There's like two girls who have hooked up with the same guy. Oh, like, so it, oh. Or if like you've kissed the same guy. So it's right. Like, we found out after the fact. We actually found out at a wedding shower. Our mutual friends, like, by the way, you both. Um, yeah, jizz twins. Yeah. But, Sick. But then we, we <laughs> hit it off because we love Trump so much. And then we had like the guy in okay. common. And now we became friends. I'm just curious how in a less than a seven day period, you went from being having multiple talking stages, multiple situationships, to not being engaged. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Like, I just like, why you know? did you say yes? What? Why did you say yes? Um, because well, I mean, he's asked. He's told me he's wanted to date me before. This isn't like anything new. So you're but gonna marry someone? You, wait. I, I'm waiting till he puts a ring on it. But like, why would you say? But even if he puts a oh, ring on I, it, I mean, I like him. How old are you? Thirty-three. Mm, that's <laughs> no, nothing, no, nothing. I like the way you use quotes though. Well, yeah. There's a lot of quotes going. Yeah, on. exactly. <laughs> Who are you quoting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you never know if it's gonna happen. But no, nah. we had a conversation, and it definitely might not happen after this. It de- that, well, that's why I'm doing Uh-oh. quotes. But what does power it mean on your hand? Pretty fast here. Um, power is in the palm of my hand. Can you show it to this camera right it. here? Oh, it was like power hand jobs or something. Well, that's <laughs> why it's faded, to be honest. Oh, actually. <laughs> It used to just be like really black and dark, and there was no holes in the middle of it. So oh, you got okay. it got faded from hand jobs. Yeah. Mm. So it's been walking around smeared one hundred dollars. Hold on. At least thirty three tracks. You being thirty three tracks, apparently. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Mr. Meatball, can you? What, what do you mean? Can you elaborate on that one? Big it means <laughs> it makes sense. It means it makes sense that oh, she's thirty three. Okay. But I mean, oh, okay. what he's referring to, I don't know. All right. Oh, well, thank uh, you. I think. Oh, right. Okay. Do you think he'd be upset by the poll you would... Donald Trump thing? The Don, yeah, the oh, no, Trump no, no. thing. He's been seeing my IG stories from the start. Um, he knows my love for Trump. We both, we both love him, but he doesn't love do him you think like he I would, do. Do you think your now fiancé would call off the engagement if he could get with Trump? No, 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 no. no okay, no. he doesn't go that. No. Okay, no, no. all right. Uh, what about you? Um, I'm in a relationship. I've been in a relationship three years we just hit our three-year anniversary last month um i like to say i'm happily married i do plan on getting married to him so wait so are you engaged or no (laughs) but i like to say i'm like that's my little if people ask like oh are you in it yeah that's my quotes (laughs) if people are like oh you're in a relationship i'm like i'm happily married but you're not but i'm not but i'm not (laughs) okay but it's the quotes. But it's, it's, it's the quotes. It's the quotes. It's fine. Hmm. Okay. Your wife feed to I'm, your... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, and is this your longest relationship? Yeah. Okay. What about you? I'm in a relationship for about two years, and my longest relationship is about two and a half. All right. Uh, I've been in a relationship for a little bit over a year and a half, and it's my longest one. All right. I'm very happily in a committed relationship, <laughs> and this is my longest relationship. It's been 11 months, almost a year. I just want to say prove y'all wrong, because y'all thought I was going to only be in it for 10, ye- 10 months. Okay, she has proved everyone wrong. Go ahead. Wrong. Uh, I'm single. I've been single for a little over a year, and my longest relationship is a year and a half. Okay. I have been married for a year, and we've been together for the best part of a decade been together for a decade okay yeah wow. she's uh she's the funniest human i know so that's uh does she also make uh youtube content yeah we've got a uh, youtube channel together little buttsman and we have a podcast together the mum and dad show where we have our son atticus on we don't show his face that much because people in the comment section are weird they try to diagnose people with like mm. there's a few youtubers she watches where they'll have like their son or their daughter and they go oh i think that's definitely autism there there's uh, like in the Ooh. comment section and whatnot so it's uh we sort of just hide his face or hold him towards us that type of thing but She's hilarious. She could have. She could easily be a comedian. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, she, she's a lovely human. Gotcha. And Q, what what about you? Uh, I'm currently single, unmarried. That's what that means. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm enjoying the bachelor life right now. Okay. When I'm ready to settle down, I probably will. Maybe in another two years or so. 
Okay. Do you, do you have uh, any girls in any girls in the picture? A couple girls, one girl. What? Yeah. All of a, the above. All of the above. Okay. All of the above. Okay. I got options. And uh, so you, uh, what, what's your longest relationship you've had? Uh, my longest relationship was three years. Three years, yeah, got three it. Years. Okay, three years. And you, so you've got like, uh, like a harem, basically. I don't want to say a harem. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah, but you don't do. Wanna... You do, but you don't want to say. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. Okay. You're a handsome guy, so I mean, you know, I don't. It's. Yeah, is it sense. a harem or is it a roster? <laughs> it probably would more be a roster, roster if we're being okay. honest. Um, but. There is a lady who takes the cake. There's a you have a main main girl. Yeah, if I okay. if I settle down, it's definitely gonna be with her. You know, she she leaving the rest of the girls in the dust right now. So gotcha. But yeah. she she knows that you see other women too. So. Uh, yes, I always communicate up front with the women that I date that I'm dating multiple women until I decide that one is sufficient enough that I can put all my eggs in that basket. Sure. Until they show me that I can put all my eggs in that basket, then well, I how do, do you me. keep up with so many? Um. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's hard. I, I don't. <laughs> would I don't. Be hard. Yeah, they kind of, what they do is I'll talk to one here, one there. We'll hang out. We'll do whatever. Then I let them go in the wind. Then just, you know, when they pop back up, I'll be like, oh, you want to do this? You want to go here? They'd be like, sure. You know, yeah, I would love to. And I'm like, okay. I think yeah, girls we'll like that. Yeah. yeah See, I never doing? had that when I was young. See, I was I'm, super desperate. I was right. just like, please. And I'm on my male mission. So I'm on my mission in life to become who I want to become. So until I, I'm happy with myself fully, then I can't fully give myself to a woman until I'm content with where I'm at. So they kind of have to wait it out. So if they just happen to date somebody else, then... FDG, thank you for the uh, 50 gifted uh, <laughs> memberships. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, does that trigger a fit check? I don't know. Uh, uh, go ahead with your point, though. Oh, I was just saying, um, as I'm on my journey to figure out who I am, if they end up dating somebody else and I tell them if you want to date somebody else, go ahead, date somebody else. I'll see you when I see you. Okay. And the one who's sticking around, that'll be the one that I marry. What qualities does that one girl have that doesn't compare to the others? Oh, commitment and loyalty. Respect. Like, even even when it it's the most difficult of times, she's still there. She pick up the phone when I call. Um, when I'm hurt, I can count on her to give me a massage, stretch me, cook me dinner when I need dinner. She does pretty much everything. She's there. It's loyalty. So does that loyalty and commitment go both ways, you? or is it just kind of yeah. one-sided? I was, I was, oh, it depends yeah. on it depends on the type of loyalty you you talking about. Because for women, women are typically sexually loyal, whereas a man, we're loyal with who we invest our time in. So she gets more time than any other woman would get. Lucky she, her. Yeah, we do more <laughs> things together than any other woman. So if I want to be vulnerable, I feel I can be vulnerable with her. I don't necessarily feel that I can be vulnerable or open up to other women. But she knows that you are. Like sexually active with other people. Yep. Okay. And and even then, it's seeing how she responds to the situation. See, I don't actually just go out and actively. So just, it's a test. Not a test, but it's so she doesn't feel betrayed. So it's like if I do this, know that I probably would do it if the opportunity presents itself. But I'm not going out there hunting. Like I'm not approaching women day in and day out. Like I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to you know I'm not doing that. But if I go somewhere because I travel and things like that, if a woman pops up. She may come back to the hotel room. She may not. Is she okay with that? And does she know that that's a possibility that might happen? Uh, yeah. Okay. She know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, she, she, know she, she knew she before. I wouldn't put her on the spot like that if she didn't. Yeah, she knew before. Life. She Yo, knew before. Plan life. Thank you for the. Uh, Would the, you say? The membership. Sorry, bro. Oh, go, go Would ahead, you go. say that she's your best friend? Yes. I, I think that's the number one thing with yeah. the person you end up with. That's, that's what it becomes. If you can grow old with that person, if you're happy to look at them when they're sitting there in mm -hmm. a diaper when they're 80, 90 years old, and still they make you laugh, they make you happy, that's your person. Yeah. Without so just to clarify the loyalty part, it sounds like how you interpret loyalty from one way is different from loyalty the other way. Because it's demonstrated in different ways behaviorally between men and women. Yeah. As I, yeah, as I said. So women, like I said, I can tell a woman, you're free to do whatever. But if that woman doesn't want to do it, she just made her choice. She doesn't want to do it. And why she doesn't want to do it, she's attached. She's committed. She wants to see what happens between us, what comes between us, you know, what develops between us. Me, on the other hand, like I said, it's with my resources, where my time spent, where my pockets go. So that's typically how I show loyalty outside of sexual loyalty. Do you think that your attention to, like, other women, say, though, interferes with your investment in this one girl? No. You know? How many um, side no. side girls do you have? How many side girls? Yeah, side pieces, yeah. Pieces. 
Um, maybe only about four. Four. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's too many. <laughs> maybe, maybe, only. maybe only about four. You can't have four. Maybe only about four. You know, there's a limit. There's dudes out there desperately trying to find yes. love, and you're in here hogging everyone. That's awesome. <laughs> Disgraceful. So I hear what you're saying that, you know, what sorry. what you want and maybe what your partners want are a little bit different. So hence you define loyalty a little bit differently. I guess with um, ethical non-monogamy, which it sounds like what you're doing, a question that often comes up for me is that time time is a finite resource, right? So if you're spending time with one, you can't spend as much time with someone else. So how do you sort of, um, how do you sort of think about that with time being such a finite resource? Well, I'm actually a relationship guy. Like, I like being in a relationship. I like being committed to one woman. But as I said, it's one of those things, it's, it's, it sounds complex. One sec. It Yo, is. FDG, thank you for the uh, gifted 50 memberships. Thank you very much. It, it sounds complex, but I've been navigating it really well. And this has been going on probably since 2016 um, with just me. Well, I wasn't in a relationship in 2018. I was in a relationship for a year. Was committed, monogamous, had no issues there. Um, but as I said, as I'm on my journey trying to obtain everything I'm trying to obtain with this newfound going viral and blowing up here and on YouTube and everything, just traveling, doing different podcasts, I see a different side of life and I'm not ready to settle down yet. So it's kind of if you want to stick with me through this this journey as I gain more finances, as I gain more resources, then I'm going to remember that. And when it's time for me to settle down, I do have that one girl in mind that I want to settle down with. So it's kind of like I'm not going to stop dealing with women just because I'm by myself. Is but it? Is it that you you love women so much? Yes. That you need more than one. Yes. I was. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Yeah, I love yeah, women. Yeah. I love women. If she if she I, asked you to um, settle down now, would you say no? If she asked me to settle down now, would I say no? Um, no, probably not. Probably not because because so you risk losing her for. And not not waiting. I mean, you'd risk losing her. So yeah, you can to get where continue. I need to be. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess sometimes, like depending on what you're doing in life and where you're going, sometimes you can't take everybody with you. Right. So you have to. But also in saying that, sometimes you've got to make sacrifices. Right. So if you see that this is a very important part of your life to be with this person that you love, then perhaps you need to find a different way to approach how you're creating content, traveling, all these types of things. Mm -hmm. Like for me, for example, my wife, when I just started out in comedy, she was working. Okay, Flan Life. Thank you for the 50 gift. Go ahead, Isaac. Listen, just Thank you, Flan fucking Life. Keep it yeah, down. I know, there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when she was working, normal jobs, all that type of stuff, and I'd be away. But I made it, so I only went away from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I was always back for the week. Mm -hmm. So we'd be there, we'd be together, and we'd spend that time together. It cost me more money to travel and all those different types of things, but that was a sacrifice that needed to be made at right. that point in our lives. And you know, from that, from other sort of sacrifices we made, we now travel together everywhere. I think that's the important thing. It's like you've got to see who will come with you on the journey, but yeah. sometimes you need to sort of change your approach to the relationship to make sure that they are able to come with you on the journey. Right. I, I got a question for you. Yeah. Are all your girls, like your main girl, did you say you had, there's one main girl or were there, there's like, was it two main girls? Or just no, one, no, no, no. One I main mean, girl yeah. and then four side girls and then maybe there's some other girls that come and go. Um, no, the, I mean the four that are my size, they like come and go. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't look for them, I don't search for them. If right. they hit me up like, hey, I'm trying to link, I'm like, I'm cool with that. Sure. You know, I don't go looking for them. Okay. Yeah, I don't say, I don't say, yo, I need you to come over. Or I want to see you. They don't get that yeah. from me. Most of the time, it's the only one who gets that from me is the one that I talk to on a consistent basis. Are they all, including your side girl, all loyal to you? I have no idea, honestly. Well, hopefully they're I, not going to be after seeing this. I, I have no idea. I assume they aren't. I assume Wait, they even, aren't. Even your main girl? No, no, definitely not her. She, I know she's, I know she's she, loyal to she's you. She's loyal. I have but a question. She's yeah. Does the main girl, when watching this, know she's the main girl, or are the other four things? No, no, she knows. <laughs> she knows. She knows. And she knows. And she knows that she'll probably be the one that I marry. Do the other four know that they're not that main at all? They can't. They couldn't be. There's no way they could assume <laughs> that. We don't. We don't hang out enough. We don't do enough. We don't see each other enough. Okay. okay Some people I have just, a question. Sorry. So you just told her like. You wouldn't, if she was to say, like, drop everybody, drop all your stuff, 
Yo, FDG, thank you for the gifted 50. We'll get the fit check in a sec. Go she ahead. just said, like, if she was to say, drop everybody for me, you just say you wouldn't do it. But you're saying, like, but you also say you like being in a relationship. So I'm kind of, I just need a little bit of clarity. Like, I'm trying to figure out. It's when I'm ready. So if she asks me to and I'm not ready, I'm not going to. Once I'm ready, if she wants to come along with that, then that's when it, it'll be on my terms, basically. It'll be on my terms. It's, it's that simple. Okay. And there's nothing you can do about it. Some people are just down for dicking. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's the difference. So, See, when she, the when, she, when she asked me that, she said, if she wants it, and it's like, she doesn't determine that, I'll, I'll get, keep my commitment. Okay, so the gatekeeping of commitment, let me just say this. As somebody who is uh, dating for marriage and has been since probably I was 18, I mean, my entire life, I feel like I encounter that more often, and my friends and I are women who are looking to get married, and it's guys that give BS answers like that. It's not the women who are out here. Like, I feel like the chat makes it seem like they're, all women are like hoes, and nobody wants to settle down or get married or live a traditional life. Right. I encounter like way more men like to. that with that mindset than the opposite. Wait, you encounter way more men? Hoes? Met, oh. basically like what men who are like I, I like I, you know I'll be ready when I'm ready even though I'm 30 years old like I'm What's not going to get married there are Hold on, just a donated $100 no. lots of cognitive dissonance coming from this guy do you have a response to Mr. Meeple lots of cognitive dissonance oh yeah I, I mean I would I wouldn't completely deny that it's cognitive dissonance because as I pointed out I'm naturally a relationship guy so this is kind of the route that I'm taking to ensure that I'm comfortable with myself Alex but as I said, I'm not going to stop dating women just because, you know, I'm... You did find, like, one in a thousand of girls, you know, though. Like, you found a really great woman, and are you willing to risk that? No, I'm holding on to her. Yeah, but, like, what if she was, like, oh, like, you have... T- I want to get married. I want to be with you, and I only want to be with you. I've been loyal to you, but... I don't want you to see other people. I don't want you to see other women. Right. Well, like I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. You. I'll give you an example. We had a conversation recently, right? And I asked her if she felt that she deserved commitment because essentially when we first started dating, it was just us two. I was monogamous. I was exclusive. And she was sabotaging. She wasn't sure. She was insecure. She wasn't sure if this uh, what she wanted. So I told her, I said, well, if you're going to sabotage, then I'm going to date other people. See, I didn't disclose that to y'all. It started off rocky. So I said, I'm going to date other people because you don't know if you actually want this. So when I communicated that to her and I went on about my business, she popped back up like, no, I do want this. I'm going to try. And I said, nah, I want to date other people. If you want to stick around and wait to see, you know, that was that's that's what happened. So I didn't start off that way. How long have you guys like been talking? Uh, It's been almost three years. Okay. Yeah, it's been almost three years. That's why Way I said she's, How old is she? she's been here. She's 26. To, get out. She's She's been Run. here. She, she's not going why? anywhere. Because he's 30 and he he's still like, I don't know what I want. And I'm not ready to settle down. And she's getting close to that age where she's she's got to figure that out. She, I know. She's wasting I, time with you. She could find a guy that wants to get married. Yeah, but see, other guys ain't, ain't as dope as me. So <laughs> difficult. That's what. You, that, see, you forget like, that. Yeah, you like, see, y'all forget that. We're aware when girls don't want to date other guys. We're aware when we're we're at him, the cream of the crop for them. So if she's willing to wait, it's because she feels that she can't find better. And maybe she can, but I'm willing to bet she can't. Thank you, FTG. I don't think it's always that she can't find better. I think most of the time, us as women, we look at your potential. So most of the time we're staying around because we see potential that you're going to get with us, you're going to get it over yourselves see what you really have and then come back to us so i think that's what it is more than we can't find anybody better because like if we was to go out on the street right now we can find somebody like that's not you can find a whole bunch that's what i'm saying like we can find somebody so it's not like saying we can't find better it's just saying like we want you we want that potential but you're not giving us that potential so we're trying to hold on as long as we can until you give us that potential. No, the potential is the reason that you stay. Yeah. And if you see progress, if you see, so if, you're, if your boyfriend says, look, babe, I want to do this, I want to accomplish this, I want to accomplish this, and you see him accomplishing breadcrumbs, you see him getting breadcrumbs to where he's trying to get, that's going to make you even feel better. That's going to make you feel more better, right? Because you're working towards exactly. it. Exactly. You see it. you like, but oh, my God, not, he's doing it. What you're saying is she, she wants you. You're telling her, nah, it's okay. I'm going to go find my other options. 
if you want to stay, you can stay. So she's staying in the hopes that you're going to come back to her. She, that's her choice. Which is like messed up. But, but that's it, her choice, though. Q, Q, isn't it the case that a lot of women would rather be with like a really quality guy and share him Absolutely. than be in a relationship Absolutely. with a guy that they don't respect Absolutely. and that's weak or whatever. Absolutely. I don't think anyone I, wants to share, point. M- share their man, though. A lot of, like, if the guy is high status enough, I think a lot of women would be prepared to share him. Absolutely. Really? I mean, mm-hmm. I yeah. think what is not high women who are loyal and yeah, commu- committed to just you, woman. though. It doesn't have to be financial. It, doesn't, it, can be, it, can, it can be a myriad of things. It doesn't have to be financial. It can be financial. It can be the way he looks, the way he makes her feel, the way she feels about him. It's, it's a different it's different elements that go into it. It's not a one size fits all type ordeal. It's multiple things. And, and it if sounds you, like and if you observe a lot of men, if you observe a lot of men who are high status or high quality, they date multiple women. And as long as they're open and honest, some of those women are willing to accept that. OK, can I just ask something? If you, you know that she knows all of this about you and she's still willing to be with you, wouldn't that make you question her intelligence and then therefore wouldn't that make her less attractive to you not necessarily because what you're missing is y'all are talking about my main and the reason that i acknowledge she's my main so i'm well aware of the loyalty and commitment that she's shown which is why i'm saying when i'm ready to settle down she's at the forefront of my mind but it's a matter of me being willing to settle down I want to make sure I can take care of her. Yeah. I want to make sure I can provide for her. I want to make sure I can provide for our family. And you don't so, want to cheat on her when you're married. Yeah, and, I'm, so and, 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 like, and, yeah. and that won't happen. Like, I've never cheated. I've never cheated. I've never committed infidelity. So when, Yeah, but how are you going to reach that elite status of being able to provide for her and take care of her if you're spending all your money on all these side chicks? Who said I was spending all my money? I just said it. You don't have to I'm spend money on side chicks. I literally, you don't got to spend money on side chicks. I literally just said I only just invest say. resources in one girl. Okay. Yeah, so she's the only right. girl. So okay. that's what I said. When you asked about loyalty, I said there's sexual loyalty. And then with men, how we show loyalty, that's who we invest our time, energy, effort, resources, and finances into. So she gets way more than that. You don't see me out on dates with side chicks. I'll take her out anywhere. I'll go on vacation with her anywhere. And it sounds like you would prefer her not to sleep with other people, or that might even be a deal breaker for you. Is that uh, right? Absolutely, because she can't do it. I know if she sleeps with another guy, I've lost her. So I actually don't disagree with you as far as the consent part of it, which is that if she consents to you being with other people and consents to her being monogamous to you, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If it's a mutually consensual relationship between two people, you don't always have to have the same rules for each other, and that can go either way for for anything, right? Mm -hmm. Um, The only concern I would have, I guess, is is she staying with you out of insecurity? And if she doesn't have all her things together, because it sounds like at the beginning when you left, she was like, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm getting the details wrong, but it sounds like you left, and then she's like, no, 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 I want you back, and I'm willing to put up with you being with other people because I like you so much. So that gives me the vibe of someone who's a little bit insecure and maybe a little bit unsure of other partners that she can find. Um, you, you're, you're saying re- she's insecure. That. Yeah, I, re- saying- I, reinforce, I reinforce her ability to get other men, though. Thank you, FTG. I, I reinforce her. I positively affirm her ability to get other men. So, so, so just I, to so just finish my thought. Sorry. So oh, to, I'm sorry. to finish my thought. So I guess what I would be concerned about is if she is coming from a place where she doesn't feel that she is whole and does not need your help to reaffirm her. Can we? Can she truly consent in that in that case? So you know that would be something to consider. You said does she feel? Does she? Can you repeat that? Yeah, so in a situation where she is feeling like she needs other resources for validation, such as Mm -hmm. yourself or other things, Mm -hmm. in that case, can she truly consent to you being with other partners? Because is she fully aware of all the repercussions that that will have on her? I am full. I am not aware of how she feels with that in that regard. But you haven't talked about it. I mean, we 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 open and honest. But a lot of the things that I say, look, I say. At the end of the day, it's your decision. If you want to be with another guy, and I've communicated this to her, if I say you'll make a great wife, whether it's for me or another guy, if you don't want to wait on me, you don't have to wait on me. All of these things have been communicated. So I hear what you're saying because you're, you're talking a lot about consent, but however, there's consent and then there's informed consent. Mm-hmm. Wait, so what, what do you, I, I don't know where the consent comes That's what in. I'm trying to figure I'm, out. What, what does that have to do? I try to avoid he, conversations about consent. <laughs> right? well, yeah, yeah, Massively like, overrated. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. Um, I think she's joke. just trying to say maybe <laughs> yeah. your maybe your main chick was only saying that just because she's scared to lose you. Wait, but okay, he like agreeing he, to you the let her know, agreeing right? to the so terms. So I don't see yes. how consent comes in. He was up front with her. He's not like cheat. He's not going behind yeah, her back yeah, yeah. and cheating. I understand well, consent that. meaning like she knows what's going on. She's willingly doing it. Because you told her though, right? You, yeah. you told yeah, her like what's she up. knows what's going on. Yeah. Do so, you? Sorry. Go I'm ahead. Just, so what's the what's the consent? So one one thing that kind of happens in the ethical non-monogamy community, and maybe this doesn't apply to you, but there's kind of like the don't ask, don't tell. So maybe you know that your partner's out there doing other things. Mm -hmm but you would rather not know the details. And in that case, you know, it's sort of a gray area because it's like, you know it's happening, but what is the reason that you don't want to know how many other partners they have? You know, even considerations about safe sex and protection and things like that. Those are our relevant things, right? So if you don't have those things laid out on the table, you consent sort of on the superficial level, but there's not deeper informed consent with all the information in front of you. So that's kind of the only thing I bring up. The ethical non-monogamous Monogamy. community. <laughs> and that that's... You're in that yeah, community. That's your <laughs> the ethical. I just found this out. Um, I was unaware of this. I but, hope it's ethical. But but um. Are you but ethical? Uh yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I, yeah, it, I'm eth it, do you mean like okay? Say for example, I'm talking about recycling. We take STI tests. <laughs> like, you know, if I've been with somebody else or whatever, I'll take an STI test to make sure she, you know what I'm saying. I'm clean. She's good. Like, is that what you mean? So that's part of it. So the STI part is sort of the physical health part of it. There's also sort of the emotional repercussion part of it. And so that's a little bit of a gray area because you can make the argument, well, we've sort of talked a little bit about, you know, babe, how would you feel if I slept with another person or I had four other side chicks? Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit of a gray area as far as how much you've talked about it and how much of that is enough or like what is considered informed. Um, but sort of the opposite extreme of that is the don't ask, don't tell, where it's like, I sort of know this happening, but I don't want to know anything about it. Oh. And in that case, what I would ask is, you know, are we really kind of considering your own emotional health in being able to you, say wait, yes to the situation? Are you suggesting that there's an assault occurring because there's not, you're, you're suggesting no, that there's no not. No, no assault. Is that what she said? Huh? Yeah. No. But, but he, he's already stated that he's, he's told her and he's on a podcast in front of thousands of people watching I assume they've had a conversation that I mean he's pretty open about it here on the podcast I assume they've had a conversation that and we it's have, open we on have his an understanding I, I mean you guys are trying to you guys are trying to get an understanding that you don't have but we have that understanding because we've had these conversations so it's not like I'm in an official relationship these are women that I'm dating so I'm so I date multiple women. I'm not in a committed relationship to anybody. So I, she knows that you're dating other people. Yes, Who gives exa a shit? exactly. So I'm dating other. So I, 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 I'm dating other women. And what I'm saying is, I take the most interest in her because I've been dating her the longest, and we've developed the strongest relationship out of all the women that I've been dating. So does that clarify a lot more? She's your fave. She's my favorite. <laughs> yes. No, I, I hear you. And like I said, I don't think anything you're doing is considered like uh, like crossing a boundary because clearly you've shared what you're doing with her. All I'm trying to express is that there are, there are sort of gradations in how you can you can do it. And kind of the more you share and the more you, you guys can kind of work through the repercussions of what you're doing, the healthier relationship that can lead to even if in the, in the future you decide to close the relationship and become monogamous. So... From, from what I've seen, right? So there, there's different gradations of how you can do it. As, as long as you two are both consenting, I don't see anything wrong. Oh yeah, with I, I'm transparent about everything. I try to be transparent about everything so that nobody's left to wonder, nobody's left to make assumptions in negative to where you know they feel overwhelmed with anxiety or they feel depressed or, you know, I don't wanna break anyone's heart. You know, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I'm open, transparent, honest about what I'm doing, what my intentions are. And at the end of the day, I just take it one day at a time, though. And that's I you, really man. hope you that's pursue fun. her. That's but like uh, I hope it works so, out. <laughs> so, but who here? It seems like a lot of the girls here object to the fact that he's he's open with his partners about this, but you object to the fact that he's seeing multiple women. That's what I, it would, is. I don't. I wouldn't say I object. I just y'all have pretty like knee jerk the, reactions. I don't like the too, dynamic. Cause well, I, on one sorry. end, I'm sorry. On one end, he's saying like. I'm free to do whatever I want with these women, you know, and that's how it's going to be. But if you were to do it, it's just a no-go for me. But doesn't that come down to me understanding the differences between men and women? 
I do it because I can do it. As I said, if she does it, I've lost her. Is I it, know is that it I lost just her. because you, you can do you something? Does that make it right? It's not about right it's or wrong. It's not about right or I wrong. I can stab you. It doesn't mean I should do it. It's not. It's not. It's not. I don't think you would necessarily. It's not about right or wrong. I think it would be. It would be like her saying, "Oh, you got all these other people on one side. I'm just doing it because you're doing it." But do you know her though? No, I'm not exactly. saying I'm, exactly. I'm not know saying her. I know so her. You don't know her. You don't know her. I know her. So I'm telling you, if she were to do it, based on how I know her, her behavioral tendencies, her attitude, the way that she thinks, how selective she is, how how um, secretive she is with her body, if she were to do it, that means she really liked the guy. That okay. means she liked that guy more than me. Go. I lost her. So that's what I'm saying. So I have a $99. Q, what is your ratio of women? <laughs> what is my oh, ratio like of women? Question. How many women approach me versus how many women I actually accept? Oh, my ratio is similar to Raspy's. I get approached by a lot of women, and I turn down a lot of sex, honestly. Yeah, I, I feel do. you. I turn down a lot of sex. My DM, is, my DM is full of thousands of women, and a lot of the times I just ignore it. Thousands? Yes. Yeah. Stop so, fogging so the women. I have a question <laughs> about, about your question. So... Another way to look at it, couldn't you also say that she has the freedom to leave if he isn't giving her what you want, what, what she wants, and she could look for a guy who is more willing to be monogamous to her? Yeah, she could. Yeah. She just she didn't could, choose to. Right? But yeah, I was just, just, she made her decision. She just didn't choose to leave. Together? Do we live together? Yeah. Not anymore. We did. At one, okay. So we right did now, at, okay. We did at one point, and when we did, I didn't even see other women. Well, the okay. thing is, for me, even though, just we, the, even though we weren't committed in a relationship, I still didn't see other women out of respect for the fact that we lived together. Go ahead, Kelly. I'm just saying that like, I don't I don't see the problem with you, um, you know, seeing other women just because of the fact that you are transparent with her, which is automatically it's in her hands. So if she chooses not to go see other people knowingly that you are dating other people, that's her choice to do. And it's like, like you said, like men and women are different. They're um, we have a, a man who's going to spend all of his time with the woman that he cares about the most. He's going to spend the most money because he works to make his money. So why would he go waste it on some girls that he doesn't see any potential in? So as long as like you know you're not saying this is my girlfriend and there's no like there's no title on it. There's nothing. I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. And that's exactly it's, what it is. Yeah. Well, she could be his girlfriend even but she, as long as she understands she's just his well, she, situation you know they're they're dating they're it's a part of dating but they haven't it's not like you ever said will you be my girlfriend right. because once that question comes out then that's a completely different story <clears throat> then you dating other women is cheating on her there you so. go. well she could she could still be your girlfriend though but you still have this understanding right even, but if, even but if, there's if, the she was, if she was my yeah. girlfriend though yeah i, I cut off Everybody, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. I cut off women instantly. Wait, so Alex, you were saying a little bit earlier that that you think it's more so men that are operating like this, that are moving like this, as compared to women. Yeah, the, the inability to commit. I, I do. I do find it to be a lot of men. I mean, you are like that. Like you Wait, talk me? about that. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how how am I like? You um, are very anti-marriage. You, you don't want to commit either. So I, this well, is like a phenomenon well, I'm seeing growing. I think a lot of the men that watch this show, I think they would agree that is where they fall, is they're very anti-commitment. And it's because well, they think that there are no women worth committing to. I understand that. I, I, I would like to just point out, make one clarification. I don't, I don't have any qualms with commitment. Just I have marriage. qualms with marriage. Okay. You can, I, I could have a life partner that I... And monogamous with, and I spend 20, 30 years, however, you know, however fucking long it is. Uh, marriage, on the other hand, you need not have marriage in order to be committed to somebody. Got it. Okay. So I'm not anti commitment. You're but against I, the legal things that marriage I, entails. Yeah, I'm and the sort contract. of what it locks you into. Yeah, it's just it, there's the financial ramifications of marriage. And like the, th the thing with marriage, I don't object to it from a religious standpoint, but the thing is, is that. Uh, if there's ever an issue in the marriage, for example, let's say you're both religious, your wife is not likely to go to God or to the, her church or, you know, to her priest, whatever it is, for, like, the, the, your, the religion does not preside over the marriage. The state presides over the marriage. So she's going to seek recourse through the court system. She's going to go to the state. And so once you have the state involved, then you have alimony, then you have all these negative repercussions then you have to if you're the breadwinner as a guy not only do you have to pay for your lawyer in the event of a divorce you have to fund 
you have to pay for her lawyer. So it's it gets very uh, very, very nasty. Did Don't you think this is why you need to choose very carefully though? That's absolutely. But, but most how yeah. decision you like, make. And people change though. People sure. change over years. So no doubt that's an yeah. issue. But I mean, how many people like when they get married, they're they're going into the marriage thinking this is my person. I, I think so many and people then, get married way too early. I think people get married. I got married at 29. My wife was 26 and we sort of planned it out in a way where we lived together for a certain amount of time and we spend all this time together. We traveled the world together. We did all these things. We know who we are and we, we grew as a couple and we became the people that we both, we, basically we cannot be separated. Like the fact that she and my son and uh, my mate Morgan, who's with us on this trip, are out in the car at the moment or they're going around somewhere, me being here, I'm just like, oh, I probably should be there. You know what I mean? Because we are almost joined at the hip. We do everything together. And the fact that marrying her was an important step for us, I think it obviously being involved with the government and signing the contract and being um, involved in that sense, it does scare a lot of people. But I think it is an important move for a lot of people to make just so you feel fucking good. It's such a good feeling. <laughs> but weddings do cost a fuck ton of money too. It's a great way to spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on one day. It <laughs> was could awful. You just go to a courthouse. Yeah, I was so you say. really just want to be married and not spend. Yeah, but I'm not a redneck. <laughs> I'm fancy as fuck. I'm just saying, fuck. like you can get married. And <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> sure. Steve, most people don't. Steve O's sister could get married there, but not. Um, it was a joke about Steve O and the and the voice. I I think that going somewhere nice is very important. Because Would you say it, there's also something special about about the contract of standing up in front of everyone and saying. Hey, we're going to spend the rest of our lives Because it's a culture thing. Yeah. It's not so much about religion. It's a culture mm-hmm. thing. When That's what you do when you love this person more than anything else. You spend all your money and you get locked into a contract with them. It doesn't make sense when you think about it like it with doesn't your brain. Really make, it doesn't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, if everybody's so worried about the government repercussions, why not do it specifically through the church? Write out a contract for you and the person you're marrying through the church and do it that way and not because legally God's get not married real. at all. <laughs> oh God! Okay, well. Oh my God. But I, well, can, I, um, can I say something to this point? Let, let me just say one thing, okay. and I'll let you come in. Okay. Here. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not pr- like if you go to a if you go to a church and you get married, I think the state would, even though you don't get like a marriage license, I'm pretty sure you're still deemed by the state to be married. And then once you get married, even if it's just through religion, then the, there's various uh, legal triggers that occur. I mean people often bring up prenup. Well, just get a prenup. But I, I, a prenup isn't... Prenups get thrown out. It's not going to save you if the woman is motivated enough. Uh, you, you just tell the judge there was coercion or fraud, fraudulent inducement. Um, so prenups get thrown out. Uh, I, I don't know if... I think prenups can address your assets that uh, prior to marriage, but things that you earn in marriage, I think... Their aunt meatball donated one hundred dollars. I'm gonna have an uh, attorney come My aunt to got thirty k a month for twenty years and millions in assets from a divorce. If you have any real amount of money, it makes no sense to get married. Good point, Mr. Meatball. Wait, yeah, I, I have mean, a question. It, Isn't it there a thing that like if you get married in other countries, it doesn't necessarily hold up? So you could still get married in another country, but then like not actually have the repercussions you're worried about. I'm not. Like so, that's why so like you're Brody saying, Jenner and like his like ex-wife like apparently they weren't actually married because it was like in another country and they never got a marriage license here. So I think you could still have the commitment and celebration of getting married. And I think if you do it in certain countries, it doesn't hold up here, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, but then you, you of the sort of benefits that do exist, if because I guess there are certain tax benefits or something if you get married. This like if there's a health crisis, there's certain like benefits there i guess but um do you think it matters when you make the money too because if you make the money together and if she's a stay-at-home mum and she looks after the kids and allows you to go out and work and by allows you i mean to look after the kids sure not lets you do you think that matters as well because once again not to go back to my situation but we made the money together we bought yeah. the houses together we did all that together so if we were to divorce then I'd be like, well, you just she you, deserves, you deserve she that. Deserves it, yeah. You deserve that cash. Do you do you think that she still deserves it if she cheated on you? Nah, fuck that bitch. She <laughs> <laughs> No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, uh, hold on, I'll let this Bender come. Bender the in. offender donated ninety nine dollars. 
Christy, are you advocating for passport I don't, brothers? I don't think that's what she's advocating for. She's just saying you can get married in a different country and perhaps the, the U.S. would not. But you would be subject, if you ever went back to that country, you would be subject to their marriage laws. But, uh, and I would assume you need to go get divorced. Because you can't, if you're already married, you couldn't, you have to get divorced before you can remarry. Uh, in the U.S., your wife could, your wife could participate in a gangbang divorce you and still get paid alimony well steve harvey's wife just cheated on him with like their personal chef yep. and their butler or whatever or the yep. drivers and, and now she wants like 400 million dollars yep. for their divorce it just sounds like victim whining to me like i think the Wait, guys victim? you guys have Whine? to step up and and be confident that you're picking the right woman well don't root the butler <laughs> i should explain root root means sex in australia but but you're you're <laughs> removing hold on but you're removing all accountability from women like as you're if, not if a so step up, pick the right woman, but if she ends up cheating, cheating on, like, well, I is that like still your fault for not, like, ha in people Steve cheat? In Steve Harvey's situation, I feel like it's different because he, he, she had, like, two different relationships before then, and one of them was in jail, and Steve Harvey took in her pre, she already had kids before him. Okay. She so lots well, of black see that he ignored. He yeah, picked he Like he yeah. took Sent her Harvey. in, took Sent her Harvey. kids Sent in, Harvey. adopted her kids, but she was messing with him while she was still with somebody else. He I fucked think, up. I think he went he to jail. That's why she started messing with him. But she already had kids by the dude who went That's to jail. Yikes, dude. If the guy That's cheats, does the girl get more money than her? What's that? If the guy cheats, should the, the woman get I'm more money sure than that? I'm not sure. I think so. That, <laughs> I think but so. I do know, okay, like, if, the if, there's, question, if there's infidelity, yeah. that would not preclude you as the cheating partner from getting alimony. So, so then if the, the other way around was true, like the woman made more money in the relationship, yeah. then you would agree for the same sort of terms where if the, the man were to cheat, the man should not get any money? Well, the, okay. I can talk about what should, could, like what ought to be, like what should be. Like in your perfect but, world, like what's most ethical Oh, in my world. perfect world? If you're king of the world. If there's infidelity, then I don't think, I, I think that'd be a fair reason to not be subject to alimony. Whether yeah, you're the man or goes, the woman. Yeah, it goes, I think it both goes sides, both that, makes, that makes sense But the me. reality is, is that, I mean, I think it's something like 97% of alimony payments go from men to women. So, I mean, the... You know. I think everyone should get a prenup, and if you cheat, you should not get a payout. Both ways, pretty pretty straightforward. Sure, but I mean, and also, well, but okay, to bring it back to Alex, uh, I, just point of clarification, because you mentioned commitment. I am perfectly prepared to have a long-term or lifelong monogamous relationship with a woman. What I'm not prepared to do is to needlessly involve the state with my love life. I, I don't want to allow the state to be judge, jury, and executioner over my hard-earned resources and money in the event of a divorce. So, I, like, the U.S. court system has very strong bias against men, and if there were changes made in the, to the court system to better protect men from financial ruin in the event of divorce, then I might be a bit more obliged to get married, but until then, I don't sign contracts that don't benefit me. What would they need to change like to, to benefit or to at least equal sure. the playing field? So, okay, there's a couple things. I think, one, uh, there there needs to be, like, just a base cap on child support. So it doesn't matter, like, if whatever the bare minimum it takes to raise a kid, you can adjust for cost of living of that city or whatever. Uh, th there's no world where if you choose to divorce someone and they're a high earner that you should be getting you no longer get the benefit of the lifestyle that that person brings. So you get bare, like bare minimum child support. There, there should be a cap on child support. You should not be getting $400,000 a month in child support when it comes to alimony. Same thing. I, I don't, there are certainly good arguments for alimony. For example, if the woman, she chooses to disregard pursuing a career to be married to you and to have kids, it makes sense under those circumstances that as the guy you should support your ex-wife um, however there ought to be a cap to alimony and if she's involved with another guy she gets remarried then alimony should cease yeah, yeah. if she she's able to find a new guy to support her she's living with a new guy then 
alimony should should cease. There should be a cap on it. It should it, it shouldn't be based on your income. If you're making 200, you know, like you hear these, like Dr. Dre, you hear all these guys who get absolutely wrecked in court because uh, they have to pay like insane amount of alimony. If you choose to leave your partner, if you choose to initiate a divorce, uh, you should get like a, there should be a cap. I think the problem with the cap though is if you live in that person's house or you own a couple of houses or whatever the situation is, particularly in, in relationships where there's a lot of money involved, if you live in a house that's still on a mortgage, you're gonna need that exorbitant amount of money to pay it off. So it has to be a case by case. Well, he, well if, if the primary breadwinner uh, keeps the house, then I don't know, they go to a apartment. The, yeah. the divorcee. I guess get, it depends on like how bad the divorce ends. Because some divorces, you just realize, oh, I don't love you anymore. Or it's a horrible situation. Is that a good is, is not being in love with somebody a good reason to get a divorce? No. Oh, I absolutely think so. Absolutely not. And in fact, I think it's inevitable that there will be times in a marriage where you're not in love with the other person, but that is the purpose of marriage. Not me, so I'm that, a dilf. So that you can't just walk out like that. <laughs> that commitment is what's supposed to drive yeah. you. So that even in the lulls, even in the low points, you're still committed I mean, to that yeah. person. Well, yeah, what, what are the vows? Till death do us part in sickness and in health. It says nothing worse. about, I'm bored. Yeah, I'm feeling exactly. a little bored. I guess I can leave. And I know? just and I just, I just just seen um, the research today. Some additional research came out that said, um, 54 with infidelity um 54 percent of women cheat because they're unhappy and i just want to talk um point on that that unhappiness that leads to women cheating and then essentially women cheat to get out of relationships that just speaks to how you know in, in unstable that marriages typically are and how they operate on the whim, uh, whim of a woman's emotions because women initiate divorce at a higher rate than men do so that commitment that's made for sickness um and in health till death do us part that commitment is supposed to be honored so when a woman feels that she doesn't love her husband anymore or she's bored or whatever the case may be that's that those principles are supposed to stand those pillars of those principles are supposed to stand she's supposed to out uh, uh she's supposed to fight through that and that's when i come back mm -hmm. to your point when you said um most people get married too young or they don't know each other you you described how you and your wife developed your relationship you said that you guys knew each other you guys learned each other a lot of people don't know how to properly vet when they jump they jump into relationships in the infatuation stage they're not prepared for oh we're gonna have these disagreements here's where our personalities don't align here's where our values don't align and the minute those things rise to the surface they want out and typically it's the woman first because the woman is the one who gets fed up first she's the one who gets irritated first she's the one who gets annoyed first and she wants out typically men don't expect that because men we go cry in the car we sit we decompress we go in our man cave or whatever the case may be and then we come back we feeling better let's have sex let's make up but once that woman starts to feel bored or unhappy the relationship is now in jeopardy and that's the issue with men picking better women we do have to pick better women we have to pick women that we know are going to hold us down just like i said going back to my situation i seen what she can stand by me through she stands by me through absolutely the worst of things that she doesn't agree with because she loves me and she sees who I am and what I will become. So I can honor that. So now I know I feel safe and secure that if I commit to this woman, I know this woman is going to be here even when she can't stand me, even when she doesn't love me. And that's why I feel that in the future I can marry her. I, I have a uh, question for the whole table that's semi-related to commitment. <clears throat> and... Uh, who who here has been in a couple different relationships? I mean, I assume pr probably everybody here. Um, I, I want to go around the table starting with you, Christy. More often than not, who, and this is for everybody, more often than not, who is the one who is having to end the relationship? And this can apply also not just towards like if, for your long-term relationships, but also even if you've gone on one date with a guy, two dates with a guy, three dates with a guy, more often than not, is it you that is saying, I don't want to see you anymore, I want to break up? Or is it the guy saying that? So, if you had to attribute maybe a percentage to it or more, or just more often than not, ooh, is ratios? it the guy or the girl? <laughs> no, 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 we'll come to that I'm later. I'm just kidding, then. I'm Go just ahead. kidding. Okay, so out of my actual relationships that I like count, because you know how you have like, you've dated exes and then you have like girlfriend, boyfriend kind of exes, so like, actual real relationships 
it's usually me because I come to the conclusion that he's not my soulmate and I'm in a relationship to get married and there's no point of wasting either of our times if I know that it's not going to get to marriage and sure. I don't want to marry the wrong person. I don't want to settle when it comes to that because I don't want to get divorced. I'm married. Once I'm married, I'm in it for the long haul. Yeah. I don't want to put my kids through divorce. So usually it's you but, ending it. Okay. Yeah. But, but with that being said, when it comes to just guys that I've like casually dated to see, um, like it's, think it might go somewhere, maybe you're talking to someone for a couple months, thinks, it, thinks it's going to go somewhere, doesn't officially go somewhere, it's usually the guy that. Okay, but that. in in the longer or like term, it makes it fade out. In your longer term s- situations or relationships, I'm ending it because so, yeah. okay. um, I really want to get married for the long haul, and I would never. I don't want to waste either of our time if sure. I don't see that happening. What about you? So like her, like I I date to marry. So if I can't see myself with you, like I'm not even gonna fake it like I'm gonna tell you straight up like I, I don't want this okay so how many boyfriends have you had like actual boyfriends two two what about like medium term maybe they didn't end up being a boyfriend but you were dating for three months six months that's sort of um thing. like how would I break up with them no, no just like are you ending it or are they ending it more often oh, no than I'm, not? I'm ending it FTG thing for the 50 gifted memberships would you say a hundred percent of the time you've ended it and ended it yeah okay what about you i would say it's been a pretty even split 50 50 yeah, okay uh i would say even in, just in general not just me but women just are the ones to end things oh. loose Hold on. pussy we'll, we'll energy donated 99 lpe <laughs> let's go Mild, thank help you help a brother out <laughs> get walmart kevin hart a boost a seat <laughs> so he can see over the table he likes Bro, to be stretched on. out and has 1,000 decimeters. It's not fair. I'm in a different chair. and fours. First, pause, and second, stop the damn cap. Also, of Blondie sound like she eats 10 packs a day. Of cigarettes? <laughs> you eat 10 packs of cigarettes a day. Down down I thought first you were supposed of all, <laughs> First of all, I believe Q because Q, he's a handsome guy. Like, don't, I'm, I'm straight. Don't worry about it. I'd fuck <laughs> with Q. I'm just saying, Q's I a handsome, he's ratios, a handsome dude. Man. He's fucking ripped. Yeah, I think I'm average looking though. Get no, your shirt on, dude, 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 dude. You're, you're. <laughs> okay, I tell everybody I'm an average looking guy. Also, the fucking it's not fair because the the the. the it's the angles. No, yeah, it's it's, 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 <laughs> no, it's, it's the fucking it angle because I'm yeah, closer. Like, like <laughs> I'm closer to this camera, and I'm in I'm in a Herman Miller, and he's in one of our regular chairs. And th- how tall are you, dude? I'm six eight. He's six eight. <laughs> so, so he's just towering. <laughs> Should we swap seats? <laughs> and I'll just crunch down. <laughs> Guys, be not, come on. Okay, all right, so go ahead, go ahead, Kelly. What, what were you talking about? Uh, like breaking up oh, oh, more yeah, yeah, often yeah. than not. No, yeah, men don't really like leave that much. Like <laughs> men don't like leaving yes. okay. because if you have like a woman that is doing whatever you need to, like there's no point of leaving her. It's like, you're just gonna go and go with other women. You're gonna do whatever you need to do. You're gonna hope she doesn't find out, and come but back. they're not gonna leave. So sure. it, at the end of the day, it's a, yeah, like a woman is going to end it. For the one other relationship that I've had, like I've never casually dated. Like like they said, I've only ever dated to marry. And I did end it because he was just not fully invested in me. I was fully invested in him. He was just lacking. He cared more about his friends than me. And just sure. it ends for a bunch of reasons. What, what about something, your more short-term situations? Was it you saying, don't want to see you anymore? No. Every every other short term situation, the guys left me. Or was it a mutual ghost? No, it wasn't a mutual ghost. Oh, so you were pursuing? I was just ghosted. (laughs) Oh shit! (laughs) Like every single time. Rip. R.I.P.s in the chat for Madison. Uh, Alex, what about you? Uh, Majority of the time, the guy is breaking up with me or ghosting me. Oh, that's that's not good. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Wait, can I give context? (laughs) Sure, sure, sure. All right. The context is is that I am in, and this is what may be to my detriment. But right out the gate, I always say I'm dating for marriage. Um, that First date, you'd say that? Yes. Alumbus. First date, I say that. And every single time the relationship has ended, and I'm thinking, uh, I would say since 23 years old, I've probably had five serious relationships. Every single one, it ends because they're not on my timeline. They say similar things to what Q says. 
What's the timeline? Oh, it's a timeline like they're not ready for marriage. I home when I said what I said. They're not ready. They're not in a time in their life where they're ready for marriage and things like that. So that's why they're ending things because they know that that's my Wait, what but, I'm looking for. But so you're you're in a relationship with these guys. You're kind of starting to have a serious conversations about the future, and then they end it. Or because there's more than one way. There's like you can ask for a breakup. Like there's more than one way to ask for something. You know. No, I think they're ending it because they're like, yeah, I can't give you what you want. Like, I know okay. that you don't want to date. I don't want to be in a serious relationship okay. dating somebody for probably now that I'm 30, longer than a year before getting engaged. Sure. So if we're dating for a year or so, at that point, I'm, I'm wanting him to know if he could marry me or not. Okay. Uh, Isaac, what about you? More often than not of, of your anything, whether it's short term, medium term, long term, more often than not, were you ending things or was the girl ending things? I, I think it would be probably if I, I probably had like four proper girlfriends before I met my wife. But yeah. we met at like I, I was twenty one, she was nineteen. Uh, so I think it was probably even, you know, fifty okay. fifty. But sure. I think dudes just don't end it because yeah. if yeah. dudes are getting getting the business, why would you? Exactly. exactly. Like you if you no get your balls drained, like oh what are you doing? Like if you're eating, if you if you get and take out every night Well there's more to relationships <laughs> than that, yeah. right? But but what? it's like for you, it's like, <laughs> why would you leave that? Why would you leave right. your favorite girl? Like, you know, exactly. like you're not going to do that, right. especially not for one of the, uh, the side chicks. Also, when you, as you said, with the, with the marriage thing, if you don't want to scare guys away, maybe it's the timing is when you bring up marriage. Well, and that's the thing. But I'm not like, <laughs> so where's this going on the first day? I'm not saying that, but I'm just like, hey, you know, what after we've been there for a while and the small talk and everything that's when i'm like you know so what are you looking for yeah. it's a little that, scary uh, for guys on the mm -hmm. first date right and when a woman brings that up and we don't do Christio donated oh, 100 dollars i think it's nice that steve-o finally transitioned to a woman welcome christy you look like someone microwaved a barbie just kidding oh god i am tired of seeing all these beautiful women on the whatever podcast oh thanks for changing things up christy <laughs> Do you have a response to... Okay, so wait, I think it ended as a compliment. Yeah. So thank you. Steve O, Chris C O. I, I mean, the username is cool. Okay. Thanks. Do you, would you do a show with Steve O if we got him? Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even speak. <laughs> All right. Um, Q, you were in the middle of saying something, I think. Um. No, I was just responding to what Alex was said. talking about her marriage or her timing thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I think I'm just saying it here directly, but like in a real life scenario, I'm not being super aggressive about it. But I do on a first date, I think it's fair to just be like, so, you know, what are you looking for? Are you looking for something casual? Are you here because you're just looking for a long term relationship? Are you dating for marriage? It's some it's you know, it goes like that. Basically, so you, you have an oh. issue with the go with the flow mentality. I yes, I do. But that's I, how men operate, though. Well, that I'm. I want someone that's more grown than that. So you oh, just want him to jump into the marriage. I think it's immature. But I no, think a lot of a, a lot of Wait. grown men do like to just date for a while before they marry. Who they want to marry, yeah. especially yeah, so like what I'm saying, we were just after, talking about marriage. But like, a year to two years, I think if you're at a certain age, like if you're a guy that is dating for marriage, you should know there should be qualities that you get to know that you're like, okay, I could see this person being my wife or not. How long I do you want like to date how, somebody before you get married? That's how women operate. Probably. Also. I think men operate very differently from that. Between a year and two years. Two so years. like a year in, like you need ten. No, you way. don't know and, people. And I'm what, thirty. Yeah. Years, I'm thirty. Yeah, but isn't that better than so divorcing in ten years' time because you years, hate each other? Date for ten years. No, I will not Five years. have kids. Five years. Yeah, that's still putting you in a danger zone for like having kids and stuff. I, I mean, if I was twenty-three, yes. Yeah. I think that's different. So when you were when you were twenty-three, like in the like, like in your twenties, like what were you dating, like? Pop yes, street. but I like, think I always. What, what, like, what? Why didn't you feel like you wanted to get? So all the guys that you dated were just. No, not. several of them. Okay, well, I say several, but I've had five serious relationships in my twenties, and four of them, I think I would have been willing, potentially, to talk marriage and maybe see um, if, but none of them were wanting that because all like of them you're, you're saying it happens like that flip to where you're sort of like dating to meet people and dating for marriage that happens later for guys it sounds like right. is what you've experienced too like for generalizing here obviously but for females that happens kind of like mid-20s maybe for some yeah. people's later but for for most guys i hear it's like oh i was in my 
early to mid 30s and then I was like oh I'm looking for a wife in well and that's now. what happened I think a lot of them it was like the girl after me that they dated that's who they end up getting engaged to it's like hmm. they're just our timing is just slightly off or I'm ready and they're not let, uh, let me just finish this off cue more often than not who was ending things was it the girl or the uh, prior prior to age 24 it was the girl ending things first after that it's been me. I so, mean, I've, I've only been in two relationships after 24, but yeah. I ended both the uh, both of those. And you say after 24 was that just because circumstance, like uh, happenstance, or did you level up? At uh, it had to do with leveling up, okay. becoming more mature, being Got more it. aware of women and how they behave. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'd say for, it's for me, more often than not, in relationships, I found it's women that, not all of my relationships, but women tend to. Uh, Maybe it's like 60, 40, tend to end them more so. Maybe maybe even 70, 30. I don't know. I got to do the math. I got to do the ratio math. Do you think that's that. because mm -hmm. dudes are just like, it's girls, sorry, are just like, I can find a better dude than this? Well, I think women definitely have a lot more options. Oh, a thousand percent. Way more options. Guys, but are, guys don't care. They will have sex with anything. <laughs> that's I, yeah. literally, completely, absolutely true. Any dude. Yeah. But the, they don't care. Yeah. The reason I, I asked this, though, <laughs> is Alex, you were talking about men being afraid of commitment. And I mean, the thing is, is that, but it's interesting to me that even though commitment is the thing that women really, really want, when they get it, they seem to overwhelmingly end relationships and they overwhelmingly initiate divorce. I think it's 80% of divorces are initiated by women. So it's not Yeah, I think that's part of culture feeding into women, uh, telling us like, it's always greener on the other side. You know, you have to look outside of the home to find fulfillment. Like, you know, raising kids, being a stay-at-home mom, you're gonna be so unhappy. And they tell us that and it seeds doubt in us. And then we look for that elsewhere. And I think that contributes to women being the ones to file for divorce more. Yeah, but I mean, couldn't you say that actually men are more commitment-minded? Because, just going off of the marriage statistics potentially in the past i just i think tides turning because i think feminism really ruined women in that perspective so then obviously True. men were like well i don't want that so then they went the other direction now you're seeing a lot more younger conservative women that are like no mm. wait like i'm being left in the dust now like i do want to get married and and have a committed relationship and those guys are like i'm not buying it but i do i think it's interesting because you one you said men fear and commitment and then on the other hand you said after they got done with you they ended up committing to the next woman or yeah, because then it's a, then it's been a couple years and then by that point they're in their late 20s and i think okay, then so, they're, they're ready so so fearing commitment is merely a perception do you think that it's valid to assume that they aren't ready and when you on a first date if you say i'm dating to marry as i said men don't approach dating like that because we want to know who we're getting with we just had a conversation about the woman you get with, that's probably the most, you know, important choice you make in your life as a man. So if you come to me, oh, I'm dating to marry, then I'm like, this woman might pressure me. This woman might try to get me to speed up my process. This woman is going to make me feel uncomfortable. So if you make me feel uncomfortable, then naturally I'm going to divert away. So is, do you think that's a possibility? Oh, because, sure, yeah. You so, know, because you just put it on the men fear commitment. You made it, you put the accountability on the men as opposed to doing some introspective assessment and seeing if there's anything you could work on in your approach to dating and what oh, your expectations well, are. Potentially. I mean, I roast myself all the time for that. Is that it, it could be that I am, maybe I should, you know, just step back and just be like go with the see flow where see where it goes and not say anything so i mean well, I and you can always happens. say i really like you i could i really like you you know you know the closer we grow the more we develop i would like something serious you could right. approach it in that way as opposed to this is what i want and evolutionarily it's understandable because you have a biological clock so if you want to have kids and you want to start a family, then of course you're going to push for marriage sooner than a man would push for marriage because a yeah. man has ample time. And it's not. Let me just, let me just be clear on this. It's not every guy I go on a date with or something. I mean, sometimes I go I go on a date and I know within 30 seconds I am not interested in this person. So it's not like every guy I'm saying that. It's if I if I've been with someone or talked to them and I really like them, um, you know what I mean. Then we're having those conversations. You get infatuated. You wanting mm -hmm. to be daddy, husband. No, I actually this. I feel like. Um, 
I feel like I don't like that many people. Like when it's few and far between, when I find somebody that I really like, I'm always very like taken aback by it. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, that makes it worse. That makes it worse. For because sure, it probably does. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So you get infatuated. You meet a guy and you're like, this guy is it's just he's unusual. He often. makes me feel a way that most guys don't make me feel. So he must be the one because he's the one making me feel like other men don't I think make that's me fair. feel. I think that's fair. Like, I don't think like your view on marriage is wrong. I just think like your timing Cause like I'm 22, me and my me and my guy, we've been together for like three years. We've talked about potentially marrying each other, but it's not like that big deal where it's like, oh, you have to marry me, or it's just not going anywhere. Like I just think right now we know. But how much time? How much of your time would you let a guy waste before asking that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about how long it'll take him to marry me as long as I know like he wants to marry me. Like if he was to tell me right now, I would marry you. That's all I need to hear. So, so yeah, but he's guys, telling his girl that. I don't think a guy is necessarily like wasting your time either by making you wait because I think those conversations often scare men away. Right, he's and probably just trying a lot to of women, together. younger women, end up dating older men. I think because of that commitment issue that we're talking about. But yet, younger women get a lot of flack for dating older men at the same time because they're viewed as gold diggers and things like that. So is it also fair to say then that it's understandable that younger women are dating older men because at that point, men have reached a certain maturity level. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I definitely have no qualms with that. I mean, I say all the time, if a guy can provide you with what you want in order to provide a stable environment that you can raise kids, then yeah, go for that guy. That means that guy is 20 years older than you because you don't want to wait on the guy with potential. You don't want to wait to see if he fulfills that potential. Then absolutely jump on the opportunity to secure whatever it is that you're trying to secure for your future. Can I say something? I um, do. I do have to move things along here a little bit. Um, yo, chat. Uh, there were some adjustments made to the audio, which might not have been the right call. Uh, chat. Has the audio just been absolutely fucked? Like way too low on some people too hot like has it just been totally fucked this entire time guys um nick can you pull up twitch it's good now but was it was it bad before like just totally unlevel okay oh everyone's saying it's been fine okay that's fine oh uh so guys go to twitch.tv slash whatever Drop us a follow and a prime sub. Let's see here. We have Zeton, thank you for the prime. Pub test, thank you for the tier one. Monkey, thank you for the prime. Hellshock, thank you for the prime. Carlu, thank you for the prime. Rockin, thank you for the prime. I body drop, thank you for the prime. I'll get the fit check here in just a sec, guys. Let me do a couple chats. We have Puffy Vegas. Hey, thank you, man. Good to see you in the chat. Puffy Vegas, I will rate all girls, rate with the blonde, all seven. Okay, thank you, Puffy. I have 13 side girls, Puffy Vegas, thank you. Thanks. Puffy Vegas, I've never <laughs> met. Thanks. Puffy's met on a tit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never met a woman in my entire life, and I'm, what? And I'm that's known thousands. I, I I've never met a, a woman that was, he's never met a woman that was faithful. We have, that's a lie. That's we have inf sure lie. infinite singularity here. Hey, thank you, man. Major premise, child rearing thrives in cons consistent settings. Minor premise, E&M inherently presents more flux than monogamy. Conclusion, hence, E&M could pose challenges to optimal child rearing. Okay, I, uh, I actually uh, I agree with that. Monogamy, when it comes to having kids, I'd say probably monogamy is probably the best, best way to go. Um, infinite singularity, girl in blue. So by, si who's in blue? Alex. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I guess I can't see tonight. So by simply choosing right, loves all sunshine, genius, all these years, and here I was thinking relationships took effort. Guess I've overlooked my crystal ball. Who knew predicting the future was so basic? What, uh, th that is, Do you have a response to that? Well, first of all, that is so stupid. That's exactly what I'm saying is that love isn't all sunshine, that it's super, super tough. But if you're marrying somebody, you have the same worldview, uh, you know, all the big key things that typically contribute to problems in a relationship. If you pick the right person that you mesh well with that stuff, then all of those hardships are gonna come a lot easier. Okay. We have Ryan the Eating Warrior. Thank you, man. Women after 30 want marriage fast because they got nothing to lose and everything to gain LMFAO. Correct. Oh, okay. All that's right. correct. There, there, I mean, there. like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we do have, I think, one huge problem is that 
we have been told as women that we basically don't have a biological clock, that we don't have a timeline, like pursue your career first in your 20s and your 30s, worry about marriage in your 40s, and that's absolutely a lie. I don't think that's what is taught now. I mean, like, it's it's more common nowadays, but that's not the traditional way of... Of how you don't it, think that we're told like put career first, worry about family. The traditional well, ways like, to get married as soon as like. But like, isn't well, wouldn't now, you say, Kelly, that the traditional way is kind of in the rear now. view? Well, you just because because you're you're against marriage. No, when no, I, but no, like, we're saying like but traditionally like getting married mainstream. first, not putting career first. Like I think my, I mean, I'm a young millennial growing up. Like it was always like girl boss culture, put your career first, family yeah, later. Yeah, even now, like the kids growing up right now, they're not worried about boyfriends and marriage and they're worried about where's my next check coming from the Mm -hmm. bag what's gonna help me live my successful life exactly like they're not thinking about the long run they're not thinking about house and kids on the hill somewhere with a picket i do get what you're saying though kelly like just like the initial traditional way is to get married first like i don't i'm not saying that there's a problem i'm just saying like i once like we do have a biological clock as women we're at a certain age like once we're 30 then our options get lower it's harder for us to find it's it, as, as women get older it's harder to find you know someone because men now at 30 they're looking at you know the women who are still in their 20s and they they want though and those women are looking to get married so I think I think that like getting married later on in life is it wouldn't be like personally my my preference but Kelly wouldn't, wouldn't you say that but then like, I think we're agreeing wouldn't you say that with like feminism and mainstream culture of like Hey, go be a girl boss. Get your bag. Get your money. Yeah, no, no yeah I don't like, thinking about marriage right now. Like the younger generation. Yeah, like I, I would agree marriage. with Alex that I do think, generally speaking, there's we are teaching women focus on your career, disregard relationships, get your career built up, and then. But we shouldn't be. That's the problem. In your thirties, yeah. your magical husband will appear, and the a lot of women will find that that's not the like, case. The traditional way is now looked frowned upon when it really should be being embraced. Like, I think feminism completely ruined (laughs) so many things. Because now, like Kelly said, it just works to the detriment of women. Like, you get to that age 30, and then there's no one there for you anymore. Let's, uh, we got a bunch of people uh, wanting the fit check for the gifted sub. So if we can have everybody stand up, we're going to do fit check. uh, If y'all want to stand up and show them, I guess, the outfit, I guess. It's... I wasn't told I'd be standing up. You might have to stand up. I wore shorts. <laughs> oh, lo- wore even better. <laughs> All right, we got the fit check over here. I'll just stay seated to control this over here. Uh, okay, we. what is, is that some, what, what, what do you got, Madison? What are you wearing? Skims. Is that, what is that? <laughs> it's a dress. Who, who, is Kim that? Kim Kardashian. Kardashian, West? okay. Actually just Kardashian. All right, we got, oh, wow, okay. Can't even see those guys. Uh, Okay, cool. That's it. That's the fit check. I, all right, there you guys. I think I gotta get rid of the fit check. It's I so ridiculous. I wish we had a fit check last time because I liked my outfit. Like, I yeah, I removed the so fit check option. I think I'm just pants. gonna get rid of it. I, the chat here. Wait, let me ask the chat. One in the chat, guys. Is the fit check? What's the? Who cares? What, what is the point of the? Yeah, what is the point of that? Check. It's a little objectifying, don't you think? I think. Well, hold on. The <laughs> gentleman here also stood up besides me. I mean, so but most of your cast is girls, so it's not really for the guys. One in the chat to keep the fit check. Two in the chat to get rid of it. I, I, one in the chat to keep it. Two in the chat get rid of it. I really think it would have been better last time because with Adam and Lena. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, so much better. And like, why was Isabella wearing a Trump, a lot of jumpsuit? Ones. Like, I was just confused <laughs> at a lot of people's outfits. So yeah, it would have been way better. Last time. Yeah, I think I. What it, what's the chat saying? Mostly, well, I guess they like, like it. it. Okay, all right, all right. I don't know. It's kind of cringe, but whatever. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, Agreed. so we uh, let's see. What did we have to? Uh, oh, we have Puffy here. I've never met a woman that was faithful. Puffy's doing a tough. Where are you? Okay, yeah. well, we're in Vegas, Puffy. Hold on, what, what does that mean? You're not a faithful woman just living in Vegas. Is, is going met on the, the women that the he's dating? I guess, I guess so. I guess so. How many women have you been with? He says he's got 12 side chicks right now, which 13, I... 13. Oh, was it 13? I'm calling, I'm calling bullshit. One like of them is loyal to him. I am calling... I think he has seven, but thirteen. Puffy, come on, let's be let's be real here. What's his ratio? <laughs> speaking of ratio, speaking of ratio here, uh, let's see. So, um, 
Okay, I'm trying to think where I wanted to pick up on this. So some of you were so kind as to provide some pre-show uh, uh, answers to a couple questions. So Christy, I think the big thing that we argued on last show is, so you, you do OF, you have adult content, uh, and you described yourself as conservative and traditional. I think the big sticking point last show was that we rejected your title of being considered traditional. Yeah. Um, so, but, but, so you consider yourself traditional, but you post very revealing photos online and you have an OnlyFans. So I guess my question again is, how do you continue to reconcile your basically doing porn and also being traditional? So I'm a monogamous and like, I think that just because I have an OnlyFans, people think I'm like having sex with all these people. Like I'm literally only having sex with my boyfriend. I would never have sex, let my boyfriend have sex with someone or I have sex with someone if I'm in a relationship. I'm not into that. Um, I want to raise my family very traditionally. I believe that the man is the leader of the household and the woman should be the caretaker. Like I'm going to raise a very traditional family you know, just because I have OnlyFans with my boyfriend, now ex-boyfriend, that's not going to change how I raise my children or how our household is. Like, we're going to have a traditional sure. household. Which but you like, I don't think it's the monogamy that's in question. It's the fact that you have an OnlyFans. Yeah. That's what's in question. Like, here's here's, the, here's the definition of conservative. A person favoring free enterprise, private ownership, and socially traditional ideas also averse to change or innovation and holding traditional values now when i think of traditional values i don't typically think that like doing adult content and only fans falls in the lane of doing of tradition of being traditional i think people are just mad because i don't fit into a box and they wanted to like fit me into some sort of box like my conservative traditional values i've always had them and then I got into OnlyFans later, but like, I'm not like, I had like porn stars on the, the left of me saying how they like have orgies and all this stuff. Like, I don't do stuff like that. So, but there's, but there's photos. It's like a new day and age. Like, OnlyFans, what, like, just like, it's not like there's so many different. But cr Christy, Christy, there, there's photos and videos of you online yeah. of you having sex with. That's Men. not tradition. Right? Yeah. Public, That's public nudity I, is not but very traditional mean I'm like and going to raise my children. But would you be mad if your daughter was doing OnlyFans? I'm going to raise my kids to be entrepreneurs, and I actually don't want my kids to go to college because they're getting indoctrinated. So whatever they want to do as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Is it entrepreneurial so, but, 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 to like jam yourself on OnlyFans? With my boyfriend. <laughs> So like what? But I, is that like entrepreneurial? Alex. Like, would yeah, Elon Musk look at that and business. go, "Wow"? Because it's my business. Okay, yeah, but did sure. your parents raise, did your parents raise you as an entrepreneur to make an OnlyFans? Well, OnlyFans uh, Hold on. didn't exist. I have before. okay. I looked. I didn't subscribe to your OnlyFans because I don't sure? do that. Are you ah. sure? I'm very sure, but I did look at the landing page, and it says, "Warning: Don't stay here too long, or your cock will explode." Hmm? Yeah, it does. Don't, don't you know. hate it. That, that don't doesn't you hate it. When your that, cock explodes, when you hang around for two long. That long. doesn't so strike me. By the way, for, forgive my French. It doesn't strike me as particularly conservative or traditional. I have the same description on my comedy website when I sell tickets. <laughs> don't come to the show because your cock will explode. That would actually make me want to come even more. You, well, you'll come. No uh, pun intended. Well, no, no, yeah, yeah, no pun, no no pun intended. We'll all come. It's an orgy. So... I, I think, okay, here's the distinction that I think needs to be made. You're saying that you can be conservative and do OnlyFans, I, but you love Trump and all these different things, and that's how you vote. You vote red. I would argue that you're a Republican, mm. but not conservative, and there's a huge difference. I, I think with being conservative, you're conserving something, and typically that means traditional social values. But that doesn't mean that you can't be a Republican. They're just very different. Yeah, yeah I think you're I, certainly I think, a Republican. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, I'm grab her by the pussy, 2024. <laughs> but, um, I think... Like, like that's the whole thing. Where's the Trump photo? Pull the Trump photo up again. But, uh, Can you bring his Trump on this podcast? I think that's going to be a stretch, that but I'll do my be best. That like would my dream. 
Um, Would you make content with Trump? Because you said you wouldn't do it with anyone but your, your well, ex-boyfriend. Well, apparently, you know, we were going to get married, so... Would you let Trump dick down? Because I... If, if, he, was, if he was my boyfriend, Do you yeah. think he would be your boyfriend? Like, no, because I don't think he's going to get divorced. He does like blonde but... women. He loves blonde women. He I loves jackass. I don't want jackass. him to get divorced because I want him to be happy, but I do think if he were single, he'd be very happy with me. Yeah, you look like Melania. He, he is, like, an Sound like a... Yeah. He wasn't, like... I mean, people could also argue he's not even a conservative, you know, so. I don't think but that's what we're I, arguing I completely about. understand. Like, I think people are trying to say, oh, I'm not a conservative. I'm a Trump supporter or Republican. But I don't think people understand that I am very conservative in the way I want to raise my children and want my family and in like I hate feminism and I think man, men should be the leaders and women should take care of the children and like that's what that's what they don't seem to understand Not so that, you're like, you're but I, so okay you're you are let's say you are traditional in all the other realms with the exception of not shooting porn which I think is like like it, it, that's like I don't identify as um, a porn star. Well, you're you, getting dick down on the internet, love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you're a porn star because we can identify any yeah, way we but want. Is it sexual acts that you're doing or just nude photos? Sexual, sexual acts, but okay. just with my boyfriend. Well, do we well, now and Trump. Trump. Like you heavy out in there like that. Are you still gonna do the content now that you guys are broken up? Not Ooh. with him. Also, now with that my, you're with my new husband that I got engaged to. Right. So now that you're quote unquote engaged and you want to be a mommy soon, like, do you think you would stop your OnlyFans oh, to do that? No. So, so you're gonna do not? OnlyFans Wait, when you what? have a daughter? Would yeah. you do pregnant OnlyFans? Oh. Wait, what? I don't yeah. think that's what raising your, your children was... very traditionally. That is not so raising. Still a, have an yeah, that is not raising a traditional a family. I mean, it's not even gonna be weird by the time I have kids because there's so many. Your pussy is gonna be on the internet. It's a fair point. It's not gonna be weird. Like everyone's gonna mommy's gonna, yeah, like it's everyone's mom's gonna be like and have an OnlyFans mom by the time like I. Uh, my I pussy is not about so. to be on the internet. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, pus- or oh, Ellie's pussy ain't gonna be on the internet. Not gonna be on I don't, the internet. I mean, I'm not telling you to put yours on there, but it's not Collab gonna be a weird soon. job by the time I actually have kids and stuff. And I see. Here's here's the. Just, it's gonna be not, very she's saying not a traditional she's job. She's saying that, Wait, that culture is gonna time. change. She's saying culture is gonna change by the time that she has kids. It'll be normal for everyone to have OnlyFans. We cannot. Hold on. Hold on. Normalized. Christy, we cannot allow the Overton window to shift for it to be normalized for for your mom to have nude photos of herself on the internet. It's we cannot just, that's, allow. That's what already is going to happen because of how we many can't do it. We cannot. Already are. We cannot do it. I have a question. We so cannot allow it. Because there's so one hundred dollars. Definitely feel crusty. <laughs> They're gonna be Crusties super rich, kid. though. <laughs> but, but wait, you're... if if your let's say your husband is so wealthy, you didn't. He wants you to be stay at home. I want to be stay at home. But That's would you stop? Point. Would I you stay stop? At home. You no, already stay, you stay at home. Always stay at home. <laughs> no, but would you stop doing content? I don't. It doesn't really make sense to me because why would I like? I don't want to be a, a working mom, but I don't really have to do anything to work except for put a camera in my bedroom and make. No, a but lot you're, of money. let's say your husband. But if my husband doesn't want me to do it, yeah, I would consider stopping. But you actually, would consider. So, yeah, like if he doesn't want me to do it, but like. So the guy that you're I haven't been to? in that situation. Like my engagement guy, like he's down to do it and he's down to promote it. So. And he's from a traditional household. Okay, it's but quite are you or they're not? Traditional, though. $99. Dating is difficult as a 29-year-old woman, but it became 10 times harder after hitting a six figures. Rachel. Is there hope for women that make a lot of money in the dating scene? Well, I think, Q, I think you have something on this, but isn't it the case, Q, that... Uh, as a woman starts earning more, her pool of potential partners tends to shrink? Absolutely. What, and Absolutely. why is, why is Absolutely, that? Absolutely, because women require a man who they feel is more competent than them, and finances is one of the markers that indicates that. Mm. True. That's true. Men don't really care what women, how much money women make. So. I think women are more often to leave, too, because they know they have money and they don't have to right. depend on anyone for money. You're right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that's cute, and I, and I get it. <laughs> I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> but um, it comes down to, in a lot of social conversations, women think that men value that. So women right. will say, you, what do you, you know, the classic question, what do you bring to the table? Oh, I make my own money. 
well, that doesn't really matter because you're not That's really not gonna benefiting be, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're not going to be fun in the relationship, and you still want me to do it. And yeah. So, so I would agree. I don't think men care about your accolades. I don't think they care about our education level. I don't think they care about how much money that we make, what our career is. Right, I think like women think bring. that they do, and I don't think men care about that at all. <laughs> all right. The, I think we're gonna have you guys. Let's see if they. Wait. <laughs> No, oh, you guys look kind of similar. Fit on my head. It doesn't oh, really, fit? Brian? It's like, do we look similar? Is it just because we're no, Asian? Because we're Asian? Yeah, no, that's what I was about to say. It <laughs> definitely looks similar. Yeah, because of the pickle haw buzz. Pickle? Because of the hats, the military yeah. helmets. Looks good, Kelly. It's a good look for you. You should try to introduce this to Nordstrom's. I don't think that would... It, you don't think no. the World War One oh, helmet? No. It's a good look. Okay. Um, we're, we were talking about tradition. Yeah. I was just going to say, I don't think it's very traditional to raise I'm your sweating. kids. I want to sweat that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do you want to just put it on Kiki's just put lap? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Just put it on her lap back Why there. In Kiki has no knees. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, it looked like they were eating. The, the rubber, it's, I don't think you can see it on camera, but basically the rubber on her knees... Uh, it's like Wait, not there, there. there's a joint there's a joint she tore and if it's, keys, uh, if it's bent the rubber sheared like sheared so um, okay Christy oh, <coughs> hold on Ben to the offender donated $99 we must not get to a point in society where boys in high school trade nude photos of their friends mother like baseball cards damn Get him grinding. No, like I said, we can we cannot allow the Overton window to shift for OF. To, I I invite OF girls on the show. I'm I'm cool with it on that angle, but I don't think we need it's we cannot mainstream this. It can't it'll be normalized. Be, it'll it be the downfall of society. It hurts girls it already too. Is. It hurts young girls. Like it's it's you sit there at the end of high school and you go, I I have a way out. I think the best way for someone to succeed in life is to have no other option. Damn. You have to be successful. And it's not yeah. saying that people can't be monetarily successful doing OnlyFans, because obviously you are, right? But there's something about not pursuing things that really give you happiness. Your ben, I, oh, sorry, 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 go ahead, go ahead. When you see that as an easy option, and it is, it's an easy option. You just still have to do work, but it is like you know, playing life on recruit mode. It's always a, a fallback. And I don't think that's a healthy way for young girls to grow up. I mean, yeah, I think people don't really understand it. I've had a lot of other jobs, and this is honestly my favorite one, the easiest one, the one that I make the most money. I didn't really have to do anything. It's, I'm just, like, living my life. And, well, like, that's the thing, though. I think work. a lot of... It's, I don't know. People think I'm not happy because I'm doing it, but I've, it's, like... The best job I've ever had. So is because it pays, or it really gives you something? No, because it lets me just live my life in a very feminine energy. Like I don't, as a female, I hate feminism. What is telling females feminine? should go but to what work. Is, it's what not is like feminine, feminine energy. energy having guys jack it constantly to you online, though. <laughs> Because I wake up and I decide, oh, do I want to work out? Do I want to go to the pool? Do, what do I want to do? Like, I just I don't believe like women should really have been like in the workforce in the first place but you so. think women should open up their pussy on the internet don't open it up i, I mean <laughs> <laughs> robber <laughs> by the pussy in 2024 <laughs> i'm just really not bothered explain, but. i mean my, mine looks really good so i don't really care if people see it but fair enough it's just <laughs> weird to me that you would like possibly consider quitting your OnlyFans if you're a future what, if quote unquote he wants me to, fiance would, wants would to would but you wouldn't just it. do it out of the sake of your own like goodness and your own values especially for your children's well, you future have to take and your traditional into consideration values. before you decide on doing it That's I true. have I have a question for you so would you want your like say your 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 daughter's idol or whatever and she <laughs> knows you do OnlyFans would you let her get the OnlyFans yeah yeah. You would let her see your I content? Would, no, I don't. She doesn't need to see my content, but if she wanted to become like an OnlyFans model, that, like she, I she's having, I just she's don't having dudes that. over. I believe, in, I believe in freedom and entrepreneurship. She's having she's dudes over every day see. in her room I'm with not the camera. Having dudes over every day. But I think no, when not you have, you, but, but her, because she's like I'm saying, she's looking up to you. She's like, oh, my mommy does this. She's she's making a good life for herself. We we're living good. Her I'm about to do it. Though. 
There's been several cases. She doesn't cases. have to know it's through monogamy. Cause she, all she, but she would know it was through monogamy. Through her growing up, she's I not going to know what monogamy I is. Teach her, oh, I would teach her what monogamy is. What about for young boys? Like, there's been several cases of young dudes who have some, like, they've been bullied. Deleting themselves. Yeah. Because Del- people yes. found out about My their apologies. mothers. I wasn't going to say it. I think yeah. you have to just... Um, because they get bullied with it. They're getting shown it every day. Look, here's your mum's pussy. Here's your mum's pussy. Like, look, I see, I see your mom. Clip that. <laughs> I mean, I'm homeschooling my children. Well, don't not you do it. Not they won't be socialized, <laughs> obviously, pussy. but I'm not Entrepreneur. sending my kids to get indoctrinated into, like, schools, so. Okay, so. Fair enough. Do we just concede that she's tradition, like, <laughs> I you're not. Thought, yeah, you're kind of not, though. So how do you people like, just think? Okay, I should say I'm you're, a Trump supporter and I'm a Republican, but I'm not traditional. A traditional mom puts cookies in the oven, not. <laughs> but, I am, but I'm going <laughs> not to cook on the, on the internet. I'm literally going to like cook and clean and raise the kids. Jam yourself. Do think, yeah, yeah. How do you with my to, husband? Yeah, which is great, but okay. that's their dad. Go ahead, Kelly. How do you expect to like teach your child monogamy when? There's videos of you fucking multiple men on the internet. Only that have been my boyfriend, though. So, like, I've always, I'm always in a monogamous relationship. But you're sharing, I'm sorry. You're sharing the most sacred part of the relationship with the whole internet. A monogamous relationship. But you're sharing the most sacred part of your relationship with the whole internet. Yeah. Do you think your son's going to care if it's you were monogamous with Brian when he shot a cum shot onto your face? Sorry to use that that name. (laughs) Wait, what? But but if if he saw that and you said, no, no, but I was dating him at the time, he's like, oh, cool, mum, nice. (laughs) Moisturizer. I mean, like... You keep you keep my focusing on monogamy. A, my yeah, you a keep CPA. you keep that's bringing a up monogamy, job, but I'm not mad that he's a CPA. Like, does he have nudes on the internet? No, but like, I, how do you know that your stepdad doesn't pay to watch your OnlyFans? Ooh. Mm. Oh, he probably I, does. I, <laughs> oh, he he's just like under that. a different what username. The f- he does. Uh, Q, you had something. Go ahead. I'm serious. Yeah. No one Wait, will hold, ever hold know hold for sure. But hold on, hold on, hold on. go ahead, Q. I think it's interesting that you keep highlighting monogamy. Which tells me that you're more concerned with the perception of being a whore as opposed to what? I, I mean, I just only want to have a monogamous relationship. Maybe, maybe but, that's but, but how does correct, but how does, but how does like, that negate the fact that you have an OnlyFans, though? Sorry. Like, you keep saying I don't monogamy, think monogamy, that, like, monogamy. Since it's with my boyfriend, I'm not like, I, I don't think it's considered being a whore, but you're not like sleeping around with like a bunch of people. But everyone goes to the unique. whole ratio but, but you're a sex thing. worker. Y- yeah, exactly. Like regardless, you're with your man or not, people don't know he's your man. They're not gonna deep oh, dive everyone in. Know, everyone knows. It's no, like I, I think it depends on, on them. They're not gonna deep dive and be like, oh, it's just because it's her boyfriend. I mean, it's only been the same person. People it's aren't really my people boyfriend. aren't gonna come on your show because they're like, oh, it's just her and her boyfriend. They're coming on your show because you're getting fucked, and uh-huh. that's all they care about. You had something? Like, yeah, I was just going to say, it sounds like this uh, disagreement is kind of like how you define monogamy, because if you didn't... No, it has, it has nothing to do with monogamy. No, but what it's you guys, like what Q is saying is that... Hold on, hold on just a sec. Just because you get dicked down in a MAGA hat doesn't make you conservative. You're lying to yourself, like you lied about the police officer Uh-oh. assault. Yes, I know the truth. Do you want to address that? Hi, Brandon. Yeah. Is that the X? <laughs> um, there was an article... And it was, if you, like, have a brain, clearly could tell the guy that wrote it was really, really mad that I'm a Republican and trying to make me look bad. But, um, yeah, I didn't, like, get any, like, charges or anything for that. It's just an article. On what there did you do? <laughs> Can It says I assaulted a police officer, but... What happened? I didn't actually assault a police officer. The charges were dropped, or mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, free but you, but you were. So okay. I was in my own home, and like <laughs> there weren't supposed to be police let in in the first place, and yeah, the charges were dropped. But so you and the article you was got, made because okay, but you the got guy was trying to bash me for like being a Trump supporter, but like not backing the blue, like so he's just trying to make. Me so you bad. got arrested, but the charges were dropped. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Um, Go yeah, ahead. To finish my thought, it sounds like, you know, what, what Q and maybe what Brian, you're saying also is that monogamy isn't just, you know, a penis inside a vagina, but it's also mm. who you're stimulating sexually, visually. So it sounds like the argument that you guys are making is that if you're stimulating other people sexually, then that in itself is not monogamous. That's and actually a very good point. Even that's the bio, yeah. even the bio on the OnlyFans, your dick will explode. You're also like not. That's, uh, that's you're, almost cheating, right? 
Like if you have a boyfriend and then imagine saying your boyfriend making friends. another dude's dick. It depends. Yeah, it, 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 like what have you been doing all day? Like making dicks it just, it just depends. Like my ex didn't have any problem with my OnlyFans. I think he liked my OnlyFans more than I liked it. So, mm, but Christy, <laughs> if you consider yourself to be conservative, but you still have an OnlyFans and you're really worried about, well, I'm monogamous because I'm only having sex with my boyfriend, all these different types of things, and and you promote the idea of conserving family and all of that. Don't you think that the content you're putting out has the potential to destroy other marriages and other families? There are probably a lot of married men that are sub subbing to your content. Yeah, but um, that's not... But you don't like, care because you're getting money at the end of the day. The thing is, it's just like, if pe people are going to do what, what they want to do. They're going to watch whatever they're going to do. Like, I can't control their actions, so I understand why like your point but like i said last time i'm like it's not my fault eve ate the apple like i can't control people's actions you know what i mean like you can't control their actions me. but you're also condoning their behavior of just subscribing to your does that, does that and you're okay with, people yeah, sell weird shit all the to. time people sell like protein powders to someone who's not going to the gym they're still spending that money like does it ma does it matter that she's selling something like even if it is herself it's like, just the selling it period like yeah, but at the end of the day, it's just so is yeah. it supposed to be free on Pornhub? I'm confused. No, no it's just you know, exposing yourself. Don't give it at all. Yeah. yeah, make people work for it. Yeah, buy your dinners because it's the same thing, right? Well, dinner <laughs> but I want to bring up oh, shit. Flan Life, thank you very much. Oh wow, everyone's getting in on the thank. Thank you, Flan Life. Good Conformity. to see you. Good to see you in the chat. Thank you. Uh, I I think that just the big thing is, and just the way you've described it, like you may very well in all other aspects and all other realms you might very well fit into like your traditional in terms of your politics in terms of how you want to raise your family uh perhaps some of your other values but in this specific instance i think it's like you just i think the fact that you are engaged in doing adult content precludes you from identifying as somewhat someone who's traditional yeah that's um making a lot of people very mad they <laughs> that you're identifying <laughs> as I, 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 I identify I don't as think it's I don't think it's making us I mad we're just trying to get to the oh, bottom no no, no 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 I mean you like know, in general I think we're just, we just trying to get we, to the bottom of I, how you're viewing it can, will you admit that you are in this particular dimension when it comes to you know producing this sort of content that you have you're, you're not tradition. I don't know what the the synonym would be of tradition. I don't have progressive? a traditional job. Would you? Would, no, no, no. Would would you acknowledge that you're progressive in this particular realm? Just, is that like, the synonym in that of traditional one progressive? Situation, that's Liberal? like the only thing that non -traditional? you could say would be non-traditional. Okay, so you would. That would be the one. Like I, me having an OnlyFans might be a non-traditional job, but the way I think every single other part of it is. But it's the Very ratio, because like yeah, that's a the, really but heavy. There's so many traditional things, and then it's out of one. So, so let's say it's a scale. A ratio let's let, of sure, the sure, sure. Let, yeah, here's a, let's say there's a scale of being a traditional person, and you have to like drop various factors for the scale to reach a threshold of being considered traditional. And then you have on the other side of non-traditional. I only have one. You have yeah, but that that's like a huge weight Brandon, on the yeah, non-traditional side. Probably weighed the most. Let, let's let You've this come through. So Yo, Brando, your thank hair you. Color and went off the grid. Oh. Bail was posted, but you and I know you're not off the hook. I have the receipts. The people shall know oh the truth. God, bro. Who is Ryan Brandon? knows what I know. Me, you are not Doc, you're not <laughs> traditional. Also, hi, Madison. Oh, rip. Madison um, is not here, but Brandon, I will let you know that you said hi. Uh, do you have a response yeah, to Yeah, he's acting like I'm in hiding. First of all, I don't have any like charges or anything against me there's no like pending anything against me um i wish that my socials didn't get deleted my first instagram that i love that i had the most engagement with um got deleted from instagram because i went on a political rant about how they're indoctrinating children in schools and i would trust that and they're trying to transform the children and that's when my Instagram got deleted. I did not like delete it on purpose. I really actually want to get it back. Um, but my hair used to be dark. Yeah, I had oh. really, really blonde hair and then I went dark and then I went back to being really blonde. Oh. That just, uh, that's just because I felt <laughs> like changing my hair color though. 
Okay, uh, we hit, let me get a couple chats in here. You like definitely don't know the truth. You just think you do. Nick, did you get the orange one from Emmanuel? No, I was gonna ask you about that one. Oh, is it sus? Just what? Wait, is it? <clears throat> uh, it's uh, that's okay. I'll, here, let me read a couple. All right, we have Puffy Vegas. He's back. I'm gonna say this one more time: all women cheat. I've never cheated in my life. All women so cheat, according to I Puffy Vegas. Will. All women. I've never cheated. Puffy, you might, might just need to, just need to go to therapy Vegas. and talk about it because you're, you're not the picking the right woman. women. Yeah. So, Madison, Brandon wanted to say hi to you. Hi, oh, it's because I said hi to him after the last chat he said. Oh, okay, yeah. Hi, Brandon. You were, he sent in a TTS while you're gone. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it, man. Good to see you, Brandon, Puffy, in the chat. I think it's just because you're in Las Vegas and a lot of the women there in your scene just maybe loose. are Go to loose, a different scene. And loose very, very promiscuous. So maybe all the girls are that they? you're meeting. Are they promiscuous in Vegas? Yeah, you asked me. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, there you have it, People Puffy. were getting mad at me because, or at least one person really was, um, because I said people in, like, rural areas didn't have, like, they weren't going out the way you go out in Vegas, and that yeah, like, exactly. changes the ratios. But, like, that, like, is actually what I was saying. Like, yes, like, if you're in, like, Rich. Vegas or Miami or, like, a certain city. Like, hot cities. Yeah. Rachel yeah. Fallin donated $99. I don't do off and already have a hard time dating. If I had an off, I'm giving up the one thing that could secure a future family for me. How Power old of the are pussy. you, Rachel? Yo, Rachel. Uh, this name sounds familiar. I don't know if you DM'd us asking to be on the show. Or wait, has, has she been on the show? Wait, Rachel? I don't know, but hey, Rachel, thank you for the TTS. Appreciate it. I don't have a hard time dating, so I don't really know what to tell you um, about that. You don't have a hard time dating? I actually, can I? Yeah, I'm engaged. She's engaged. <laughs> to be honest with you, like, first of all, my OnlyFans, like, took off, like, as an accident. It was kind of like a social experiment. I was selling bikini pictures for a $100. Um, a hundred? Yeah. Bikini? Just, yeah. That's how it started. And then things escalated, but... What were you doing in these bikini pictures? Did you have your Literally, butthole hanging out or something? No, <laughs> I swear to God, that's how it... Who's buying $100 for that? That's how it that? started. That's how it started. And um, <laughs> my, I used to have, like, my old... This is why I wish I had my old Instagram account, because over the years from, like, going to school and moving around so much and doing different careers, I had... And, like, being a bartender... I had so many guys follow my Instagram that wanted to get with me that as soon as I dropped my OnlyFans, they all went in there and then they were telling me how like, like one, one fan told me he went to college with me and I didn't like, I know who, I know his name and I know the fraternity he's in, but I don't remember like seeing him in person or like who he, like what he looks like. But he told me that he would always go out to the bars and jerk off to my Facebook page, which Facebook pictures what? are horrible. Go this out to the like bars and two, do it. This oh. is in 2010, 2011. You can so at least got, stand outside your window. So like, yeah, yeah well, like, people, people have been jerking off for, to me for free on Facebook. You should have a t-shirt. So, you should have a t-shirt. Like, I'm just that. now making money off of it. I'm sure they're doing what? it for free on my Instagram too. But yeah. the Facebook pictures thing, I think are nuts because that's like Ooh, group photos. Okay. All, All right. right. Boost your ego. No, it didn't boost my ego. It's just why I made a lot of money really fast and why I escalated. I've subscribed to probably about 10 OnlyFans accounts no, with my wife. Isaac. No, 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 no. Because Isaac. they're people we know oh, yeah, and okay. we, we just, I've reviewed it on my YouTube channel and it's hilarious to watch these people just open their legs on camera and you know them. Okay, but this is what I'm talking about. This is why I could never, I mean, there's a million reasons why I would never do OnlyFans, but... I could not get past the idea that people I know in real life, my neighbor, yeah. my step parent or whatever are making accounts and watching me. And I feel like, wasn't yeah. it a girl in Australia? This just happened. This girl had an OnlyFans and then she found out that her stepdad was like yes, her biggest yes, sub yes. and paying thousands of dollars Every a day. month. And then she figured it out. That freaks me out. Yeah, Horrid. that went viral on TikTok about a month or so ago. And oh, it yeah. was, it was Plan crazy. Nice. I'm just not, no, 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 I'm not freaked out about it. Hold on just a sec, hold Raspy on. Raspy looks and acts like a Dollar Tree Marjorie Taylor Green. <laughs> Do you know, 
I assume you know who that okay, is. Yeah, okay. And MTG. Do you do you, do you want to say anything back really to Fan Life? Like you got com- I don't really have like a comment back to that. Okay. All right, let me get a couple of the chats here. So we have did we do this one from I do the same thing <laughs> channel. I have <laughs> Fitbit reviews. This guy has got to save his I'm money. Can I, can I say <laughs> something though? Like I Wait, have a oh. lot of Do you mind if I say something? Okay. I have a sure. lot of fans that would also consider themselves conservatives. Are they fans though? Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say like they're not if, fans. If they if like my my yeah, people who come to are. my comedy shows, right? They're fans. They want to get photos, they want to get merch, all that type of stuff. A little closer, I'm sorry. <laughs> they want to get merch, all that type of stuff. They watch all the videos and that type of stuff. But after these guys blow their load, do they care about you still? Nope. Yeah, like this is the no. thing that people don't understand on my OnlyFans and it's a lot different from the like couple that I was on with last time. Like my OnlyFans, like we have, we're actually like talking about a lot of things. Like we're like connecting. What? We're not always just talking is that about cheating, sexual though? things what? at all. Like we're actually, we talk about politics. I talk about politics with them all the time. My bio also says Patriot. And a lot of the That's after the dick exploding bit. <laughs> I've gotten are because they're like, oh my God, finally, like a conservative girl. Cause uh, like so many girls are like- A conservative girl, yeah, but no, on OnlyFans. So many girls these days are like liberals. So yeah. It's smart what you're doing. Like it's but good th- marketing. Cause these guys <laughs> are like, finally, like I've got a MAGA girl I can jerk off over. Yeah. Like it's smart. Yeah, you, do, you, you understand but that that's a but fantasy. They, they identify as conservative too, so. That's you could also thing. consider you yourself one. conservative, but you may not be. So the, the argument is like, I should be saying I'm Republican and not conservative. Do you need but to yes. say it? Like, who cares? <laughs> exactly. I don't really care. I Trump mean, just straight off the bat, support. everyone's not going to consider you conservative if, if you say don't that. I don't consider me conservative, but I... Um, but you are. But I... Yeah, I mean, I don't care if they like... <laughs> you are, but you're how, not. I don't care if they <laughs> believe what's in my heart, but... I definitely don't want to have anything to do with being like a leftist, a moderate. Like I am a complete Republican. So no, no, no. You don't nobody's want, saying. I know nobody's saying. Nobody's saying. Nobody's saying. Nobody's saying. Nobody's saying. Nobody's saying. You're woke, I think. Yeah, you're woke. You're woke. You're woke. <laughs> 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 Stick a maggot hat in your ass, or you are woke. <laughs> you are woke. Yes, I will. I don't. I don't do like the ass stuff. Oh, well, uh, so you're missing out on such clarifying. a huge portion oh, that's where, of that's, the market. Yeah, that's where you draw the line. Yeah. <laughs> Pussy. Of course. <laughs> I pull out. Okay. Um, so we got some chats here. We got some more from Puffy Vegas. Oh, my God. He said, oh, never met a faithful, faithful woman. I'm going to say this one more time. All women cheat. I do. Again? He says, oh, I already re- uh, Fitbit reviews. Okay, we have the cast man 777. Hey, thank you, man. Trump is not actually a conservative. He was actually a populist moderate. This is not necessarily a bad thing. However, support for Trump can't be used as a litmus test for being conservative. Getting dicked down with a MAGA hat is not, not conservative. Well, he donated <laughs> oh, not moot. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's not ideal, but someone's gonna do it. The extra thing she gets is living the easy life since it's possible at all. Nobody wants to see Christie be the grasshopper. Don't gang up on the girl toe. She's a guest, and also don't be jealous of the easy life. Thank you. Uh, wait, what? I agree. I completely They're telling agree. us to stop messing with her. Dunking up and not to be one. jealous that my life is easier than other people's. Thank you. All right, there you have it. We have Puffy Vegas once again. Leave the blonde oh girl alone. <laughs> this is her life. Let it be in life. I'm sick of you acting like I'm just sick of it. Oh, okay, Puffy <laughs> Vegas. I uh, just like, can't believe like little old me is so controversial. No, I, don't think, I don't think you're controversial at all. It's just that one thing. Yeah, like you, you, you say that thing. you're a, you're a traditional that person. Thing. That's like saying you don't like gay people, but then you suck one dick a day. <laughs> like it's not you're not quite there. You got to commit to the bit. You know what though? There are people who <laughs> say that they can suck dick and not be gay. It's a thing apparently. You're not no. gay for sucking my. What's that from um, from Harold and Kumar? You're gay for sucking my dick. I saw that. Nothing's gay. Like (laughs) Trump Republican Uh OnlyFans girls. There's a whole thing on Reddit. Is it like a fetish? Oh, you know what is actually a fetish that I get a lot of. I get a lot of liberal men wanting to pay me to to grade them. They don't actually even want like pictures or videos of me. They just want to pay the republican girl to degrade them for being like a pussy little bitch huh? 
based. So mm-hmm. that is actually a huge thing. <laughs> I'll, hey, I, I can do that also without naked pictures. I'm like I would do that for free, but they're not paying for the naked pictures. They're paying for the... Yeah, they have a degradation kink. Yeah, they want yeah, to yeah, be... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, like, I would do that for free if they, like, commented on my Instagram. So. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Oh, okay, you're, now you're going to get a whole bunch of people. I don't know. for it no more. All right, we have Virgin Slayer, raspy traditional sex worker. Please steal men the argument against doing OnlyFans. Who, wait, who do you want to steal man? You want Kristen to steal man? Chrissy, yeah. Oh, sorry, Chrissy? I Christy. Was Chris, oh, Christy, excuse me. <laughs> um, you want us to steal think, man, Virgin Christy, Slayer? Yeah, I'm kind her. of confused. Yeah, he's directing it towards Rasmus. The argument against... <laughs> she, oh, he wants I to see, make an I argument. See. He yeah. wants you to argue for the other side, which is why do you think people shouldn't do OnlyFans. What's wrong with OnlyFans? I don't think there's anything wrong there's with n- it or nothing. I wouldn't be doing it. But you, so you don't, you don't acknowledge that there's, you don't think there's any detriment when it comes to having these kinds of photos out there when it comes to your future husband, to your kids, zero detriment. I actually, no, because, but I actually did like when my OnlyFans was super, super G rated with just bikini and lingerie pictures. Um, when I decided to like take it further, I actually thought it was going to negatively impact my dating life where I thought I, that could have been an option, but I decided to go through with it anyway and it has not hurt my dating life. And, um, yeah, but you've you've only experienced doing OnlyFans in the present. Like, you have no idea once you do have kids and stuff how that could affect them. I mean, I look at Britney Spears' kids. They want nothing to do with her because they're so embarrassed by her nudes and stuff she keeps posting on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, no one can predict the future at the table, I don't think. But I do think it will be... I know you don't want it to be normalized, and I'm not saying it should be. It's just what is going to happen because there are so many content creators... That like Alonious. we're gonna we're Alonious. gonna have kids and it's going to be a normal job. It just is. So and this is why men need to refuse to date and marry women who do OnlyFans. So if your kid, say if your daughter like came up to you and asked to do OnlyFans, you wouldn't warn any. You don't. You wouldn't warn her about anything. I'm not saying I wouldn't warn her of anything. I would tell her. Well, I guess that's what we're asking. So like, like, what would you do? I would not about let like, her what do, you do need it to if that's it. what she wanted to do. I mean, I believe Wait, in freedom. Wait, question. So just would you be, be who you are. Would you be, cool with, you would you be cool with your mom starting an OnlyFans? I mean, she Definitely. wouldn't, but that's fine. But I'd be fine with my sister starting an OnlyFans. Your sister did? She, no, but I'd oh. be fine if she wanted to. She doesn't want to You'd be do cool that, with your mom, like, like, doing bukkakis and shit? I'd be fine with anyone Your mom. You'd be fine with your mom doing bukkakis? Me and my sister have a joke about bukkakis. <laughs> what the fuck? You, okay. I've never participated in one, and I never will participate in one. But okay. What about your but you mom? never can predict the future. I don't know. Never if say she's never. Participated, but never I'm, say never. I'm gonna say she has not. <laughs> All right. Okay. We have. Lionel. I mean, like, if you want to do a bukkake, here, we'll move on. It would Lionel. explain the raspy voice. The bukkake. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it, I didn't know you like really swallowed in a bukkake. I thought oh. you were more. Just well, like, if you're having a go, I you thought swallow. it was just kind of. On Professional you. swallow. I've, I've never Amateurs, done one. Amateurs, they so. just cop it on the face. I don't know. Like I don't a know how loser. It would go. I really thought you just kind of got drenched in it. I the, didn't think mate. you actually like what? swallowed because there's so much at one time, and you're in the middle. You're very far away to actually. swallow What do you do in a buffet? It? Do you just chew it? You're, no, you you're swallow very, it like a you're real very woman. Far away though. Kind of Traditionally, thing. I don't think anyone on this table has done a bukkake. <laughs> Actually, you don't know me no, at all. I don't understand you saying that you want to homeschool your kids and stuff because you're worried about them getting indoctrinated at school. You're obviously worried about the well-being of children, yet the content that you're putting out on the internet is so harmful, mm. and there could be underage kids that are subbing to your content. I don't know if she is worried about the well-being of children. She's wearing them on her face. I am. Well, <laughs> I am. I am. We're not going to talk about that. We do have... Leonel Melendez here. Ooh. Don't listen to the people that say you aren't Republican because you do OF. Well, that's not what, what we're saying. Yeah. Those are the extreme incels of the right or the super closed minded. Wrong. As to adult content with your partner, I'd say it's okay as long as it's not a partner every other month that'll make you a 304. I agree. I uh, disagree with Mr. <laughs> Li- Leonel, Leonel Men- Melendez. Uh, that's like. I completely agree. That's like exactly how, that's what I think too. 
So do you want to be a housewife? Like you just want to, you don't want to work, you want to stay at home. Well, I want to be a housewife, but I'll have my OnlyFans, so technically. I'm... So you're going to have your OnlyFans for the rest of your life? Probably, so your yeah. Pussy's wrinkled. Fuck yeah, granny bring, porn. It's bringing in so much. <laughs> like, why would I stop something from bringing in revenue? Exactly. So that's what I'm. It doesn't really so make like, sense. Like, so that's today. what I'm saying. So your daughter is gonna be at home, homeschooled, on Zoom with her little her teacher, but you're gonna be getting fucked. In the next my, room. In the next husband. room by your husband. But do you not understand how that is detrimental to your daughter? A daughter is not supposed to see a woman and uh, their mom and dad fucking. A woman, a girl is not supposed to. Uh, well, no children. That could also lead to like yeah. resentment. But yeah, she can, but she can see it. She can go on the internet. She can nice go on the internet. Lifestyle. But she can go on the internet and see her mom and dad fucking. I or even t- if it's not her, people like kids. Kids are mean. Like they're gonna yeah. send it to. They're gonna send it to like, her. They're gonna send yeah. it to her son. They're gonna be like, like, oh, oh look is at this your mom. mom. Like I'm look gonna at your dad. teach my kids. Um, Close their eyes when the photos come on. <laughs> I know, I'm literally going to teach my kids to be entrepreneurial and to do whatever but they want. But that doesn't stop the, the internet. Part Everyone doesn't. has freedom to do what they no, want. No, we're not telling you to stop. Internet. We're not telling you to stop. We're trying to get you to be like, okay. I know, you're trying to get me to say, stop um, it. My daughter, my daughter is gonna have a horrible life, but I don't. No, think we're, we're not saying, saying anything horrible about life. We're saying a like life. why? Like think about. We're telling you think about the kids aspect, like the perspective of a kid. You may be like, oh, they're going to have a good life. They're going to live up, going happy. They're going to get to buy whatever they want. They're going to get be able to do whatever they want. We're going to be on Abu Dhabi every other Christmas. But what I'm saying is... <laughs> That's so specific. <laughs> what, I'm saying, every, what I'm saying is, like, kids, kids are like emotional wrecks. They're not going to see it how you're seeing it. They're going to be mm-hmm. like, oh, my mom is out here doing this. And then she's going to do that at a young age. She's going to think it's okay. She's going to think it's okay. She's going to grow up. It's going to be somebody who tells who's because she might not have thick skin like you. Like you have very thick skin. Your daughter might not have thick skin. What people may say might get to her. She might get depressed. She might, you know, but end up having problems. In a way that but you don't won. know that. You don't, you don't predict don't, the future. I feel like I mean, my mom raised me real either, good, though. but what my mom expected me to grow up as is not how I did. Just a sec. Hey, Rachel, thank you. What would you do as a housewife if you don't want to cook or clean? I do want to cook Isn't that what clean. a housewife is? A person that takes care of the house and home living? I literally said I wanted to cook and clean. Like, I literally said Yeah, but that. you Wait, putting I, corn I don't, into I don't know if you answered this totally, but let's say your husband was very wealthy. He can provide for... You don't have to work. I don't know. He makes a million dollars a year, right? That's not a lot of money. Get fucked. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's, Girl, that's the ridiculous thing well, anyone's okay. ever you, said. You do... Re- okay. Well, you, I don't think that's like how that. Much, well, just curious. How much do you make from... I mean, I'm not going to say how much I make, but I'm... Why? Why? Can, why? Can why? why? You just said a million dollars is not a lot, so if you make more than a million dollars, you should be out here saying, yeah, I make more than a but fucking million dollars. why I'm saying that's right, Kelly. that is because <laughs> my right. stepdad makes way more money than oh. that, so I just... Your stepdad? But you're, step, but you're 33. Yeah, so I just like... Don't why are you relying on your stepdad? I'm not relying on myself. I'm just. But wait, no, we're talking because, about your money. Because I don't, I can't like reveal certain things about my OnlyFans. Well, don't tell us how much you make a year. How much you make like a month? I, I, like like a money. Money. I don't think. Range. Range. I, I thought making Range. two million dollars a year was normal for people. To yeah, it's be not. Honest. No, it is normal. Out, it wasn't. And if you're not so, making two million dollars a year, you're an absolute out, loser. I'm talking about all of you fucking losers. What's the average? What's the average salary a man makes a year? Eighty. 80k? No, it's less like than that. It's 40 something. Yeah, yeah. 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 and us high value people, we make 2 million, yeah. right? Wait, hold on. You I, think, I you think most people? You think no most one. people make? Two million. I used to. I found this out like kind of. Well, what, you, I what, did you have a brain injury? I Why? Why? I didn't Why did you think, think it was that? that weird from the area I grew up. I didn't. Where did you grow up? up? Abu Dhabi, New Jersey. Okay. What's happening in New Jersey? Basking or New Jersey. I, I just don't, I don't think it was that weird. Wait, can you, everyone there can you give us a range? Dollars. A range? Like, do you make five figures a month? I'm not going to give any range about anything. Six figures a month? I'm not going to. But you'll put your okay, pussy fine, on fine, the fine. internet? Yeah. Um, how, many subs <laughs> do you, how many subs do you have on your OnlyFans? I can't say that either. No, I was trying to trick you. Okay. Girl. <laughs> anyway, to go back. I can't say that either. Go back let, to where, okay. let, let me just, okay. So, hold on. You think a, someone making a million dollars a year is not enough. Well, I mean, this is the thing. I'm not saying it's not enough for me, but when you're like, if someone 
if you meet someone that's so so wealthy, would you stop it? And then you said a million. I was like, oh, I don't think that's the wealthy person. That's I mean, but not that, saying you're not wealthy. A millionaire but, is not a wealthy. person I mean, person I don't know. I days. live in Miami. Maybe things are like different. I'm but. saying a million dollars a year. That's enough in any city in the U.S. for you to like for you to be a stay-at-home wife and not have to work. Okay. In any city in so the world. So how about we take the million dollars thing away and just say if it was an extremely wealthy man, and I did answer this, but they didn't like the word I said considered. Okay, I said 10 million I would a year. 10 million I said I would consider if he wanted me to do it, and then people got mad that I said you would consider. consider and not just a hard yes because you can't just give anything a hard yes without consideration first. Oh. But yeah, but like, I mean, so if you wanted me to do it, I probably would get rid of it. If if that was a big deal to him, that was like a make or break, and I was in love with him. But like I, I you have are not, addicted to the attention I, from OnlyFans. I have literally not had any guy tell me that I would need to delete my OnlyFans. Because fans. no guy has wanted to marry you yet. For I'm real, for real. They want to age. Where's the ring? My ex-boyfriend wanted to marry me and he loved that I was... But how did that turn out? Well, I broke up with him. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So, but he wanted to make it work really, really bad. Like, he thought... So he then why didn't you want to marry him? Because I could just tell he wasn't my person. Like, I'm not going to just marry just anyone... Just like how we were saying, it's very important to date someone and get to know them. And like, there's a thing called intuition and you either feel like someone is meant to be with you forever or that you don't. And I'm not gonna date someone yeah. just because I, I didn't feel like he was my my forever and I don't wanna get divorced. We've done a lot of talking about what's gonna, like why won't you think about stopping it for your kids, but it's too late. So you gotta think about now how you're going to allow them to cope, particularly if you have a young boy. Like I know we're talking about young girls and stuff. But I think it's really damaging for a young boy to be yeah, shown at school. Really to add to that, you also keep saying you're going to teach them to be entrepreneurs. You can teach your kids anything, but they're going to do something else. You can tell your kids to not do drugs, but they're still going to do drugs. Right, exactly. What would you say to your son if he's 15 years old and they say, and he comes up and says, listen, they keep showing me these photos of you and your ex-boyfriend from 2022? I mean, this is the thing. I, the way I'm going to raise them... Oh my God. Well, but what is the answer? I, but that doesn't understand. I think all of this is the recipe for like creating a serial okay. killer. Like that's what, like what I'm imagining. Like well, my mom question, growing up you was doing it. Yeah, but that's just, what you're imagining. But he just there's, asked you, what would you do? stars with kids. But how about the kids? <laughs> right. I, I don't know. Should we bring them all on this podcast? <laughs> Should um, we interview them But what would you say to your son? If, if your son said, I've seen this, I've seen. he's going to have already known that before. But he's seeing it. There's Here. a difference between Let's, knowing uh, and saying it. We, I, I feel like we've been sticking on this for a little too long. Let's move on. Uh, I nearly got it, bro. We have <laughs> Puffy Vegas, have the blonde girl rate me. Puffy Vegas, have all the girls rate me. One out of ten Send days. Send a picture. I think Puffy's off his head. I think we saw uh, him. Yeah. We, we saw, yeah, Puffy just sent him donations. Pu Puffy, you got to do... Puffy, I've told you, man. You, if you want an Instagram rating, you have to do it through Streamlabs. <laughs> he you every send, time. send one TTS through Streamlabs and we'll rate you, buddy. Infinite Singularity. Hey, thank you for the 50. At this table, foresight eludes us all. Except, of course, for our resident oracle, Alex. Boom. Resident Swami. oracle. All right, we have Blackface Trudeau with 60 euro, I believe. Was that euro? Or no, wait. That's euro, right? Yeah, that's euro. That's euro. <laughs> Gangsta Trump would say TRFK Jr. belongs to the streets. What up, Brian? Big fan. Also, Carb Strong can suck vegan balls. Isaac knows what I mean. I do. And congrats on 2 million plus subs, Isaac. Congrats, right. man. Congrats. Not on OnlyFans. I wish they were. Do you have a response to <laughs> Trudeau here? Uh, Mr. Beefface Trudeau, thank you. Uh, yeah, Joey Carbstrong is a vegan activist who uh, spent a bit of time in jail for some violent crimes, and now he doesn't like me. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, there's good. like a beef. I, I have a lot of beef. Yeah, great pun. Uh, I have a lot of beef with the vegans. I have uh, anti-vegan merch. I sell fuck vegan jerky. Um, I made a lot of money out of them. You wouldn't, good convert. Yeah, sorry. you wouldn't convert. <laughs> no, I no? Mean, no, it's it's. You just love the vegan. Veganism, veganism is a cult. Of and course, it's also fake. Veganism is a cult, much like religion's a cult. It's oh. all a cult. Oh. We should, we're supposed to be eating meat. Now. True. Stop talking about work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge carnivore. I, I'm not into the vegan stuff. I think at did all. that just yeah. 
Did it no, no, it? I got it. Like, oh, okay, I got okay, the okay. Cause, part. Cause I got the it. Okay. Penis. But I actually would just like. <laughs> the penis. I like that you're so against veganism. Like, yeah, I built my. I ground. built the start of my channel on anti vegans and anti cyclist stuff. Peter after you? Yeah. Yeah, Peter doesn't like me either. They blocked me. It's um. I've been it's trying to get fun. them to hate me. <laughs> it's easy. I've been I've been trying to get them to hate me. Just keep going. Okay. Just don't keep... stop. Just keep attacking. They're crazy. It's, fan- it's fantastic. They're very easy people to annoy. Wait, did I, and I've seen quite a few of your videos. Did you ever do a video where you went to like a, a vegan establishment and you were eating like meat in front of them? Outside? No, I, 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 I did. Um, I, I, I don't, can't remember. This is because like over the last five years, I've uploaded like 600 videos on YouTube. So sure. I forget about every video I do as yeah. soon as I post it. But there's been a lot. There's been, I, I've done a lot of different things on my channel and with stand up. And I get the most death threats from vegans. It's really? hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. I've the I've most? been cancelled for jokes about Muslim people, uh, about oh, just like I, I did a, a horrible joke back in the day. It was hilarious, but horrible as well. <laughs> I had I had about ten thousand DMs in the first like two or three hours that it went through, and it ended up about sixty thousand in two days. All death threats, but I still get more from vegan people, and that is because wow. they are weak pieces of shit. Oh wow. Out. Okay, now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get there. You go right to that one. I'm going to get cancelled. Um, okay, la- just the last thing on the whole OF thing. I just want to say one thing. If there's any young women who are watching, please do not model your lifestyle after women who do OnlyFans. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. I honestly didn't think my OnlyFans was going to be like such a big deal. I thought we were just going to be like not. Yes, no, you did. What are you talking about? Only, no, like, like when I first came <laughs> onto the show, I'm like, oh, I just thought we were like, going to tell funny dating stories. Oh, we'll get like, to that. We'll get to I that. I didn't think it was going to be like that big of a deal. And I think if I said I was a liberal, it wouldn't have been a deal, like, big deal. I think it's that I no, call it's myself. Oh, yeah, it is because, because it's contradictory. It's, so it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's, it's unique it's, to have someone say, I'm conservative, but I do OnlyFans. Yeah. And it, it like if you were some liberal feminist chick, it'd just be like, okay. Yeah, it like wouldn't. It, it, like that was the shocker that I'm like a Republican. No, that's not, no, the, not shocker. the Republican. The, that's a shocker. the shocker it's, is the fact that you say that you are a traditional woman that you want traditional <laughs> yeah, yeah, values. Can I, can I say? But shocker. you have an OnlyFans. That's the shocker. Shocker. Not traditional. I know that's, that's oh, oh, oh. the shocker. The, the shock is actually that. That is the shock. I'm that sorry, I just wanted to point like that you out. You would be great for OnlyFans. You know I know. All this stuff. I know all the moves. <laughs> I know. I'm just, exactly. The idea of me Maybe having sex on like camera is the most disgraceful way. thing of all time. Wait. I am yeah. so pale and gross. It's yeah. hilarious. The Isaac Do you hate OnlyFans models or vegans more? Um, vegans. Probably vegans. Right? Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> vegan <laughs> 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 are up there. Sorry, but that's, that's no, no. I'm I'm big fans of nudes. I don't know. If look, if you. If there's again, if there's any young women watching, if you ever want to get married, if pictures of yourselves, if, excuse me, if pictures of yourself doing sexual things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. Just saying. Okay. Well, I don't think the husband. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about. All right, we have Danny De La Torre here. Oh, girls cool have asked me if I talk to other girls while doing so with them. I don't care if they're talking to other guys though. But if you have side hose and your main talks to another guy, that is fair game. Dating cannot have double standards. Is this? I think this is related to Q with the Q. Oh, FDG. Oh, oh. Okay. With the thank you very much, merci beaucoup. It means the world. We have. Okay. So he's saying, if I talk to other girls while doing so with them, I don't care if they're talking to other. See, I think this is where Q disagrees. I I kind of disagree. Uh, if if this is what you've negotiated, if you've negotiated a unilateral closed on their end or closed on their end to open on yours and they're cool with that i think that's totally legit i think it's going to be hard to get and actually q i have a question for you on this and if you mm-hmm. want to respond to him um what is your pitch to a girl like so you say you you disclose to them hey you know like what is your pitch what is the selling angle how do you sell it to a girl well, I guess there's a couple different things. One, there's the non-monogamy component, but then also like with a with your main chick, mm-hmm. how do you sell closed on your end, open on mine? Just like that. <laughs> oh, you just say that <laughs> shit? <laughs> oh, flam life. Just like that. And no, then, thank you. And then um, responding to him, uh, he said double standards cannot, but they can because of biology. They can because of biology mm-hmm. and they can because of the way the male brain works versus the way the female brain works. And as sure. I said, 
if you know that a woman gets attached, you know this woman is selective. She only wants to date one guy, and she chooses to be committed to you. You're the guy that she's attached to, and she chooses to remain committed to you despite the fact that you date other girls. That's 100% her choice. The onus is on her. However, if I communicate that I'm aware that you're this way, I know that if you date another guy, that you would like that guy because of the way you move with me and because of the way you move prior to me, then I'm not accepting that because I know I already lost you to begin with. There would be even no, no, no point in me in contesting mm. it. It's like, oh, I started dealing with this guy. I know that for you to have been dealing with that guy, it's been premeditated. Y'all have been talking. You've allowed him to sexually arouse you. You've gone out with him. You spent time with him. You've got close to him. You've been intimate with him. And so that guy's going to naturally give you what you feel like you aren't getting from me, which is the commitment, especially if he's only dealing with you. So you're going to have more incentive to leave regardless. So therefore, it doesn't matter. Also, doesn't matter. aren't there, there's a whole bunch of double standards, some that benefit men, men some, some that, that benefit, benefit women. women. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I guess Danny De La Torre, Torre, whatever. Sorry if I got your uh, name wrong there. Do you pay for the first date? That's a double standard that men are expected to pay for the first date. Just saying, like, do you, are you 50-50 on everything? Mm. Danny Delay, Delay Torres? There's a lot of girls running around with free dinners. Foodie calls. Yeah. Foodie calls. Foodie it calls. is like a that. thing. Nick, can you pull up Twitch really quick? Let's shout out Twitch. Guys, go to twitch.tv. Oh, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow, drop, a, drop us a prime sub if you have one. Uh, wait, who? What the fuck? Close that out. No, 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 no. Go back. Close the, the little fucking at the top. It's all good. I don't know. I forgot who. Uh, Hellshock, thank you for the prime. Carly, thank you for the prime. Rockin, thank you for the prime. Drop, thank you for the prime. Blink, thank you for the prime. Is that your username, Blink? Wow, that good for you, man. Uh, After Dark, thank you for the prime. Therivala? Thank you. I can't pronounce it. The Riley, I think. Thank you for the prime, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so I had a couple notes here. Uh, let's see. Hold on. What? Actually, really quick on the whole like Q situation and uh, it being closed on one end. Would any of you consider dating a guy where it's closed on your end, open on his? No, absolutely no. not. I would not. And Donald I just... Trump. What about for Donald Trump? No, we would have to have a monogamous relationship. What yeah. if he's making ten mil a year? I don't like, that's why I said I don't want him to have to get divorced. That's why I wouldn't put myself in the picture. Okay. I wouldn't. What about you? Do that ever. Keep, keep in mind, this could be like your ideal guy. He could be very high status, very attractive. I'm gonna go from personal. Like if the guy I was dating now wanted to do like the whole we break up but you stay there i go out i don't know like i can't sure i, I don't know i i wouldn't monogamy would be a core value for me and okay. just on the double standard you know i would also offer up that there are women out there who have multiple male partners and the male yep. partners are monogamous to them so you know i i don't think there's anything wrong with double Hold standards on. as long as everyone agrees okay um no i wouldn't I wouldn't want to do that. Personally, I could not. Would not be my ideal <coughs> man if he would not be monogamous to me. Alex. Absolutely. Donald Trump. Absolutely she is not. Scarred. Huh? <laughs> She's scarred. No, I just like it's that's disgusting. And also, I just wouldn't. I would lose attraction for a guy if I wasn't like the only woman in his life. Like if I really liked him and he was my ideal ten out of ten guy or whatever. But if he was talking to other girls besides me and I, I knew I was an option, I would lose attraction for him. You know, one of the interesting things that I love about this is you asking them what they think they would do. And I always say women don't honestly know what they would do until they're actually in the situation and their emotions, the emotionally charged variables that factor into that equation no. are actually present. I so, think I know what I would do in this situation. You, yeah, I mean, you can say what you would do on the outside looking in until you're actually in the situation. I don't think any of you have ever been in the situation. You've never you're acting like this is Sophie's choice. Like I would never be no, I'm, attracted no, I'm, to no, a guy who's that, talking to girls. I'm, no, I'm saying that because I'm saying that because I'm saying that because I'm also I'm also a relationship coach, and I see women do I see women all the time who say one thing and actually do another in reality. 
And that's most of the women that I deal with. Women love saying what they would or wouldn't do. As I said, you're on the outside looking in. You're not in love. You're, you don't know how you feel. You're not overwhelmed with the feelings that you have for that guy. You don't know that. None of you do. You can't say that. You can say what you think so, you wouldn't I, do until you're actually in the situation and you and there are circumstances to where you start to rationalize, you start to tell yourself, well, maybe I can change his mind or maybe it's me, maybe it's something that I can do. There are all kind of things that women go through that they tell themselves emotionally when they're caught up. And that's how so many women end up caught up. That's how women end up talking about fuck boys. That's how they end up talking about, oh, this guy did me wrong. Because a lot of the times those women are caught in situations because they're slaves to their emotions. And women are often slaves to their emotions. When you're not emotionally present in what I'm saying, then, yeah, you could say, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I absolutely wouldn't do that. But if we're talking about, sorry. Do you want to go first? Go ahead, go ahead. If we're talking about non-monogamous relationships, 90 per 92% of non-monogamous relationships fail and it's because one of the reasons is because it's not a mutual decision and Well, you say relationships. I'm not talking about relationships. Well, that's so we're what just we're talking just about talking about. Yeah, you're talking about like being in a committed relationship, dating a guy. I'm talking about if a guy is dating you and he's dating multiple women, but y'all aren't but committed committ to one another. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I'm about to say because it's it's never a mutual decision and a lot of the women that are going into non-monogamous relationships that are initiated by the man just feel like they have to say yes because they don't they're too scared to you, lose you know man. what else women say they wouldn't do they say they wouldn't stay if they got cheated on so you're saying they they stay. women are driven by their emotions yeah. a lot so in that case wouldn't you as a relationship coach try to coach women on understanding what their boundaries are and sticking with them who said i didn't i didn't i'm just asking you just you asked that question and that question is already on the presupposition that i don't okay who said, so then who, open I do. question I, abs then. I absolutely do I absolutely do because I want women to make decisions. I want them to draw boundaries. And at the end of the day, the goal is to give the woman a choice so women don't feel like they don't have a choice. That's why you're open, honest, and transparent. That's why you say, hey, this is what the situation is. This is what's going on. This is what I want. You can do what you want or you can tell me that you want to conform to what I'm doing. And you leave the decision up to her. Women feel but the, the feelings of malice come from feeling betrayed, feeling lied to, feeling like they didn't have a choice. So what do you do? You eliminate those feelings. You eliminate the feeling of betrayal. You eliminate the feeling of they don't have a choice. You allow them to make their own decision and that's when their emotions come in. That's why I said if a woman really likes you, a woman will stay through things that she thinks she wouldn't stay through. I can attest to that, and men who get women can attest to that, regardless of what women say, because women say the same things. I've dealt with women. I've oh, you know, I can keep this casual. Oh so no, I really I like you. I, I want a relationship. I think back a little bit is where you're saying that a woman will sort of prove your her prove how much she cares about you if you can sort of um, if she proves to you that she's willing to do things that she wouldn't otherwise do. What that sounds like to me is sort of already having a little bit of soft boundaries. So the other way to approach that would be asking the woman, what are your boundaries and coaching her on how to stick with that. And that would be the approach that, that I would take. Overall, I think it's just different when you, like he said, like you, you're, it, we're not in, if you're in love, it's completely different. Thank you. Like when you are with, like when you are really, really like in love with this person, it does not matter what they say, what they do. You're still just going to love that person. And like, the fact that we're all talk we we're talking about this like shows that like we're in some of us are clearly not in love. I've like you know I've been with. That's why I respect your answer. You you said no, and then you said I, I honestly don't know. You know why <laughs> she doesn't know? Because she know how she feel about him right now, mm -hmm. and she make that decision based on how she feels about him right now. And I think it's perfectly fine to not know. You know, we don't all have the answers right here, right now, and things change over time. You know, maybe one day one person says they want to be monogamous. The the next six months after six months, things change. Where they are in their headspace changes. They want to open up the relationship. A year passes, they want to be monogamous again. So it, it's a fluctuating thing. We don't always have to know in, in the moment. But I think there is a difference between saying a woman doesn't know because she's a slave to her emotion and how she feels might change. That's true. But you can also take the approach of saying, well, so think about what your priorities are, what you want, and how can we figure out how to navigate within those boundaries without violating your own you, boundaries you know how many, because of you, your emotions. And see, once again, this is why I'm speaking from, now I'm speaking from a place of authority, because do you know how often I've tried that? I've preached that to women. Do you know how much women don't listen when they're in love? Do you know how many women come to me when they schedule a coaching session and they tell me what the issue is and the type of guy that they're dealing with and I tell them about boundaries? I tell them, leave. I tell them these things. They don't do it. Not. They won't do it. It's simple. See, it's different. See, as I said, behaviorally, when you see it, 
their behaviors contradict what they say they would do. I would never, or I could do this. Then when they're in a the situation, okay, this is your opportunity to do it. No, he told me this. He told me that. And you're also forgetting the fact there that men say things to the women on the other end. So she's not going to listen to the outside world. If you could tell a woman, you need to leave him. Her friends tell her, you need to leave him. Everybody tells her, you need to leave him. What matters more to her is what he's telling her. So what would you advise a female to do in that situation? And if she's you. stuck in a situation where she wants to leave but is having a hard time leaving? There's nothing you can do outside of telling her what she needs to do. You can't force her to. She has to come to that realization on her own. Could you because say all these things about dudes, though? What do you mean? Like everything that you've said about giving people, like... I feel like one of the one of the issues with people taking on board what you're saying is you're allowing people to do things. And when you say that you allow it, it sort of means that you're demeaning someone. I think I know what you're saying, but I reckon that wording is probably not the best way to get your point across. I think with dudes because dudes can be emotional wrecks too. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Dudes can be cheated on and stay with the woman. Mm-hmm. Dudes can do all of those types of things. Been there, coached them too. So yeah, you're saying you can say those but I think it's important to say that. Because yeah. otherwise it looks like you're attacking women, which well, you're not doing. Well, yeah, no. But it's important to say that otherwise. Yeah, but it's about, it's, about the, it's about where does it occur more. Sure. There's a disparity between how often men experience that and how often women experience that. And typically it's the woman experiencing it a lot more than the man is. Okay. Because men are more like, men will leave. If, if men get cheated on, they leave. Is that women, a, women stay. Is women that a pride up, thing, do you think? Like, does it just hit the pride or does it, is it more of a... It's built into your DNA that this person isn't the one to carry a child. It's both. I say the pride stems from what's built into your DNA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I also hate oh, that, Okay. I, I think that's a very concise way to finish off what you're saying. That it is all built into our DNA. I think there's a book. Is it? Is it? Is it? Someone younger, younger. Carl. Carl Young. Yeah. Yeah. The book about um, sexual behaviour. A very interesting read talking mm-hmm. about why we do what we do mm-hmm. and everyone should read that how it sort of fits into current uh, societal norms and cultural norms and how we sort of trust certain people to carry our offspring and don't trust others i think mm-hmm. that's it's really it really speaks quite loudly if you allow if you will listen to it yeah and if you if you realize a lot of um a lot of domestic abuse um comes from women who have committed an act of infidelity or they perceive that the woman has committed an act of infidelity. That's that pride and jealousy that comes into play. So when a woman cheats, a man is much more likely to put his hands on her if he finds out because it's that sexual jealousy. Like sexual jealousy is um, in a sense more intense for men because men value uh, sexuality more than women do. Like emotional cheating is deeper for women and sexual cheating is deeper for men. So it's harder for a man to overcome sexual infidelity than it is for a woman to overcome uh, sexual infidelity. And it's also more difficult for a woman to overcome emotional infidelity than it is for her to overcome sexual infidelity because they place two different values on those things, two different weighted values. So emotional infidelity means more to women because as I said, women are, uh, emotions is how men demonstrate, you know, allocating resources, investing in resources. So if a woman, if a man is cheating emotionally, then to that woman, that means He's giving that woman other things that he normally gives her, which means he really likes her. Whereas a woman, if she's cheating, then that means she has the uh, possibility of conceiving that man's child and him um, fathering a child that's not his. So we take that much more seriously because of that possibility, because of that paternity uncertainty. Yeah, from an evolutionary biology biology standpoint, the, the worst thing a male can do is give his resources to an offspring that's not his. And the worst thing that a female can do is kind of lose the, the caregiver who can give the resources. So from a, from a purely evolutionary biology standpoint, obviously society has evolved to be not just about that, but mm-hmm. you know, that still drives our actions. Right. I don't understand the concept of being a dating coach without being married. Like, what is your credentials to be telling people how they should date? Um, a psych degree. And then the actual <laughs> fact that I, you had to take a course you have to take a, like a two month course on becoming a certified relationship coach and there's a science to it. So it makes no sense for, I hate when people say that. You don't have to be something or in something in order to talk about what the science reveals about. No, I agree what, with that. Exactly, so that's that you just answered your own question. Okay, how many women have you dated that have taken your course? Any? That have taken my course? Have you ever dated a woman that has paid to take your course no. for coaching? You should write it into the syllabus. Yeah, that's no. like... Yeah, no. <laughs> you have to date no. me at the end. No. That's so weird. No, but I, I, have, I have had clients who are attracted to me, but I've never dated any of my clients. 
Yeah. So, so it's, uh, yeah, sorry, just just going back to just clarifying how you would cancel um, a, a woman, just kind of trying to understand that. So you were saying that women are driven by their emotions, but in the sense where you see and she sees that she's in an unhealthy relationship, she wants to leave, you want her to leave as her relationship coach, um, but she's not leaving. So I, I guess in that case, it's like, how do you handle that? It's only so much I can tell you. It's only so much guidance I can give you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to make the decisions that you're going to make. So if you choose that, then at that point, then our, our yeah, relationship. So then he's a coach. He can't make you do something. Yeah, I can, gonna... I can only guide you and advise you on what it would be the most effective course of action yeah. for, for your sanity. Yeah, but I think it, we're kind of saying the similar things. I guess my angle is just that. Would, so it's how good advice her is to sort of put herself first and listen right. to her um, sort of feeling on what is good for her. Right and try to enact those things. So in a sense, not listening to her emotions as strongly, but actually acknowledging kind of where her boundaries and priorities are and going after that. Right. So I think it sounds like we're kind of saying that. The, yeah, the yeah, we're saying, yeah, we're okay. saying the same thing. I'm just saying it's much more difficult in actual reality. You know, it's easier to tell a woman what she should do sure. versus what she's actually going to do. Because as I said, I'm not the guy, I'm not the guy on the other end who, you know, every time she feels that she has the strength to leave, he pulls her back in. Or he tells her something she wants to hear. Or he tells her he's going to change. Or he tells her he's going to stop doing this. And because she loves him, she wants to believe him. And the fact that she wants to believe him keeps her invested in the relationship because she believes that at some point he'll change. See, it becomes. That's it, what that, I was talking oh. about earlier with the potential. Yeah. Like she sees the potential. So, like he can change. So it's hope is a strong is emotion. See, hope is a really strong emotion. If that woman has hope for that man, then it's going to be really, really tough to get her out of that. I want to bring it back really quick to you, Christy, then I, I'm going to go around the table on something. You said on another show that you do OnlyFans because men aren't doing what they're supposed to. Is that correct? Wait, sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, you said on, an, on another show that you do OnlyFans or you were driven to do OnlyFans because men aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Is that a correct, is that a f correct mm -hmm. statement? Um, maybe. In I'm not exactly sure if I'm like, like there could be two ways that that goes, but um, I think that girl, like if we were being taught to raise, like we were being taught traditional values opposed to being taught feminism, then women would get like married and people would just be getting and, married younger. And not do what? They not have an OnlyFans? Not have a job. Like, okay, the, so like you can, the olden days. Well, like, you've kind of just walked yourself job. into... No, it's like if we were... Because they like are forcing like this feminist and like liberal stuff. And it's like normalized now. But if this were like the olden days, it's like you get married young and the, the man goes to work and the female stays home with the kids. And that's what I believe in. But that's just not how our society is anymore, which... Mm -hmm. A shame that it is but a guy but could be doing everything that he's supposed to do like if that's your standard but not make a million dollars a year you said that's still not enough then for I'm you to quit I, well i'm just saying that um i i don't see myself quitting in the future why do you want someone to do, do you, everything for you why do i why do you want someone to do everything for you how do i want someone to do everything for me well you want to be the traditional i want to i don't want to have to work i don't want to have to do any of that why do you want i believe that men and women are not we are equally as important, but we are not equally the same. A man's strengths and a woman's strengths are completely different. A woman's strengths are the equivalent to a man's weaknesses, and a man's strengths are the equivalent to a woman's weaknesses, and that's why together we make a whole. That's why they, we mate in the first place. Should you, should you be seen and not spoken to? Or not, not speak, rather? Like that's seen, the and not heard. seen and not heard, mm -hmm. that type of thing? Like, because that's the traditional mindset in a marriage, like the woman stands there and looks pretty. Is that what you mean by a traditional marriage? Because I would think if I was a woman that that's shit. No, I, I think I just explained it. I mean that the woman is supposed to be the caretaker and the man is supposed to be the provider. And I think that's how you, it sounds like you and your wife work. But we work 50-50 we work on everything. Yeah. We, we look after our son 50-50 on right. everything. Okay. And I feel like that is absolutely, without a doubt, the best way to live it. And I, I think there's a, there's a recent stat or study or whatever came out about millennial 
fathers are spending something like 81% more time with their kids than ever before. And that creates a whole generation of better young people, be it boys or girls. It makes them a whole lot better. And I think mixing it up in the family household is such an important thing to do. There's nothing wrong with staying at home and cooking and cleaning and all those type of things. But as long as your husband pulls his weight, that is so important. Because otherwise you start to resent each other. Oh, I have to go to work all day. Oh, I have to clean all day. I'm not arguing against fathers being in the home. I think fathers should be in the home. I think no, no, that's not what I said. That, that's not home, what I mean. So. That's not what I mean at all. I, I know, just but think I think you're just like... What? I, I, what am I doing? I don't know what you're trying to get at that like it's so... No, I just, I just don't think that you actually want to be completely taken care of. I don't think anyone wants that. I think you lose a place in life when you do that. You don't actually... You lay on your deathbed and go, fuck, well, I'm glad I, you know, got... Cartier jewelry bought for me. Where's the fun in that? Where's the happiness in that? You got to make something for yourself. Wait. So, do you object to households where the husband is the sole breadwinner? No, the- not at all. Because sometimes it's because I'm the sole breadwinner. It's oh. sometimes it's a it's a financial decision. But you still got to have wait, something but, that you're working on. But you you were saying everything's like fifty fifty. Yeah. But you, are, you talk, are you talking about finances or...? No, not so much finances. I am the sole mm. breadwinner, but my wife is involved in creating the videos. Oh, well, she she's with, involved in your business. Yeah, she's like, involved she, in business. She helps with, like, editing and... She has her own business that she works on. She helps mm-hmm. with basically coming up with video ideas. She's written jokes for me in the past. Sometimes the most... The, the jokes okay, that have so she's, canceled. like, involved in your... She's involved. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. involved. And she sells the merch after shows. She does oh. all of those type of things. And I, I love that we do that together. And I'm completely fine with that. I, I want my husband to be the sole breadwinner, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't do things with him. Like, I would completely make businesses with him and stuff i like the entrepreneurial mindset it's just like i would go into real estate or create a business or something but i'm not going to be like the leader of taking charge of that business i'll play a role in that but my main goal will be to be a mom wait okay there's nothing wrong with that i i got i got a question for the whole panel here uh first off just show of hands who here wants to be married have a husband one day or, or a wife, I oh, guess. I, oh, a wife or... <laughs> not, you know, because we do, we do yeah, have too many. Yeah. Yeah. We do God, have too many. So married. all the girls want to get married, correct? And you're... Who, wait. You're, you're engaged, but nobody here is married except for you, correct? Um, question for the ladies. Do you take your husband's last name in marriage? Go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't want to take my husband's last name unless it's Trump or Kennedy. Because mine Hold is such on. a good one. And it's, it's really like... This is another factor. Mine is such a this good one, This is not one, traditional. I know, but that like... That is not traditional, I Christine. just really... My last name's like... I just really like my last name. I know I know that's not traditional, but... Traditional woman, by the way. She won't take her okay, husband's last would you name. Abbreviate? I'm not saying I definitely won't, but like I don't... I worry that my husband's last name is going to be something that I don't want. And I, I don't want, you my want kids it though because that's, it doesn't sound name. good. You would okay, here, let's kids. go around the table. Let's go around the table. Would you take your husband's last name? I would. I don't feel strongly about it one way or the other way. Um, if he felt really strongly about it and it was important for him, I would totally do it. But okay. otherwise, it just feels like a lot of like paperwork and hassle to go through changing everything. Well, okay, like I guess the other component of this is like he wants his the kids to have his last name too. I mean, they have to have a last name, so, you know, it's probably right. <laughs> more likely to be his last name than mine, so I'm, I'm totally fine. Well, I that. mean, that, that sort of thing is, Negotiable. is negotiated, and yeah. I mean, it doesn't strike me as something that's traditional, but it is something that is negotiated. Ke- uh, Kelly, what about you? I want to hyphenate. Uh, no. no. Kelly! Because, because no. I, like she said, I love my last name, because everyone calls me by my first and last name. Like, that's like my nickname, so like... What's your last name? Lou. So my name is Kelly Lou. So it's Kelly like, Lou. It's like fun to say, you know? So like, and my boyfriend's last name is Murray, so it's going to be Kelly Lou Murray. Oh, hyphenated? Yeah. I Do want you want him to hyphenate too? No, what no. What about for no, the no. kids? They can, they can just have his. I don't oh, care. But okay, it's just like the right. fact that I, and then I also have it tat- my last name tattooed on my back. So it's like, oh. you know, but like. You're kind of committed. I, no, I, I really <laughs> just genuinely it. love, like everyone calls, it, my, my manager calls that, me that. Like everyone calls me like Kelly, Kelly Lou. Lou. Yeah. Kelly yeah. Lou. Nice. You know, yeah. it's like, like my name is just Kelly. It's kind of boring. But like, <laughs> like, oh, hey, Kelly Lou. Like, 
that sounds better than just Kelly. A lot of people okay. call me like with my last name too. Yeah. Wait, but Madison, I, no, what about you? No, I absolutely want Frankie's last name. You want Frankie's last name? I didn't know. Are there any negatives to having? Well, I mean, just the, it takes a bit of time to you know you got to go to the courthouse, get your name changed, it costs a little bit of oh, money. Literally. Then I'll wait, there's some I'll time pay. you got to get your credit cards changed, various mm -hmm. things. Like everything, all that, all that. Shit. I do yeah, all like of that to have. But it's like name. it takes like a, it's like a day of work. A, day or two of work i think i don't if mind. he'll do the work I'll wait. what's that I'll work. he can do the work and the paperwork and that he can do nice. the work <laughs> he'll do the filing yeah. uh alex what about you when i get married i absolutely want to take a guy's last name and i think that is the ultimate traditional thing to do because it look, is tradition it is tradition women, it's tradition and it's important because women have babies right we we physically can say like this is my child and there's proof physically but the only thing that a guy can do is to give that child his last name and so women have babies guys have Sorry, yeah. Women have babies. Guys have maybes. Unless they're giving that child mm. their last name, they are pledging to protect, to provide, and be there. And so I definitely want his last name, and I want my kids to have his last right, name. Right, I want the same name as my kids. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys hyphenate, or did she take your last name? No, she took mine. If she wants to get paid every week, then yeah, she has to. <laughs> but, uh, it is 2023. Men can have children, too, as well. So i just like to add that in there. Um, I think it's important because it's... I don't know. If you look into the crux of it, like it's actually not that important and you start to really nail down and go okay why do we want that why do we want it but it is tradition and I, I like that tradition. I think it's just important. for the sake of argument so say you were in a household where the female earned more money and was the head of household in that case could an argument be made for the family to take the, the females last name so is this truly like who is head of the household or is it more like I think it's just male. stronger like yeah. in a bench press? Yeah. Like if my wife can bench press more than okay. me, then so it's I'm just taking like pure gym. Like, yeah. 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 Sure. It's men who like more masculine women. So, yeah. If she's yes. got a bigger clip than my dick is, then is she can thing? take it. What? Where people take the woman's last name, or is oh. that just like yeah, and simpy, simpy I've, I've had a couple who did that. <laughs> Loosen up. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Would you uh, let's say you were gonna marry a girl, and she's You're like, mean. I'd like to hyphenate. <laughs> No go. No, nah, we ain't hyphenating shit. No, hi there you go. No <laughs> hyphenating. Shit. No hyphenating. Oh. Zero hyphenating. Is See, it here's offensive? the here's the problem. Yeah, no, is that is, is that offensive? Like, if a girl wanted to hyphenate, yeah, yeah I think it then, is. Because my name is so short already, and even with Kelly Murray, that doesn't sound as good. But I, I think like that's like saying when Kelly, a girl refuses. I thought you were traditional. I, is that not? I mean, I I, I don't care if my I, I want my kids to have his last name, but it's like it's it, like my middle name. I like just think when a woman refuses to to get rid of her last name entirely, even with a hyphen, you're saying like you're not fully willing to commit. let him lead, yeah. commit, and, and and you're wanting to keep that. a part of yourself. When you get married, you're you're supposed to become one, and then the ma the man is supposed to be the leader and the head of the house. What I think when we keep our last name, yeah, like what if you have to you have to love him. So bad so to, get, to get that last name. I wouldn't want to do that to my kids if it's really, really bad. You don't want to give it to your Just kids, but you'll show them your new name. If his last really name is bad, bad. the kids are that. getting your name. I, I really like my name. It depends on what my Trump future husband's last name Trump. is. Trump or Kelly. I would. I always thought like I'd end up giving my kids all the same middle name, which would be my last name, and then like. Hopefully they could go by kind of more their first and middle name if it was like a bad last name for them. Yeah. But it could be like on their birth certificate. I, I don't really have a dog in this fight because, I mean, it. it's possible I could get married. Maybe I uh -oh. could. It's I possible. Maybe. I think it's unlikely. How old are you? 34. You, you'll get married. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to get married. Get married. Someone's going to turn up one day and you just go. Just going to rock I'll your world. Yeah. They'll yeah. rock your world. And yeah, that's, 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 that's my but, lady. But if, okay, if I were to get married, I would want to use my last name, certainly for the kids. Uh, I think the problem with, with uh, hyphenation, especially with the kids, long term, just on a practical level, you can, like, let's assume everybody started hyphenating. Yeah. You can't do it because then what you, like, two people with hyphenated last names, they get married, then... They got four last names all of a sudden. Then it, it, this shit is exponential, son. It's going to be like... Long it, ass it's, last names. Then it's eight. Then it's what? 16. But does this some cultures, some cultures do but, that. Like it's, if, kid, it's people who are born not, and they name their kids like, like long, these long like, ass <laughs> names. And there'll be like seven or eight names. Hispanics. 
Yeah, yeah. Hispanics, yeah. Well, uh, but, Africans. But just because I hyphenate the last name, does does that mean my kids? Yeah, no. like that you don't necessarily have I mean to give it to, to your like, kids. No, but so. like, yeah, I think I think that's not as bad. But like when it comes to the kids, you, you know. Because I wouldn't want my kids to be last name to be mine and his. I would just want it to be his. I like sure. that. But idea. she wants I to like, keep I, her name. I've never heard that before. I like that like, idea. I, I don't think that matters. Like I wouldn't. I don't care. But you just like, add it on, and then yeah, the kids it's just start like, you know, fresh. I, I think like that's, that's smart. How a lot of people yeah. do with these days, though. Like a lot of people don't make their no, kids. Yeah, my mom. She hyphenated. But for the most part, like on on her marriage license is her name hyphenated, my stepdad's name, but. Wherever she goes, she goes by his name. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. she, she says, "Fuck her name." She goes by her his last name. I'm so, just uh, for me. I'm very, very. I'm pretty, pretty against m- getting married. I'm on the fence with it. So if you're trying to convince me as m- my future wife to get married, you got to take the last name. You want me to do this traditional marriage thing? You got to take the last name. It is what it is. Changing the last name is so cultural too, because there's other cultures that are much more paternalistic, where name changing isn't a thing. So right. this feeling of like, if if you aren't truly invested in the relationship, you don't want to be my woman. Well, this is if America. If you don't change my name, <laughs> that, that's true. We're in America. That's true, but I'm just saying that where the this wives framework is change not... their names. <laughs> Brian. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> let's, let's calm down. Oh, I'm, I'm just not saying it's not upset. it's yeah, not truly it's like objective. In the families, they don't change their name; like they just add it. In some coaches, I'm not saying that's for like you might get a girl super like I'm down for my family. We had this name in our family for like years, but for you, I'll change it. Word. Right. Yeah, it's uh, I'm not like we're not saying it's impossible. Okay. Right. I think you're gonna get married at like 39. Mm. I. It's gonna be like a doubt. big news I story. I, I know it's that. gonna just be, it's, <laughs> all I over the tabloids. It's gonna hit you like out of nowhere. It's gonna Honestly, just randomly happen. Yeah. You're gonna be like. He'll wear Whoa. a plaid tux, a plaid flannel tux. <laughs> Stop, for, only fans. For her, a white for her, flannel. I think in order for me to actually consider marriage, she would have to out-earn me. Oh. I think like she would have to out-earn me. That's. You don't want you don't want a broke girl. Huh? You that, don't want a broke girl. I mean, I for a partner, I would date a broke girl, I guess. But if. For marriage, you want marriage. It's very I'm kind s- of you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's very kind I'm of very you. Very generous. You are very nice. Like, like what's your what's I'm your what's your ballpark range? Like you're saying, she has, she has to, to make, make over more than you. It's for just marriage. so for marriage. it's She's so beta to me to be that like a guy to be that scared of women and like marriage. Bro, it's not beta. It's the most gangster shit. <laughs> wait, you can do wait, wait, to on. be like smart about your money. Wait, just like always thinking every woman is out to get you and manipulate you. Like that is beta shit because it's not beta. It's not. No, it's smart. No, 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 it's no. It's smart. It's probably smart, but I'm confused because you guys are always arguing that women who make more won't want a guy who makes less, but you're saying you want the woman who makes more. What? Play your math. Yeah, I was. I don't. Confused. I don't think no. you're saying you necessarily no, no, want no, a woman who makes more. You'd only marry a woman who makes more. Right? She, for me to get Men married, she has. I think she's gonna make more than dollars. Kelly's children gonna have the last name Lumerie Ann King Smith Hodgson. Uh, well, I think Kelly said that she's cool with her kids yeah, having the father's last name. I so. want them to have. I don't want them to. Ha- I don't want them to have my hyphen, last name. Hyphen, yeah, hyphen, no. Yeah. Just, Yo, Bender the Offender. Thank you yeah. for the TTS. Uh, yeah, I, I would say when it comes to uh, to marriage, she's got to make more than me. She's got to out earn me. Oh, of course. Alex runs away when I'm about to respond to her. Sorry. It's okay. Po- apology accepted. Well, let me, do we have any chats? We don't have any chats. Uh, well, I, I'll wait to respond until she's... Uh, where did Madison go? Madison? It's Madison? She's over there. She's back here. What are you doing back there, Madison? You're eating? What is that? Is that a taco? It's a turkey bath. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cal- wait. Hold on. What did I have? You had something uh, that you want, you mentioned in the pre-show notes. You do not like feminism. I don't know. I don't like it either. Is that feminism true? Feminism is a lie. Hey, feminism. Oh, is that me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's more complicated than that. I think um, feminism, depending on kind of what wave and sort of the approach, can kind of give a lot of um, faulty ideas that are sort of deviating so far from who we are biologically and kind right. of how we are wired. 
um, that it's sort of this unrealistic goal that we should be trying to strive for that I don't think really makes anyone happy. Sure. Yeah, I want to agree. Like feminism, I feel for like a lot of women, it gives them excuses. Yeah. Like I'm doing this because I'm living in my femini feminism. I'm pro-feminist because I want to do X, Y, and Z. I did this because I'm a feminist. Like you can't tell me I'm doing it wrong because I'm a feminist. Equal pay because I'm a feminist. Like all that, it's it's. I feel like it's more excuses. I feel like it's more trying to form women to. I don't want to say like make bad choices, but like try and defend their choices by using it. Well, feminism also has uh, evolved a lot over the times because initially it was like females want the same rights. Obviously, we want the right to vote, and we got we that. want to be treated the same. And then somehow it evolved into everything a man can do, a woman can do just as well. And it's like. All right, like you can you can think. I know that, you're not going downstairs <laughs> when someone tries to rob your house. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, "Bake go." <laughs> so yeah, I think the the initial intent was obviously good, but it's it's evolved into something that was yeah. Now yeah, well, you you said different. that males and females are biologically different. I agree with you, obviously. Um, you said modern day feminists seem to not like the idea uh, that men and women are biologically different, <laughs> and you said there's a lot of data to back that up. And you're, yeah. you said you're a neurologist, correct? Yeah. And so is that kind of like within the purview of your field of study? or? I think so. I think I read a book or two saying that XX and XY have a few differences and kind of what they can do. Kind so. of <laughs> checks out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and wait, just, so you're, you're a medical doctor. Do you work in a hospital? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're, you, you, you do neurology? Correct. And kind of give us a little scope about what, you know, what that what that entails? Yeah, in a, in a hospital setting. Sure. Yeah, I, I do mostly outpatient, so more in the clinic, but yeah. some inpatient work as well. So, okay. um, my subspecialty is movement disorders. So that's mostly focused on people with tremors and Parkinson's. Mm. But you know, it also entails um, some somatization disorders where there's sort of functional and uh, visible movements that aren't from a neurologic basis, but more from a psychologic basis, things like anxiety and depression. So we look at neurotransmitters a lot. That's sort of part of Parkinson's as well, where we're looking at the, the dopamine reward systems, which drive both human behavior in terms of healthy human behavior and you know negative human behavior like, like addiction. So yeah, a little bit of everything. Sure. Can what? I um, just quickly, on the topic of yes. movement disorders, yeah. I have paratismal dyskinesia. Oh. Yeah, do you know what that is? I do. <laughs> Basically what happens is I, ha I lose control of my eyes. My eyes turn to here, my neck turns, and I go blind in one eye. It's sort of like in the same family of as epilepsy, which is a really easy way to, to describe it. Um, but I've had those since I was about 19 or so. Um, oh. and, yeah. and are they are they attacks like so, it's somewhat. not constant right no 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 it's just one I'm on medication for oh, okay. it uh, I take an anti seizure medication and, and the neurologist I saw he basically said this could work maybe it doesn't <laughs> not too sure carbamazepine yeah yes yeah. yes Tegretol some people call it um, and it was very interesting because I used to play a sport called rugby league and that's when they started happening it's a big collision sport so that would happen I would run into someone big collision would happen I'd lose control of my eyes I'd go blind it was a whole thing really really crazy and that's what they said it's a it's a movement disorder I started a ketogenic diet because of it yeah. and it actually helped it um, which is very interesting here's a rugby ball almost rugby league we're talking about here this is a very different sport different ball too wait rugby league <laughs> Rug okay rugby league and rugby, rugby union you don't, is, is no like, this is this is for rugby union yeah this is a rugby you, union you don't ball. use this kind of ball in rugby it's league very very similar but very different as well it's okay. like comparing cricket with baseball okay got it so they're, they're sort of ball games but they're different oh, all right so and then you have afl yeah that's just not for that's me. A, okay that's a lot I'll, it's I'll it's, it's a bit different thank you but it's unless good. you want to hold on to it it's good to hold a, what we call a footy all right it's you can hold on to it it's nice it's been a long time but yeah, very interesting. Yeah, cool. Thanks for sharing. You're Wait, very so welcome. Can you fix me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all fucked up. He's all fucked up. <laughs> Looks like you're already on the best medication for it. So yeah, yeah. I'm, all, I'm all, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. So okay. So right, you work in a hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it go down in the hospital when it comes to dating? Like nurses, doctors, PAs. They it's be like fucking. scrubs all over the place. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you know I would say that in training that was more common so i mean medical training is 
forever, right? So you have college and then med school and residency and then like subspecialty training. So it's sort of just like college extended. So mm. yeah, there was a lot of training, a, a lot of interdating both between like doctors and nurses and between doctors and doctors. Do you, do you date a doctor? You said you're in a relationship for two years, is it? I don't currently know. Huh? I don't currently. Oh, he's not a doctor? No. Okay. okay. Question, or wait, not a question. Do the female doctors get upset that the male doctors fuck with the nurses, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, this is a great question. <laughs> so this does come up because the male doctors will get a lot of attention from the nurses, from the female nurses, and generally speaking, you know, that is a, um, a huge asset. So a lot of um, the female nurses are sort of looking for the new batch of residents and the new doctors to sort of um, chase after and see if they can get in relationships. Why mm -hmm. is that does, though? Like, that, why do they just go? Yeah. For, how come they're so set on like going for the doctor? Well, you know, I think. I mean, I get like you know, I get, status. I get why. I get the status, <laughs> yeah, but it's just, status. but like, are they yeah. just, come on. are like the nurses really just like waiting in there for the next for the next doctor to come in? Not not all nurses, and you know. I, this is, this is no detractment at nurses by any means. I think uh, doctors have a lot to offer. You know, doctors are high earners. They're probably relatively intelligent people. That's Maybe crazy. they're kind of empathetic. So, I, you know, I think there's valid qualities that would make someone kind of pursue that. I Who do you guys yeah. think cheat, cheat more? Who cheats more, Wait, Brian, medical professionals or NBA players? Well, Wait, huh? what? NBA like players. athletes, like professional athletes or healthcare professionals? Who do you think cheats Probably more? Probably athletes. Probably athletes. They, they get way more attention. I heard nurse people. infidelity amongst nurses is insane. And I actually think, well, you had a question though. No, I was just trying to get to the meat of the, the question you're asking. Oh, I was just, uh, I was just, just curious because <laughs> you, you're in the field and that <laughs> why I was yeah. kind of leading into, and I was going to ask the panel this, what, what the panel thinks are some red flag jobs in a potential partner and because I was going to say Ooh. nurses <laughs> hmm, why would you say nurses a little bit of a red flag because they get down son <laughs> they get but I'm just saying like here's the thing right here's the thing nurses it's a high it, it can be a high stress job mm. there's a lot of attractive men around stress janitor's closet I'm sure you got stories. People be fucking in the hospital. I, I don't got any of those stories. <laughs> you don't got any stories? I don't okay. got those stories. It's not exactly like Scrubs. I mean, Scrubs is a little bit exaggerated. Come on. I'm just... Okay, I just... I, I think a nur nurses, it's kind of a red flag. They're, they're good at job. caretaking, though. You know, they're... they're... Honestly, though? <laughs> would you know, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they're, like they're very... They're I, I think almost nurses desensitized. are way more caring than, than doctors I are think they're, Well, okay. I, I don't want to, like paint with a broad brush here of course. but like there's definitely nurses who are very uh you know as you said they're what empathetic or yeah. caring nurturing yeah. caretakers but uh i don't know some of them uh, not so much not so much okay all right uh fdg thank you for the 50 gift appreciate it you've, you've had some bad experience with nurses it sounds like i've dated a couple <laughs> nurses yeah uh, there's a little something, there's a little something off, you know. Interesting. A little something. Tell us more. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a stressful job. Yeah. For starters, I mean, it depends, how, you know, what kind of work they're doing. Uh, but there, I, I think one of the big things is they there's a lot of room for them to meet like high a lot of high status men. So like, if you're an average guy and you're dating a nurse like she's gonna be moving in rooms with like pretty high status guys. Uh, and they actually, I think they released a study recently, Nick, I don't know if you can uh, look, search it up, uh, that infidelity amongst, among nurses is very high. Interesting, that, that's news to me. I didn't know that was like a common Yeah, the highest issue. rates of infidelity is amongst nurses and women. Well, I, I that's sufficient. That's sufficient. Well, I know that like alcoholism rates among three sixty seven is sufficient. Is it? It's the case, right? I think alcoholism among uh, physicians, it's doctors, pretty high, it's yeah. pretty high. It's pretty high. You know, it's a high. I mean, it's, it's a, a stressful high, job. High stress job. I have a lot like, of clients that are doctors. Yeah. You got yeah. clients, Femi female clients. It's also no, high with, of, among uh, male clients that are. Oh, doctors. you got male clients too. Okay. Yeah. Cops and firefighters too cheat yes. a lot. 
Stre yeah. Well, any stressful job, definitely like rates of alcoholism and mm. infidelity, I think are increased. Lawyers drink quite a bit, so. They're just military trying to find something to fill that gap. <laughs> That's all they're doing. performers. Mm -hmm. So red flag jobs uh, in guys and girls, uh, maybe we can go around the table on this, Christy. Well, everyone here obviously thinks my job is red flag <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what, we where'd you get that idea? Yeah, I know, it's nuts. But I mean, I obviously don't think it's a red flag job. What is? What it would be a red flag job for me? Yeah. Um, like a, a garbage man. What? Why? What? No, Are that's you? exactly who I want to marry. <laughs> Stop it. In, in Long Island, <laughs> no, Long Island they're all the mobs, so I wouldn't Wait, want to. Wait, do you? You are so here. wrong on this. Wait, Alex, you would you? I I think it's a respect respectful career. No, I absolutely do. I think the blue collar men. So that's a green flag for me as as guys that work those really blue collar jobs, and also. Clearly, you haven't looked on TikTok. There's so many viral TikToks. Garbage guys are so sweet with kids in the neighborhood. The little kids always love when the garbage man comes. Aww. They're always super caring. They love kids. Anyway, I, that is such a green flag job to me because they're hardworking. They're go getters. You should make they pick an up after app the app shit you app leave app behind. Me garbage man. Well, what's like your Just your like dream man? What does he do? Um, a real estate developer. That's, yeah, that, that'd be a good guy. I have two <laughs> two guy. real estate licenses. So why do you need two? An, because we need them for different states. Okay, so I have New York fair and New enough. Jersey, um, that, which is where I'm from. So you need them, yeah, every state. But I also have my interior design and architecture degree. So like you're saying of how like you and your wife work together on things like a real estate developer, like we could like make a really- Wait, okay, let's together. bring it back to the conversation though. So garbage man is red flag? I've never like thought about it, but yeah, I don't like, see, I don't really see that What about a future. McDonald's worker? Like a yeah, cashier at McDonald's. Yeah, I don't see that in my future. Okay. I'm not saying anything bad about him. What about, about a plumber? I don't see plumber? that in my future. Plumber? Um, I don't see that in my future either. It's not, it's not, maybe it's not a red flag job. It's just not who I see it myself It doesn't align with. with your but lifestyle. That's not just super That's where all attitude. the money is though, Christy. The plumbers, the electricians, the yeah, welders, they're making it absolutely yeah. bank. I know. Yeah. I just don't see, I actually just had a plumber at my house the other day. <laughs> was it he a plumber to, or a plumber? No, was like, was oh, there a leak? He, had to, he literally had to replace my toilet and me and my sister, like I didn't know this was gonna happen and my sister was visiting and we um, were going to the pool because I live in Miami and then he texted me, thank you for the amazing views because he saw us leave with our bathing suits on and I said, did you use my balcony? Because like I have amazing views off my balcony but um, so I did just get hit on by a plumber. He might even watch us. Maybe I'll send him the link. But I, he yes. actually he seemed pretty cool. But I just not. What about I, uh, really I, I turned it down. I turned it down. Uh, what, what about you? Any red flag careers or jobs? Um, partner, like any type host? of performer. Performer. <laughs> yeah. Like a mute. So musician. Musician. Only fans. They. <laughs> well, because they attract a lot of attention. You don't want a guy who attracts a lot of attention. I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't want one. You're but saying I'm you're just saying, saying they're more likely a, to like have yeah. chicks, other women around. And okay, what about you? Any red flag jobs? I can't think of anything specific that's red flag. Yeah. Okay. Any guy in the military. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get dragged for that one. I know, but all right, y'all just have so much time to go out, and you're in another country sometimes. For you're years, another, you're there for years. Like <laughs> I don't know what you're doing out there. Oh, okay. I hear a lot I of no idea that in the military end up cheating on their women back yeah. home. I hear a lot of women who are yeah, well, yeah, military women guys. Yeah. Both. Women for they cheat. Both ways, each other yeah. with each other. I g definitely I guess. will go both ways. But they probably have an understanding, so. <laughs> I don't know about that, but Madison, any red flag jobs? A sex worker. <laughs> okay. Alex? Uh, I would say red, red flag jobs for me and a guy would be anything that HR. requires him being like a center of attention. So politician running for office, actor, oh, no. singer, Podcast any type of, pro yeah, like Canadian. because Canadian. my job, my job requires Canadian. some of that. And oh, I, I thought you said Canadian. <laughs> I think there would be, there would be natural competition. I think it would be hard. I think with my job, I do need a guy that prefers more to be like behind the scenes. Um, not that I want him to be sure. in that way. I'm just saying like 
if there was a co competition for attention and things like that, I think that could be bad. Competition for attention. Like bad for but, you? But because or? You, you're, you do content creation, like you're out there, you're, how, like how do you define yourself? Would you consider yourself like a political pundit? Yeah, like I, well, so I work in the conservative media space and I host a podcast and I do a lot of public yeah. speaking and things like that. So I can just see how if a guy was doing the same type of thing, it just might be competitive or difficult for them. But couldn't that be like power couple? It could. Like if, uh, if I'm trying to think of like a single conservative guy who they're all married. I, like I was thinking like Ben Shapiro, hmm? if he was single, <laughs> would you, if he was single, would you, can I guess we, potentially. So, it, would you go for Ben Shapiro? It's just hard. It would have, it, it would be hard. I think that would Matt create a, a more difficult. Is he cute? Um, I think Matt Walsh is super handsome, but he is married. He, he's married. He is married. I'm trying to think of. But like, yeah, I would. I think Michael Knowles. The, all these guys are Michael married. Michael Knowles is all also super cute, and also married. he's married. But w one thing about Michael Knowles, he smokes cigars a lot, and I've always said I think that is one of the biggest turn-ons is a guy that smokes cigars. Oh, I love Michael Knowles. Cigars. There Maybe you have it. Maybe that's why my. You smoke cigars? <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't think it's the cigars that so you smoke. maybe that's issue. why. Do you smoke, not a lot. Do you not smoke often. cigarettes too? No, no, no. But I do like a cigar every now and then. Okay. Do you smoke weed? No. M oh. Meth? <laughs> Never done it. Just curious. No. Just give it a go. Never uh, done it. Isaac, <laughs> any red flag? Uber Eats. If they do Uber, Uber Eats. Eats. Not happening. Not I'm happening. fucking not screaming. Happening. <laughs> no. What about not like happening. just regular Uber? Uber regular Uber? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Door, right. Door what Dash. about DoorDash? Door, yeah. DoorDash, you're in. Grubhub. <laughs> but who? Grubhub. Postmates. Grubhub. We don't have Grubhub oh, in Australia, Postmates. but I will Postmates. give it. We have menu log. Do you have menu log? No. 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 Or a comedian. Comedians are notorious for having extreme mental health disorders. Ooh, you're a comedian. True. Yeah, they're all insane. Although Tom Segura and Christina <laughs> Pazisky do it very, very well. They're, they're a couple very, goals. They are. They are. So, yeah, anyone who is an Uber Eats delivery driver, Get away from me. Where's it but <laughs> why? Why? Yeah. yeah. Cut, it's so okay, I used to I used to deliver pizzas when I was a kid and I stank when I came home. I smelled like cheese <laughs> and mushrooms. I don't like want cheese. my girl coming to bed smelling like cheese and mushrooms. Well then so then so, then when it, so you, don't anybody argue with me. All right, cheese food? and mushrooms. Anybody like that works in a restaurant, would that just be like a turn off for you? Smelly, yeah. yeah. I, I would say even besides smelly, I would say anybody who is trying to make a career out of what is supposed to be a minimum wage job, turn off and red flag for for a job. Because okay. those jobs are meant to be temporary. They're not supposed to be careers. And so if that is your full potential as a man, that's a turn off to me. I was just joking. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel that too. Uh, what if it's a, okay. Cause like at Nordstrom, um, so, um, the sales associate, they get commission. So what if like their commission is really good? Does that make a difference? I guess it would a little bit, but I, I would be really weary of commission-based jobs because then it's like your income is never guaranteed. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like during the pandemic, for example, if you're working a commission-based job, how many people weren't able to be face-to-face -face and selling? And that would just well, make me nervous like as a, like clients, a, as there's a, a lot mother. of people like that have clientele who like they are consistently, like there's this, I know this guy, he, they, they're making a lot of money just selling designer shoes. Like they make, they, their paychecks can be close to almost 10,000 sometimes. But it probably weeks. also depends on the market. Like it depends on who it is. Shoes. Yeah, but I was yeah. just saying like, would that matter? Like, is that, di would that make a difference for you? Yeah, I would be really weary of it. Mm -hmm. I would be really weary of it, that he would, he could get, be someone that could guarantee that he could provide for me and a family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever you got. Because ideally, I would like to step away and not be working full time once I have kids, like be working in a very small capacity. So he'd have to be making a certain amount to take care of a family. How much do you think? What do you, what, what's your like? It, I think it completely depends on where in the country we're living. If it's California, he's probably well, got to be making a lot more. Are you a, a high more. earner? Yes. Okay. Does he have? Does your guy have to make as, at least as much as you? or more? Um, no, I don't care about that. I care whatever the number is that's gonna be able to properly afford for having a family and me being able to be a stay-at-home mom. You, okay, so you- So if he's making $90,000 a year, but we live in Alabama, for example, then I'm fine with that because sure. you can afford that there. But if he was making $90,000 a year in LA, mm -hmm. no. So once you start having kids, then you like, you're fine to work now, but once you have kids, you want him to be the sole income earner is that correct yeah for okay. sure i would probably work in a small capacity speaking now and then sure. you know if i was able to just do my podcast and then only requires like one to two hours a week then that but i wouldn't want to be working sure. full-time like i am now can i ask what about if they're 
like when I was a comedian, when I was coming up through the ranks in comedy, I was making nothing. What if they're doing that? What if they're working in a job where, okay, they're not making much money, they're delivering whatever, uh, just to go against what I said, but <laughs> uh, but they're working on something. They're working on a craft. They're, they're trying to be an entertainer or they're working on an app or they're working on whatever. Is that okay? I would have said yes if I was in my early 20s and he was also in his early to mid-20s, but now in my 30s, I wouldn't be okay with that because I wouldn't want to wait around for him to get his stuff together. If he's 22 and he's pursuing something like that, then yes. And I love the idea of a girl building something with a guy from the ground up when he has nothing. And I think he's more likely to be loyal to you when you're loyal to him when he has nothing to offer. It's real. Yeah, True. yeah, yeah. it's real. Nice. And I think that's what guys look for. I think that's why guys are weary of getting with a girl once they have everything. Because it's like, well, why is she actually with me? Mm-hmm. So if you are a girl that's in a position, I can build something with a guy from the ground up, from the get-go when he is getting started like that, then that's the best position to be in. Sure. Uh, Q, any red flag jobs in women? Um, I'll just keep it simple. Yeah, sex work. That's it. That's it. That's okay. it. That's it. I have a list here of some red flag jobs in women. Hairstylist. (gasps) You're not a hairstylist. But I do hair. You do hair, but you're not a hair. You don't cut hair. No, I don't. See, the the, the ones that. uh, It's a bit. Like a female barber. Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. Like. like, hair, just a, like, what, she cuts hair. like what is the background is between cutting hair? She's going to cut his hair off. Like. (laughs) No, just like. Like, cause I'm you crazy. doing men's you crazy. hair. You crazy? No, 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 no. Not you. Just like, as a woman, if you if you're a hairstylist, you're just crazy. Why do you think that? <laughs> it's just it's like an it's a thing because hairstylists, women who cut hair, have to listen all day to other women complaining to them. Not always. No. When I well, when I do hair, I don't. I'm not really hmm. like we talk. Like we're we're gonna talk. We're yeah, gonna pull not, up conversation. Yeah, but you don't cut hair. That's the thing. That's the difference. Having a job but where you're women saying like complain to them all day. What's right. That? You're to saying like we're listening to women what's complain. Wrong with I'm listening. A job people? where women complain to them all day. Why why does that make it a red flag? It's like being a therapist. It's right. uh, or a doctor. <laughs> I think a job where people complain to you all day has to be taxing to some degree. It's not always honestly. Complaining. I don't think people are talking like. Just from my experience, from like Brayden or whatever. Like Y'all never it, heard of this? No. Like, Do you complain to your barber? No. Right. So why would you yeah. think somebody is complaining to? Happy yeah. yeah, it's mostly happy. Yeah, it's mostly happy. Like especially, especially if I don't know you and I just booked you for the day and I'm trying to see how you you do it. I'm not telling you my deepest darkest secrets. I think, yeah. that, that's I think fine. It's more like but the I'm eyelash about extension. Why would you bring that? I feel like that's I more. Where it, we I feel like it goes both, both ways because either extension. way, I'm providing you that service. Whether I'm cutting your hair, braiding your hair, putting a wig on. You're gonna talk to me because you're in my chair for so right. minutes, so mm-hmm. so okay, cool. long. Whatever you do, it's a red flag. <laughs> but what? So so <laughs> no, it's, it's, a red flag. Flag. <laughs> it's a hairstyle, like gentlemen. But I'm I'm not I'm not mad at you. I'm no, just trying to re, I'm just trying to rebuttal trying to it. Like you're not unless you're you got a real bond with that person. Like you've been going to this person for years. I'm just saying it's a red flag. You can try to you can you can try to. I yeah. don't think so. So is like it's a, a nail, nail style. Yeah, like a nail tech. Nail tech. So they an eyelash extension. I think is that any, on your list? I think anybody who's kind of in like the beauty industry, it's a little, you know, it's a little mm-hmm. like makeup, like a makeup artist. Red flag, big red flag. <laughs> hair, like someone who cuts hair. You guys have never heard no. this thing of Not the of women who who no. cut hair. It's it's like be careful of like, hairdressers. What I'm thinking of it is different. How you explained it, I'm like just if I'm saying mm. how I was thinking about it, because I'm a. You said women. I'm like, oh, because she's cutting men's hair. She's getting men attention, but she went no, like no. completely a All different way. No, yeah. it's not. It's no, it's not even that. It's not you, like, like the whole like complaining women, thing. Women I don't, who cut women's hair. That shit's a red flag. Trust me on this. Trust me. I got some more. I got some more jobs okay. for you. Works in HR. Ugh. That. <laughs> what the fuck? If she works in HR, HR is where humanity goes to die. I will say like, HR is care. the most toxic. They really don't It is the most toxic. They don't care about you. That's HR. I agree with They'll be like, we agree with you, but because of company policy, this is why we have to let you go. They're very, they're very like... Even outside, like I dated a chick who w- worked in HR, never fucking again. She was super feminist, just like yeah. very like, oh, very triggered and offended by everything. Uh, so HR, 
is bad. Flight attendant. Uh uh. Mm. I can understand mm. that. Flight attendant. Yeah, flight one, attendant. they're gone. All the Two, time, they yeah. fuck like a lot. <laughs> Every city they're in, they're you know. No, I actually I can I can yeah. agree on that because I work at an airport and the stories between like you do hair in an airport. No. Huh? <laughs> no. He's hair is my side. Hair, hair, hair is airport. my side hair job. Okay. Oh, what's your main job? I work at an airport. What What do you do? I'm, I'm like customer service. Like I'm the person who are scans you, customer service. Are you, and I'm at the ticket county. Southwest. Like I'm 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 checking you Spirit? in or I'm no 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 Southwest Delta. 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 Nice. I'm flying Delta huge tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Put me somewhere okay. good. No, we love we love when you guys come through. Um, Wait, huh? Like Australia? What do you mean? No, Australia. no, no. Like like when <laughs> people racist. come through. <laughs> no, what? But I'm saying but no. You're saying fly the tent. But I'm saying like I work at an airport, so yeah. the stories that go on between like the pilots and the flight attendants is crazy, and the yeah. pilots they don't care who you are. They're just trying to they're just trying to smash. In I the have for real? like in the cockpit. No, Wait, like Kelly, we're in that? wherever in they the cockpit. I don't uh, know about the cockpit, but wherever they land, and then also <laughs> it's like they they flirt with the us. They flirt with the customer service, like the yeah. people who are supposed to be scanning the people on. They're flirting with us. I've had so Shit. many. Um, it goes down the airport, huh? It goes down in the airport, Shit. and they have their own. And they have their own little lounge. Oh, in the airport, like while they're waiting on their flight to come in, so they could go. Like they have their own little lounge. Here's, um, here's what's look here's what's going through my head when it comes to <laughs> flight attendants how many cities have you been to because here's the thing no like, i'm not a flight like, attendant no no no. i'm not talking oh. about you i'm just saying like one of the reasons why i think it's a red flag if a woman's a flight attendant and as a dude i don't think you should date a flight attendant how many cities have you been to how many cities have you spent yeah, the night it's in? Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's not on call but it's like you have a whole schedule planned out already and at any minute they can call you in and be like, we need you to stand in. So you can, you're in, oh, say your okay. in flight might be LA, but last minute they can't sure. find a flight attendant. You're going to Mexico or something. It's, it's not to. even so much about them being gone. It's about like, okay. Cause I've been, I'm not on dating apps anymore, but I used to. And like, I would match with flight attendants and they wanted to meet. And I'm That's like, that you day. gotta be doing this shit in every single city you're in. You're fucking a new dude. Every single city. How many cities are you in in a year? Everyone in all those cities are seeing her Tinder too. But no, it's an hour cap. So huh? like, it's a they have a certain amount of hours, so they can't like what that they can fly. They just can't be in the air. They just can't day. be in the air. It's like a a labor law. Like they get capped out at so many hours. Well, that makes right, sense. but what? Well, okay, but and most of them stay domestically. So most most flight attendants they might just well, be from international travel nurse or not nurses uh flight attendants you know look they're in a new city they're always in a new city i'm just saying they they'd be fucking in the new city i'm not i'm not disputing i'm just uh travel nurse it's like a nurse but even worse <laughs> like oh, we get a we get a lot of those travel travel nurse because they they're on assignment they're in a fucking city making a shit ton of money for three months they want some dude and so they've been to they've they've been on assignment in 12 different cities they done had fucked a bunch of like a dude in every new city travel nurses watch out gentlemen be careful gentlemen uh basically any career where she travels frequently obviously sex worker major red flag sorry christy it's okay i would i would never gets, date you ever in my life so that's I'm cool fine i don't date that. sluts so it's all good yeah i don't date guys that don't pay for the first date i i don't that's <laughs> I'm not fine. i mean i know everyone on the table wouldn't Bro, you wouldn't really hard with that she, she yes yeah, you guys yeah if you don't pay for the first date, you're like yeah i don't take if sluts. you're not paying wait you don't pay for the first day brian there's some circumstances where I will pay for the first date. But isn't that a good way to weed out the, the libs and stuff? Because I know you don't want to date a feminist lib. And if she's like, oh, sure, yes, I'll pay because I believe women should pay or whatever. Like, I think you should that, go that, to that is a That is a fair point. That, hold on. Bender the offender donated $99. Travel nurses on are 304 <laughs> S on tour. Yeah. Not only the stressful job, but they're traveling to their new city. I mean, for a long-term partner... Unless you're gonna fucking lock her down in the two months, six weeks, three months that she's on assignment. Unless she's like, gonna, okay, I'll stick around here and get a job. I don't think six weeks, eight weeks, three months is a long enough time to be dating a chick 
and for her to like make the decision, okay, I really like this guy, I'm gonna stick in the city. Uh, she's off to the next city, so long term, not great, and well, even short term, high body count. So, um, what were you talking about? A, liber a liberal <laughs> oh. woman is going to be okay with yeah, you yeah, not yeah. paying. A conservative mm. girl or a libertarian girl is not going to be okay with that. Mm. So, if you're foregoing yeah. not offering to pay, then you're only going to attract those girls. Here's the thing, though, is that if you do pay, liberal women are fine with that too. Are they? Liberal women, yeah, like on like a first date, free dinner. Really like is anyone no, on the no, panel no, no, no. a feminist? Anybody? No. Madison, back there. What? Are I'll you a, devil's advocate? What? Are you a feminist, no. man? Definitely is not. <laughs> Damn it, we need some. I was gonna. We had one girl who was gonna be on who would. I can play a feminist. No, nah, <laughs> if, that'll, if that'll juice everything up. No, we don't want to like stay. <laughs> um, that is a good point, but I would say like. I think even liberal women, like we've had liberal women on the show and they're like, yeah, I'd prefer for the guy paid. So like, I don't think the paying thing is n gonna be, I mean, if you meet somebody on a dating app, I think most people like will put their politics and shit. So, uh, do they? On dating yeah. apps, I yes. Do. Yeah, yeah. it's the whole yeah. section. I do too. Wow. But, and uh, your religion. Big part of it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, it's been a long and time now, since I've been on Tinder. And now they want to know if you want kids Yo, or not. Yo, but look, okay, okay we, we, we <laughs> talked about the not paying thing on the first date. Christy, last show, you admitted, despite your claims to being tr a traditional woman, you admitted you were like, you, you had multiple talking stages, right? Yeah. Last show, you oh, had multiple oh, yeah. talking and stages. Then, so one of the guys, because you asked what happened to um, some of them, one of them after this podcast offered me a job. What? The one of the dudes you're talking? Yeah, he he offered me a job to so to, to be a he, bedroom acrobat. He has um, you know, he has like a luxury car rental company, so he wants me to like, kind of like be like, get him, pay me to I guess be like a broker to like okay. get him luxury car clients. Well, but you had multiple talking stage yeah i mean you were talking to multiple guys yeah i was mainly talking to two people like i've been on like dates before i left um with two people in miami okay so that is precisely one of the reasons but they paid for everything that's great that is precisely <laughs> one of the reasons why i as a guy don't want to pay on the first date because women are talking to multiple men but like also like do you know how much money women are spending to get like their hair their nails their outfit just to even look good for you on the first date that's probably I, it's I, not I, true sure. because a lot of women do it themselves so that's or but i mean it does cost money to like get your nails done get your hair done get your eyelashes on makeup but you it's like but you can't just expect that on a first date and expect a man to be taking you out to like some nice ass restaurant just because you got all pretty which is what you do every day how much money should a man spend on a first date 150 it it, around i feel like a good like if you're going to a sit down dinner us dollars yeah like nah. no i think 80 or if it's 90. like a dinner if it's like a nice if you're taking me to if you're going to dinner like a sit decent down dinner, dinner and at each get at least one cocktail 80 to yeah. 90 dollars I, yeah, okay. it's a, yeah wait so are we arguing that it's not that much no or? no no i'm just saying if you guys like nowadays with it being so everything's so expensive now and it's like if a guy is taking you to a restaurant like that with drinks and everything drinks two entrees points, appetizer yeah. like that's a that's gonna be that's gonna be up there what you do know? you think christy how much I go on a lot of oyster dates because I love oysters. Oysters are eight bucks. Me too. I love, <laughs> I love my favorite. Yes, I love oysters. Is that, so a, is that a business write-off? Um, for you? I don't pay for it. Okay. I don't pay for my dates ever. But um, yeah, I go on a lot of first dates for oysters, so I know the bill is pretty expensive because I know oysters are expensive. Are you chewing or swallowing? Food. I actually chew them and mm. then I swallow them because I, I like that. to really like get the taste I know, of the ocean. <laughs> well, I heard oyster girls are red flags because it's just the most expensive thing. No, <laughs> they, no they it's taste the so They're good. so good. And it's such a fun experience to try like every single type mm. on the menu and like compare. Because they're from different places. They all better. taste different. Yeah, They exactly. all taste very different. And it's a fun activity to like talk about it mm -hmm. and compare them. True. I don't know. This whole like women do more or spend more money to get ready. 
I might, I've already made this argument before, but uh, a lot of women say they don't wear makeup for men. They don't do X, Y, Z for men. So if I you're, do. Okay, well, some women. That's, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, but, I, but think, like most I think women, it depends on the situation, like where I'm going. Like if I'm going on a date, yes, for the men. But if I'm going out or like hanging with the girls, it's not for, you know, it's not for the men. I think okay. some people just to do it to not look like shit. Or like, yeah, or like that. I wake up in the morning, I just go, oh, that's what I'm dealing with, is it? Okay, fair enough. TBH, oh no, that's it's just what like, I do. do we just tabulate all the ways men and women prepare themselves, not just on the day of, but throughout their entire life? Like, Yeah, I mean, it's like it's just, guys pay for dates, girls pay to look good for the guys that want to take them on dates. Yeah, but guys do things to make themselves look good on the first yeah, date too. Yeah, but they don't spend nearly as much time or effort or money in doing You're it. Right. You know what? So I actually easy. agree with you. I think yeah. women shouldn't wear as much makeup as they do. I, I don't think they should be so fixated on their physical appearance. I don't think that they should get plastic surgery and fake tits and lipo and lip fillers and all this sort of... I agree with you on that. Yeah, you might get a second date. Huh? Might get a second date. Reduce the makeup and everything else to feel like we catfish, we're being catfish. How many women would be offended, though, if, as the guy, you said... <laughs> Hey, don't wear. Listen, I I don't want you to wear any makeup on our date. Don't wear any makeup. You can maybe get you know take a shower, or whatever. But don't wear any makeup. Honestly, I wouldn't get offended. Like Frankie says that all the time. I honestly take it as a compliment. Yeah. Yeah, but I you're dating him. Like I'm t- I'm saying like first date. Oh. Uh, yeah. Like, for I feel my like, first date, I didn't wear makeup. Okay. Me I would and my t- boyfriend, we went. We did like a sushi date. This is like when we were first getting together. Like I didn't wear makeup. What if, but here's the thing though, what if the guy conceivably spent more getting ready for his first date? So then like under those circumstances should Well, it's not saying like the girl we, pay. we're not gonna look good, we're just not beating No, but face. I'm asking Christy, you oh. said, well, okay, the guy should pay because we spend more money getting ready, but like let's say in some scenario, the guy actually spent more money getting ready. I think the guy should always pay, but I think in general, like people don't take into account that a girl is spending a lot of time money and effort just to get ready for this guy for the date okay so that's one argument but but i will but i also will say like um i get hit on the most when i'm like out in my glasses like not wearing makeup like the days i just don't care and i'm just like oh i'm just gonna go run my errands that's when i like get hit on the most okay well you know what drake said what Oh, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. Best I ever on. had. <laughs> sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the. I wonder if I people. I wonder if girls would agree to come on the panel, sometime if it was a all makeup free panel. If girls would agree to come on the show. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I don't know. But okay, like but the thing is also though, like I would totally do that, but my I have eyelash extensions, so. Like, Look. does that count? Because I can't, I'm not going to Here, let's, <laughs> let's move away from the, the makeup component of, like, paying. Guys should pay for the first date because women spend more getting ready. Uh, I mean, the original point I made is, is you said you were in the talking stage with two dudes, and now all of a sudden you're getting back with your ex who was out of the picture. Like, this is precisely the way women move, which makes me not want to upfront fall into the provider frame. Like... I'm not gonna pay on the first date for a girl who's dating three other dudes or who's fucking three other dudes. Like you expect me to pay for a first date and you're fucking them. Okay, so dude? the solution Hell to this no. is to just go out for a drink. You don't have to commit to dinner on the first night. You no, you don't coffee. even. Agree. Yeah, you could go to coffee. You could get yes, one I, cocktail. Yes, I agree with that. But even uh, even in that circumstance, you still sh- you excuse me, it's tripping over my words. You still shouldn't pay, you, even if it's a ten dollar f- drink. Again, it's just this victim mentality. Until I know you're not fucking another dude, I'm not paying for you on the first date. Isn't it worth just throwing that $10 in for a drink just to work out whether or not you like this person? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So for me, this is more of a principle thing. If you, as a guy, if you want to min-max your success when it comes to women, you should pay for the first date. Because it's conceivable that you go on a date with a girl who's otherwise meets your standards and she's bent out of shape because you don't want to pay for the first date. Uh, so min, if you want to min-max as a dude, yes, you should pay. However, for me, it's just a matter of principle. You don't get the traditional treatment. I'm not going to fall into my traditional gender roles with 
a woman who may very well be, and this is the way a lot of women are moving and the way a lot of men are moving too. Okay. If you're sleeping with other men, if you're dating other men while you're talking to me, I don't want to pay for you. We can split and then when we're in a committed relationship, then we can have a conversation about traditional gender roles. But if you're fucking another dude, you're talking to another dude, I'm not going to be a sucker. I'm not going to pay for you. I'm, not, I'm like it, also not trying to talk to multiple people but at you once, are. but like that's just what happens when you're dating. Like the first guy that I was talking to, it's not. Well, no, it's after not. After I went just on a first happens. date with him, I want like I wanted. I I wasn't like going on the apps or anything, but when things start to progress not as quickly, like we went on a lot of dates, and then things started to slow down, and then I met someone out when I was wearing my glasses, so then I went on another date with him. But if the first guy progressed things along faster, I would have never accepted like a date with someone else. How many dates did you go on with the guy when you started seeing this other guy? Three, four, five dates? Um, I think around like five, probably like five, I think. How much did you, and did you guys go out to nice dinners? Well, and we went to- um, You said the oysters so I, so this. How, I, how much did he spend on you? Uh, we went to 11 and we had a table, so, I mean, a couple grand. This is exactly why you shouldn't pay for a girl on the first date. But we had you a were, great you admit time. You were, but and it wasn't my idea. It was his. Right, but you admit to talking to multiple men, and this is precisely the reason that I advise I, men to not be a sucker and not pay for women on first this dates. Is why, this is why you guys clowned on me for saying on the first date, I say I'm dating for marriage. This is So then, like, look, our intentions are on the table. You can even put that as a setting on Hinge. I'm dating for marriage. Well, that wouldn't preclude you necessarily from date be, uh, dating, like, multiple men. <laughs> Did all my kids, oh, did you're like, like living in this set you're living in this state of fear and i'm telling you my look fear. look all I, every day my primary audience is young conservative women that's great who are 25 to 35 who either are married or looking to get married that have these traditional values i'm saying i talk to these women all day every day there are tons of women like this out there and you won't even take the risk to pay for one drink to get to know these women that are everything that you're I saying you be, don't want. I will be a traditional man when women return to tradition. How can we return to tradition? There's no traditional man Alex, to show up for. Okay, okay. I, well, first off, I mean, sorry, repeat, repeat your th statement. We are trying, I, me and so many women I know are trying to be traditional women, but there are no traditional men to, to, to show up for. Let me ask you a question. So, and please don't take this I wrong I mean, they're way. few and far between. You, on your Instagram, you have bikini photos. Yes. If a guy you started dating came along and said, I want you to take that down, would you? Yes. But you have those up on your Instagram. Okay. I mean, I think to me, a bikini picture isn't like, isn't a big it's deal. It's not. I mean, it's, I think modesty. A bikini picture at the pool or the beach. I don't think modest, it's a Modesty coincides with tradition, I would say. Okay. That's fair. Then yes, now, I would be willing to hear it. But I'm just saying like. Like, like for me and so many other women, we're wanting to go on dates. We're wanting to find somebody to marry. And then you're, there's people like you are like, well, I'm just taking myself out of the dating game completely. Then what are we supposed to do? Well, marriage minded women should not. I, I don't think they ought to date me again. I'm I'm open to long term. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm open to, again, monogamous long term partner. It's could happen you never know i'll also say i very i think i literally have like one bikini picture on instagram i have hardly any i don't know i didn't do a deep dive i i saw a couple yeah i think one i saw a couple maybe a slight look it's not it's not the fucking crime of the century but like guys it's like i think these girls be posting Bible verses in their fucking Instagram <laughs> and they got bikini like really revealing like yeah, bikini true. photos and it's like Look, some guys don't mind, but it's like, it's not really traditional. Now, when it comes to paying for the first date, like, again, we had Christy here. She admits, I mean, she, you know, she's dating multiple men. I've been on dates with women where I, I, I'll t ask them. I'm like, hey, because I'm pretty upfront about that. I'm like, hey, are you seeing other guys? And a lot of women, some, some aren't always upfront, but some are. And like, even average, unremarkable women I was on a date, this was a couple years ago, met her on Hinge. She had just downloaded the app uh, three days prior. Oh, 
she had just down sorry guys there's some sound outside uh she had just downloaded the app she, uh three days in i think i went on a date with her on her fourth date after having had the app she had already been on two dates and then she said she had two dates planned for the weekend and I'm like, at that point, I've just lost all interest. Yeah, well, that was super dumb on her part it's to even say No, that. it's not. D well, I don't Yeah, she's dating as a job. <laughs> oh, it's dumb that she revealed it to me or dumb yeah. that she's doing that? I mean, both, but like very stupid well, to stay good. on a date. Like, I've got some other guys lined up after you. Right. Like, yeah, but that's, that's being honest because as a guy, I don't want to deal with a girl that's dating other dudes. It's very easy to be dating one person at a time. And if you're serious as a guy or, well, It's just as weird a girl, to me to want that standard from a girl, but you're not willing to date for marriage yourself. It's just yeah. how you, you're basically expecting her to be dating for marriage, like only talking no, to no, one no, person no, no, at a no. time. Hold on, but, but you, you're confusing commitment with marriage. You can be committed to one person and not get married. You can be monogamous and not get married. You can have kids and not get married. Yeah. You can have a lifelong partner and not get married. And that's true. I'm just saying on the dating. I'm just saying when it comes to being on a first date. I mean, will you just marry someone already? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm and not buy gonna me do a it. fucking drink. I'm not gonna. But do if it. it's a first date, so so are you, like in your ideal situation, are you saying that they should not even set up another date until they've either gone on enough dates with you to either say this is a yes or no? Sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry. Yeah, because most people, when they're using dating apps, they're you know talking to multiple people, and then some become dates, some don't. So mm. you're saying that you don't want to be on a first date with a girl. You don't want the date. You don't want the girl who you're on a first date with to also be dating other guys. So then there's are, degrees to it. Like, I think there's a difference there's between degrees. going on dates with multiple guys. Like if you're single and it's your first date, obviously you've gone on dates with other people than sleeping sure. with multiple guys. Yeah, I, uh, there's degrees to it, right? So like, do I find it as a like if a girl went on a date the week prior and she's got a, I mean I probably would object if she's going on a date with me and she's got a date planned for the day after, but. Um, there's degrees to it. So if she's sleeping with another guy and she's going on a date with me, I, no, that's a no go for me. So would you say for you, is there a difference between sleeping with other guys versus dating other guys, like going on multiple first dates to see who they want to commit to? There, there's degrees to it. Yeah. Like if there's, obviously I recognize like if she's single and we just met, there there's potentiality for crossover. Yeah. However, so I think what she's kind of saying is that say she has three dates lined up, she hasn't slept with anyone. Whenever you three dates don't lined up, I'm done. Drink, I'm out. I'm you're, out. You're sort of she's out of the competition, you know. But this, she's giving no hope to the potential for a relationship. She's like, oh, I'm just it? like she's got fail. three other. Yeah, exactly. She's you got know, three other dates I'm not lined up. I don't like nah. I don't I don't, I really so, so then, so then you're saying that like you that. want her to go on a first date, go on a second date, maybe third date, she's unsure, stop dating you, then start dating someone else. What do you mean? So I think it's I think it's pretty easy to date one person at a time. I think that is the best way to the man, for women to maneuver. Is it just? And I suppose. Uh, you know, is it maybe. just like the dating thing that throws you off, like the dates, or is it like? In the back of your head, you're like, oh, I know you're about to go smash him. Well, you never know. Like, even she might not even be honest. Like, a lot of people aren't going to be honest about, you know, if they're seeing other people up front on the first date. So the way the way that I know people move, especially here in Southern California, they're fuck they're fucking one, two, three other people. That's what I have to assume going in. So, like, that's my hesitation for paying for the first no date. No offense, but it just sounds kind of cheap. Like, is it really that big of a, a deal to pay for someone's coffee? Like, but couldn't you say? Couldn't you direct that question to women? I mean, if it's if but, it's but the are, men, are, so men are, are women cheap? The are women cheap? So. But are women cheap? Because but that's they, like us saying that we're gonna go and take care of this guy on the first. Like, we're gonna would, go. Just, we're I gonna mean, cook dinner for him on the first date. I would have. I someone, actually think that's a good I, I, idea. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I no, no, because then you're inviting a guy over. But that's your house, house on your first. first well, well, it, it, it doesn't have to be at your place. It could be at his. No, I wouldn't want to go to some guy's could. house on the first date. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, say, I mean, not not never. not never to date, never. but like I didn't could. say. No, I said I don't want to. I don't want to go to a guy's house. Hey, if she's you down, you could do it in like your maybe like your apartment building. If there's like a common area, some of the kitchens, like maybe the in common area. I don't know. 
I, I at a local would, campsite. <laughs> but would you really accept that as a first date? I don't yeah. think yeah. like a, a home cooked meal. I would. I would accept that as a first date. Come yeah. to your house that you don't know. Yeah, yeah exactly. like I would cook for someone. I would take the time to like do that for someone. Yeah. I would do that too, but it'd have to be like a third or fourth date. That's, yeah, first. that's what I'm. I, I don't just because it's dangerous to like have someone you don't know like over your house. But I, look, I don't know. I think are women ever really truly single? Hmm. Are they ever truly Are, single? Yes. Anyone, there's always some I dude. There's always some single, dude in the picture. Like, there's always some dude in the picture. They've got a fuck buddy. They got somebody they're sleeping and with. And then they meet someone and then they're like, oh, I like this person a lot more. And then they start giving them mm. their attention. But here's here's my position. But just like being I don't single even, in the wild, on. you're here's always my position. talking to people. I don't even want to pursue a girl if she's sleeping with another guy. If I know you're sleeping with a, another guy, that's a wrap for me. I don't. I don't want to go on a date with you. I don't want to pay for a first date. I want. I don't want to hold your hands. Then, then I don't really want to kiss you. Really, the girl you're looking for is going to be in the church, but you don't Mazak want Katie to pursue marriage. Oh, hold on just a second. Isaac didn't know you were going to be a guest on the show. I'm a huge fan. Tell these women what a good woman is and what a good man wants in a good woman. Love your content, Isaac, and you too, Brian. I'll tell you Yo, about women. Thank right. you, Max. Zach. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I go back to the best friend thing. I think you can really figure out a lot about a person. And I think for a first date, go for a walk. If you don't want to spend any money and you don't want to commit sure. yourself financially, go and do something like that. And then over time, these things will sort of sell, um, sort themselves out. But yeah, the whole thing about having three or four dates lined up, I think for a man that feels very, I don't know, it just feels shit. You don't want to feel shit going into a date. I actually love the walk idea. Like I've actually had a couple first dates where like we take my dog for a walk and like you can just... Conversate with someone. I is think that a you? Is that a you? That's you? honestly why, like a great. Laughing, that's Kim? like a great idea. I love taking my dogs for walks. Is and this then, a euphemism? What are you? No. <laughs> like I'm literally, I'm fine with that idea. But with if what? you are going yeah. with, ta- with going for a walk date, that's fine. She just said she. But she, if you are gonna uh, go to a date that you have to spend money, then it's like the guy should pay. But if the guy doesn't want to, then come up with a creative date like going for a walk. Q, what you got for yeah. us? Just the fact that she said, take my dog for a walk. Like, how is, like, how is that a date? I'm, if, wait, what why, like can't, why can't we take it, my dog? Is it, is it if, if you're is going it on the walk anyway. Like, is it the duration that it takes as long for your dog to shit, or like? No, like, go for a nice walk. I live in Miami, there's so many, I don't want to, like, give Hold away on, my Hold on, Sazu, 69 but, donated $99. This is for Sing Dynasty. What? What are your thoughts on math couples? Also, wanna take you to Mama Lou's in Monterey Park for Xiao Long Bao. You can check if I have CTE. Yeah, I train with UFC fighters. No big deal. I always get KTFO, but it's worth it. Man shrugging. Mm. Why is he talking Uh, about dim sum? (laughs) I think this is directed at you. Okay, can you repeat that again? Uh... He's yeah, let's, just, let's bring it back up. That's a good idea. <laughs> He's just saying, what is WMAF couples? Women, men? I have no Esprit. idea. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, she's in a relationship. He asks if you can check if he has CTE since you're a neurologist. <laughs> oh, that's, cr- that's chronic traumatic encephalopathy. That's basically like concussions, like brain yeah. injury after multiple concussions. You can't diagnose it until <laughs> the, after death, right? Yeah, yeah not, it's just like tissue about biopsy. Icy. Sorry? If you have... A concussion? Wait, uh, after, yeah, oh. sure, after the podcast. I, I do love Shalom Bado. <laughs> yeah. he, um, he did mention that. So, <laughs> so Isaac does have to take off here in a couple minutes. We're going to react to a quick video. before, Quickly before we react to the v- video, Alex, we were having a little back and forth. Uh, you were saying that I need to find a woman in the church. Is so that correct? So I'm saying that the standards that you're looking for, like this idea. To just not pay on the first date? Mm, no. There's church plenty of girls the whole are thing of, like, too. I don't want a girl that's like sleeping with a bunch of different dudes and all this different. I'm saying like the standards that you're wanting, like this loyal woman, blah, 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 you know, all of that. Blah, I blah, think blah, 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 blah. you would find just the the, li- the list of of. It's not. A, it's without, really not a huge list. Without it being a liberal, I'm just saying because otherwise right. it is going to be and a not being a, and not being a lib and all that kind of stuff. I'm or just, saying, just like a woman, she could be apolitical. Saying, she could be moderate. Okay, fine. But I'm saying that that type of woman likely is going to be found in a church. And I'm saying so the ideal woman that you're looking for with all these characteristics, uh, she's mm. probably wanting marriage. It, it's like you're looking for a unicorn. This woman that's like super not, loyal, no, 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 doesn't no, no, do no. this, but doesn't. I disagree. Get I disagree. 
I think there's plenty of... Hmm, maybe hmm. in the tech space. But like, I feel like the type of woman you're describing could maybe be found But do you do tech. you think I'm like... How many I think first do you, dates do you go on? What None. Do you mean? <laughs> yeah, how many oh. dates do you... Like, how many first dates do you go on? What's the ratio? Like, <laughs> What's the ratio? <laughs> like, how many well, in a okay. month? Ever, pretty out of, much... Out of pretty much month, ever... Okay, so on? ever since I started the podcast... Because I've been super busy with work, so I started the podcast like a year and a wait, when I, about a year ago. Uh, I really haven't been dating. I went on a couple dates here and there. Uh, previously, when I'm single, I'd maybe do two or three dates a month. Do, maybe. do any of them like have a problem when you say you're not gonna pay? When I'm not gonna pay? Yeah, like do you, do you ever get backlash for that, or they're all just really cool with it? Most of them are fine with it. Yeah. Have you ever thought about looking for a girl in church? No, I'm not <laughs> waiting until marriage. So, like, if she's super strict when it comes to the church stuff, then no, nah, not that. for me. See, this is what I'm saying. But also, I think the girl like, that you got I'm not asking I that like much. Besides the marriage, I'm really not asking no, that much. I just part, don't want a chick that's a hoe. Yes, I'm right. not red asking pill, that red much. Red pill, red pill, guys. The, the red pill guys want a traditional woman, but they do not want to step up and be a traditional man themselves. Who in wants the beginning, to wait until marriage to have sex? That's the most important part of it. Well, not the most important part of a relationship. It's very important to get... you got to get your rocks off. No, you, you gotta, don't. It's like trying buying a car. You can't just buy it sight unseen. you got to take it for a test When you learned to ride a bike, did you have to learn on a whole bunch of different bikes or did you learn on one bike? I started with training wheels. Okay, but the same bike. Yeah, but I took the training wheels off. And when you... If you're waiting till you're married to have sex, it's probably going to be not as great. And it's going to be but terrible. It's going to be awful. Your wedding night is going to suck dicks. Hymens will be broken and hearts will also be broken. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Time for the video or not? It's cool. Hey, dude, thank you for coming, thank man. You Appreciate hey, it. Nice Yo, absolute pleasure. Thank you very nice much. Nice guys, you. guys, go sub to his channel. He he's got a kid. He's got to go take off. Okay, Isaac. Man, All good, man. Hey, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Um, okay, so actually, can we? Uh, we can take this. Let's put, no. Put can someone put the mic just on the ground, maybe by his. It's number three, Nick. Yeah, we have a little more space here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I see. Here's the thing: when it comes to tr tradition, and maybe this is, I don't know, the OnlyFans thing. That's that's okay. I don't think you like when it comes to being traditional or wanting a bit more traditional. I don't think it has to be all or nothing. And it quite clearly isn't all or nothing because we can make the argument. But then why is everyone hold, hold, saying hold, 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 up. Zip it, zip it, it. <laughs> zip it good, Christy. <laughs> zip it good, okay. So, how many women who like, you can make the argument that in order for a woman to be traditional, she needs to be a virgin, right? You can make that argument. Mm -hmm. But like, are you a virgin? No. Are we gonna sit here like, but you're still a traditional woman, right? Yes. But you're not a virgin. So, and in the same way, like I, and I don't know if I even really consider myself all that traditional, uh, but is a guy not paying for the first date? Is that like the epitome of being non-traditional? No, but I just, I think it sets the standard to, to, to pay for a girl that's fucking another guy. I'm not. No. I'm not prepared she to do that. Not I'm not prepared. Yeah, she's going on she, but she dates, could be. Yeah, she could be. Measure. But like, I Ryan, mean, you said I, you had I two to three dates a month whenever me. you were dating. So then, before you said you don't want to date a girl who has other dates lined up. So did you line up each of those dates after the you stopped dating one girl? Uh, I mean, typically, I would typically like the way I was. It, it depends, but I would typically pursue one girl at a time. Uh, but like again, there's degrees to it, you know. There's yeah. degrees. Yeah. There's degrees. But that's why I'm saying sleeping with multiple Could other people are different than having multiple dates lined up. Like that is sort of just right. like a practical thing that happens when you're using dating apps. You can scoot over this way a little bit if you want. Um, it it's uh wait okay. Just because she's going on first dates doesn't mean she's like having sex with anyone at all. Right, but again, there's degrees to it. But so if like, you're going on, like, probably by the time you went on, like, six, seven dates, you're probably not going on first dates with other people, or at least I wouldn't be, unless it's the rhythm slowed down and you're, like, 
you know, this guy's clearly not serious. You're gonna, it's not gonna get anywhere. So then you start going on first date again. Dates again. Q, do you play for? Do you pay for first dates? Yeah. See. <laughs> And I, I don't think that's wrong. Like, I think... I was just wondering. I I think, <laughs> but it's not... I don't think about it in the sense that yeah. he's thinking about mm-hmm. it. And then most of the time, like, women have even paid for my first dates. Mm-hmm. So, um, to me, it's more so... It doesn't really matter to me because I'm really good at discerning what type of woman I'm dealing with. So, I'm confident in that. So, if I know I'm dealing with a woman who's... I thought I don't even take her on a date. Like, I won't take a thought on a date. Can I ask you a question, though? Mm -hmm. Have you ever dated a woman who, on the surface, she was, seemed innocent, seemed unassuming, she seemed a certain way, but in actuality, she moved very differently? Have you ever encountered a woman like that? Um, Probably early on in, like, 21, but not since, like, just learning psychology and just dealing with women. I'm just really good at discerning which women are which women. Sure. So, so it's easier for me to tell. Yeah. And look, again, to the men watching, if you want to min-max your success when it comes to dating, you should pay for the, for the first date. However, for me, it's just like... Plus, I kind of like it when a girl simps. You know what I'm saying? I just like, think you're prohibiting like a lot of no. good girls that could have come into your life because you're going in with that mentality. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. I'm saying you're like exactly the red flag that you're telling men to avoid in women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you are the girl version of what you're allegedly trying to avoid. I Why don't you get agree. a girl and change her, <laughs> but, you know? But I, I don't see what what is wrong with wanting a woman to equally contribute to the start of a relationship. Nothing, but I think it, it is... It's, it, it is tradition for a guy to want to pursue the woman. And I think that first date, why not the second date oh, I'll and pursue. she offers to pay? I think second date, Although it's fine. nice if she pursues I just her, think first, just like with taking a guy's last name and all that kind of stuff, I think it is a good thing. It's a it's a good act of faith for the guy to pay first date. And then, yes, second date, yeah. she can offer to pay. Let's go for ice cream or whatever. Like, she offers third date. Maybe she cooks for him or, or whatever. But then but you can go back no and forth. there's no guarantee of a second date. <sighs> How many, know, how many of the women? Did, how well, many of the you'll, women you'll know before how the date is over if you want to. How yeah, many of the women that you um, like go on another went date. on first dates with? How many of them actually wanted a second date? <laughs> how many of the first dates I? Um, yeah. Well, it's funny <laughs> you laugh. That's a really good question. Uh, I would say like first dates. I think it was like fifty percent. I think. Okay. Fifty percent. And how did how did you guys proceed after? What do you mean? Like did you did she pay for the second date? Did you pay for the second date? Well see I I wasn't really paying for the first date ever, really. I've paid occasionally on first dates. No, no, once There's, you went on the second date. So you didn't pay on the first date. The women who wanted a second date were fine with that, I'm assuming. They were okay with that. Yeah. So you yes. went on the second date. So what happened the second date? Well, okay. Second date, I mean, she's coming to my place. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what? So, oh, God, I'm so no. What's your body count? What's your body count? Oh, I'm a man of God. I don't reveal that. Well, if she's coming to your place the second date. Like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not waiting until marriage. I know, but wait, nothing... did, you, did you ever answer what your body count was yesterday? No, I'm a, I'm a man of God. I don't share that. Yeah, yeah, but she's coming to your place the second date. Yeah, why not? Like a little bit like... Well, you, you've sounds never... Sounds like she's... You're doing the dirty. <laughs> never say never. <laughs> I think your ratio is way higher than mine. <laughs> My ratio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I, I don't go to guys' oh, houses God, on that. second dates. To... Do okay. you think Do you think that you have the highest body count at this table? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just be honest. Just like, <laughs> you don't have to say the number, but just, do you think that's yours is the, the highest? I don't know, Q. What's your body count? Q, what's your body count? Uh, Six... Six di- wait, three di- tri- triple digits. No, but we no, but we I'm agree not, that the ratio sure, is the same. I think you do get like probably. Yo, the ratio is bullshit though. The ratio no, is not. bullshit. It's not. It is bullshit. Sorry, Ryan, I have to go. No, Kelly, you're breaking my heart. I have school. Tomorrow. Breaking my she heart. Got class, candy okay. Candy. I have school wait. Too, by the way. At eight in the morning. You could stay for another hour. No, hours? No big, it takes me two hours <laughs> No big home. deal. It's no big deal. But it's 9 a.m. 9 p.m., sorry. I know. And then I ha- that means I have school in like It's all good. If you, no, no, if you got to take off, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. I'll see you guys. Bye. 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 All right. Bye.
Another one so bites, bites the, the dust. dust. Another one bites the dust. Um, okay, so what what was the question? Um, your body count. Oh, no, she's shaking her head. How many kids you get? <laughs> I think you asked him like a question. Nick, I put the no, no, mic on the me. ground. And you and you said something about the ratio. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the ratio. Yeah, you said something about okay, the ratio. so you're I saying the like the ratio. But, but but you're saying okay, your whole thing with body count is well, it's the ratio. It's how many people want to sleep with you and you say no to kind of right yeah it's about the opportunities that you're taking so yeah like if 12 people wanted to sleep with you and you took 12 opportunities that's a lot sluttier than if 100 people wanted to sleep with you and you took 12 opportunities okay perhaps if you're perhaps if you're comparing but when it comes to body count it's it's a little different, but because the number, like a no, one but, number, but, if we both say three, but you've only had three opportunities and I've had ten, three might sound like it's like completely different, you know. Or if I say ten, I reject. You say three, I reject I your ratio thing. But Here's it, why. It's very well, uh, let me explain. I know you don't yeah, yeah, like yeah. it, but let me let me explain. Your this. mind it's, is at least thinking. I can tell you. Let me. No, but, it's no, logical, no. but I'm thinking about desirability because. If you're a woman, you're going to get more opportunities, but you're also more selective as a woman. Yeah. So whereas a man, if you get more opportunities, you probably take more because you're less Right, discerning. which is sluttier. So, but it's, so it's not about the number. <laughs> well, okay. Here's when it comes to the ratio though, let's and say wait, also, does it matter what age you had sex okay, with? Okay. Hold the on. Person? Let me finish my point. Okay. When it comes to the ratio, let's say somebody, a, a woman has slept with one guy but her ratio sucks. Like, let's say it's... Yeah, she only had one opportunity. So she let's say she had 10. Guy. I don't know. She slept with one guy versus a woman who slept with 100 guys, but she's had a million opportunities. Yeah, you gotta do are the you math. Go, are you, you going to... do the math on it. Are you, about to, are you prepared to argue that the woman who slept with one man is sluttier than the woman who slept with 100? Okay, so how many opportunities did she get? Okay, the, she got ten. <laughs> Wait, we're in those example numbers. A hundred, a hundred to a million. Yeah, I mean it's not my fault that she didn't so, get that many. No, but the girl, but the girl who slept this with, is the hold thing, on, this is the thing. no, 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 hold on. The girl who slept with a hundred people, if she's had a million opportunities, technically her ratio is better than the girl who slept with one guy who's had 10 opportunities so your whole ratio thing is th no, is because, I mean, bogus no it's not but the thing is like okay so you're saying so so if it's not so if it's the other day okay but so you're saying so that like, hold, hold on let me ask you a question the girl that slept with a hundred men who had a million opportunities is less slutty than the girl who's only slept with one guy According well, to your yeah, ratio, it, they'd be pretty equal, to be honest. Equal. Yeah, they'd be. Pretty a girl equal. who slept with a hundred men is equal Out to a girl who slept many? one. Yeah. It I is can't, equal. bro. It is. Uh, send, send. She might have only slept the, with one, but like she on. didn't get that many opportunities. Send the missile. Send she the didn't nuke. get that many opportunities. I have when just nuked. Out I have sent wild. a nuclear missile to this podcast wild. studio. You're saying the woman who's okay. You're saying the woman. You have to just do the math on it. Okay, how about a woman with a who slept with a thousand? A woman slept with a thousand people. Out of a million? This, out of a, a billion. She's had okay, a billion. Okay, that's not a lot when you do the math on it, though. I mean, the guys next to me before were at 600. Yo. He's saying, regardless, that's a lot of bodies. Regardless, I know you. everyone hates the ratio. The ratio doesn't I make sense. I can't believe I wasn't ratio crispy and not, and I was raspy You're crispy. You're raspy crispy. But I, I know because that's more of a diss, but I, I think it should be oh ratio God. crispy. I can't eat. I'm going to, my next job is going to be a mathematician, actually. <laughs> Since everyone wants me to shut my own yeah, hands down so badly, I'm going to change careers to mathematics. Okay, we have Bender the Offender here. Did I already read this? Blue collar workers are not as valued anymore, and it truly breaks my heart because those men keep the country running. Very true. Instead, people in today's society value women who do sex work and value their career over a husband based. Very true. 
under the offender, very true. I'm not against blue collar jobs at all. I just um, don't see my, well, I'm engaged and he doesn't have a blue collar job, but I, I don't go really out on dates with people in that. Um, yeah, I just, I your, just don't your go out ra- on dates okay. with guys with blue collar jobs. Your, your, your ratio thing only works if you're comparing a woman, like women who have equivalent body counts. In those circumstances, your ratio thing, you can make the argument that it makes somewhat sense in that context. However, you cannot make the argument that a woman with a higher body count, it like compared to a woman with a lower body count, because of yeah, the ratio. Yeah, because there, there's also things that has, have to do with it, like your age and how old you are. Like obviously, if there's a girl that's 33 or a guy that's 33, and someone that's 23 and 33 and if they've been single for the same amount of time like they're gonna have like more opportunities right. or if someone's been a very very long-term relationship and someone has it like they're gonna have different opportunities so you there's just more that goes into it than just being able to say one body count number because it's gonna sound like one might sound high and one might sound low but you have to look more erroneous into it erroneous he says erroneous. I think he's, it's erroneous. Well, he's, you guys are running the show. All right. Bender the Offender, side note. I work in a steel mill. When Christy said that men who work blue-collar jobs is a red flag, I was thinking, don't you support Trump? And he supports the blue-collar men. I'm not against. She just doesn't want I'm not, to I just don't think, like, I, I, I just, I mean, I don't know what you look like. If you have really long blonde hair with a man bun, um, I would consider it. I just don't see I don't see it in my future. What? Your, your I type, love blondes. Your type is blondes. a guy with long blonde hair and a man bun? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, yeah, that's my favorite thing ever. Ever? Like yeah. ever? Like the long like, blonde hair really? gets me, but not in a liberal All right, way, let's put, let's, not in a scrawny we're way. We're going to react to the videos and then we're going to wrap up the show. Um, Nick, can you pull up the first video, please? I think it's just uh, the video. I think it's a TikTok. Yeah, it is. It's the woman. Yeah, yeah. Here's what to say to a man who cares about your body count. I saw a video the other day where a guy was asked whether he thinks body count matters than a woman he's about to date, to which he responded, if a girl is ran through, then she's for everybody else. I kind of feel like guys want girls for themselves. We care about women's body count because we want them to be all for ourselves. We don't want them to be any other guy. We want to provide for them. We want to be the man in their world. And then he went to go on and say that zero was his ideal body count for a woman because she got to be a virgin. I got to take that ish and show her what it's about because she's going to be mine at the end of the day. My dearest man child, what you're describing here is the fact that you see women as objects that you can have all for your little self because the reality is your concern with your body count shows how little faith you have in yourself that you'll measure up to any of the men she's been with before you. A woman who's never been with another man can't find you disappointing in or out of bed because she has no one to compare you to. And while I think it's admirable that you think you want to provide for a woman and be the man in her world. I think what you mean is that you want her to think that you're the only one who can provide for her because that's how you control her. Because you're not secure enough in yourself to be with a woman who is free to leave you but chooses not to. And so in conclusion, ladies, your body count is your past and any man preoccupied with your past has no faith in himself to make your future better. So the next time a man asks you what your body count is, tell him it's not his freaking business and leave the date as quickly as possible. Because why spend any time with a man who doesn't realize that even though your past and where you came from does matter, what matters more is what you learn from your past and where you're going next. I love that. That's amazing. I can't believe you guys just played that, to be honest. <laughs> what what do you mean? That was awesome. She's at, she's correct. I, you you agree? Yeah, your body she he, she well, literally Q, just you said have, your body count doesn't even matter and it's like It does though. The ratio matters, but like she oh just God, said it, not, the body count doesn't matter and to leave if someone asks. Like that's cool. So you don't like, think you, you think a woman I, I agree with what she's saying. You you think a woman who slept with a hundred men I don't is comparable to a woman who's only slept with one? I, I said my I actually did say my body count was like around twenty two. I didn't bring my diary with me. But that's a very, well, very three, low body really count. Weird. And so I'm not saying Isn't like bo- is 23 a low body count for being 33 years the old. The average is six for women compared to like how many opportunities I have on a Here's daily basis. I know, like modern is, times, that is a low body count. Yeah, 
So yeah, I'm not like at, like I'm I'm not like at like I, I don't think people should just fuck everyone. I'm, I'm, even though everyone thinks I think that, but um, but I agree with her. Like it's kind of none of your business if you meet someone and hit it off. Like why does it even? Why was the past matter? Q, do you have a response to her and then also a reaction to uh, the video? I love um, that video. Haran. Body count matters. Women. Oh, body count matters. Women who say body count doesn't matter. And specifically, we're not talking about whether it does to men or not, because this is the argument that women typically make. Why should my body count matter? The first reason it matters is biologically, evolutionarily, paternity uncertainty. It's a natural psychological adaptation for men to feel repulsed by body count because it's indicative that their paternity will not be ensured. That's the biological evolutionary explanation. Secondly, women are not very discerning about the men that they lay down with. If you pay attention to women who actually sleep with men, a lot of men try to get in without condoms. You notice that it's, uh, um, STI rates go up. That's the second thing. Third, the psychological effects that it has on women. Women typically are promiscuous when they have something else going on, substance abuse, uh, former abuse in their early teen stages. These kind of things manifest. That's why a woman's past matters because it's indicative that she has poor, she'll exhibit poor behavioral tendencies. She falls into ways that are not conducive to a healthy relationship. They'll, they'll be you know, manifested in one way or another within the relationship. That's why it's important. So there are a whole bunch of markers that high body counts indicate. And it's also indicative, it can be a gene. There's actually been a gene that's been found for promiscuity in women and in men. It's called the, D, the DRR4 gene. I believe that's the correct gene. It's actually associated with promiscuity. Hmm. So the whole pair bonding thing is not even the more men you sleep with, you it affects your ability to pair bond. It's you suck at pair bonding from the jump, which is why you become promiscuous. You naturally fall in a cycle of dating men, sleeping with men, and that's essentially what it boils down to. Everything you're saying is correct, but you yourself are not willing to not have sex before marriage. You're contributing to all these women's and high body And you're allowed counts. to be promiscuous, but she's not. Well, yeah. When I don't think I don't think women <laughs> yeah. should hey. be promiscuous. Yeah. Because y'all because y'all still speaking about the double y'all still speaking about the double standard and it's because it's a disadvantage to y'all. That was, that was it's, it's, a disadvantage, no, it's a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage to y'all. It's, 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 it's a disadvantage. That's it's why you don't like it. It's a disadvantage to both men and women to have a higher body count. And everything that woman said, it was like she was she was half there, but, but why she was is it, half wrong. But why is it a so, disadvantage? Why why do you consider it a disadvantage to men as opposed to women when women don't go out of their way? A man will stop dating you if he finds out you have too many bodies for his liking, whatever that may be. Your like marriage, a man will, the higher your body you count is for men and women, whatever. men and women who get married who have higher body counts, both of them, yes, they're I'm well more aware. likely it's, to get divorced. It's more pronounced. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware. It's more pronounced in women, though. Yeah, I'm, and I'm well aware of what you're saying. You're not wrong, but what I'm saying is attitude towards body count. Like, I did my own uh, study on this as well. And I asked men, if you found out your woman had a promiscuous past, how would you feel? And I gave them the options, disgust, indifferent, um, repulsed, etc. The responses were overwhelmingly repulsed, disgusted. And then I asked another question, surveyed some more men and asked them, would you ultimately end the relationship? Mm -hmm. The majority of men said they would. Now, compared to women, it's not the same results. Hold on, just a sec. Stochastic decay donated yes, $99. Thank you, man. Dollars. Stochastic Decay has a question for Ole Raspi. You sit there and talk about ratio this, ratio that, and how the rest of the panel doesn't understand math. What's the ratio of duck size to gluck glucks that resulted in your vocal cord damage? What? The biggest the was 12. 12 inches? Yeah, I measured it. You can see for yourself on my only fans. I put the measuring tape next to it, so yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Send the asteroid. Okay. Um, and he, and he, I mean, I don't want to get raised into it, but I feel like it's pretty big for a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but like, I think that I just have something to do with it, too. She just had to, she had to clarify. What's that song by The Offspring? Pretty fly I mean, it's pretty, for a white guy? Like, it's, pretty it's pretty rare pretty to cool. find, I'm not going to lie. Okay. But my voice was raspy way, way before this. Like, 
I've always had a raspy voice. It's way really? since way before I even had sex. Yeah, I didn't what have sex till I was fuck? eighteen. Okay. And people started talking about my raspy voice when I was around sixteen. So good times. Wait, so your voice has been raspy your whole life? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it, it runs in the family. Is that? My mom's is raspy I didn't too. Know that could be genetic. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, so twins right. also run my family. It's, yeah. <laughs> well, I like twins. bringing it back to the video. Do any of you do? You, Let's go around the table on this. Your reaction to the video, agree, disagree? Um, I would disagree with her only be, well, to a certain extent. Like if I'm planning on dating you and you ask me, like, what's your body count? I'm gonna tell you, but if I don't have any like form or if I don't wanna pursue anything more with you, I'm not, like, it doesn't matter. Okay. I think the question of does does body count matter depends on what you mean by matter. Like there, there's two ways you could, there's two things you can mean when you ask this question. And one would be, does it matter for the partner in how yeah. he perceives the partner? And the, the other way to answer the question would be, does it matter for the individual as in their mental and emotional health when they increase their body count number? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think for the, the question of does it matter for the perception of the partner, it, it really just depends. I mean, some people care, some people don't. So it's like, do people care the length of their hair of their partner? I think for some people have strong preferences, some people don't. So I think you, you can look at the data and the generalizations, but that's really going to be an individual question. Um, yeah, as with most things. Yeah. As with most things. As far as the, the individual part of it, I think that depends on the, the person as well. Because for some people, you know, I think we can all agree if we're using sleeping with a lot of people to, to fill a void, whether that be loneliness, addiction, um, you know, need for validation, need for attention, need to feel love, that's probably a negative thing. Um, but, you know. Is there any good reason to sleep with a lot of people? No. No. I would say that for some people, they can separate sort of the intimacy part of it from the um, that sort of like the a, casual part of it. Sounds and like a bad thing. I can't do that. Oops. Yeah, I think it's really hard to do, but I, you know, I've seen people do it. I, I think it's pretty. Yeah, it's, pretty it's not rare. impossible. I yeah. couldn't. Like, Wait, like the intimate from the physical, or yeah. the emotional from the physical? Yeah, yeah. So, so like an example. For example, I was involved in the the partner dance community for a long time. So. Um, one thing that happens in the partner dance community that can be a very intimate thing. You're, you know, hugging each other, you're breathing together, there's a lead and a follow. And so it can be a very intimate experience, but you're also sort of dancing with the person and then saying, like, thank you so much, like, um, goodbye, and then you ask the next person to dance. So it can be a very intimate experience, but you can also kind of frame it in a way where this is a dance where we're sort of sharing this connection. So I think it's hard to do, but some people do are able to frame that in a way with sex as well, where it doesn't really affect their intimacy because when they are having sex with an intimate, um, not intimate, but with like a partner that they really love or in a committed relationship with, it means something different, then we're doing it more casually. So the, until, the intention can be different. Until they catch herpes, but um, did you? I honestly <laughs> agree with everything that she said. Okay. I'll also, can I add one more thing? Yeah, 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 of course. Um, of course, another reason it matters is because of the orgasm gap. Yeah. Women are, if, if men's motivation for sex is because we know we're going to orgasm, then we're much more inclined to want to have sex. Whereas women, when they engage in casual sex, you're less likely they to don't orgasm. Usually, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you usually don't there, orgasm if you have sex. Well, I don't hold on, think... hold on. Let, me, let them finish. Go yeah, ahead. you usually don't orgasm if you have sex, especially with a casual, and things that help women orgasm are things like liking the guy. And the guy being familiar with your body and you being attracted to the guy. Absolutely. So essentially, if you want to compare it, women waste their time more and sex involves more of a risk than a reward for a woman than it does for a man. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Familiarity is, sort of has like a double edged sword because on one hand, familiarity, like you said, can breed comfort, can be trust, and that can lead to better and higher quality sex, more orgasms exactly. On the other hand, familiarity can sort of lead to boredom for some people, and so you know it sort of has a double-edged sword in like which way, which way it swings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like to have sex with someone unless I feel like I have a com emotional connection yeah, with them because like it's just be really connected. not worth it. Like what you're saying, what you're saying too. Like why would I have sex with someone if I'm not emotionally connected and can't have an orgasm? That doesn't make yeah. any sense. I'll quickly address the video. Uh, it's very interesting. Like basically. She's saying, 
she's basically shaming men for their preferences, standards, and boundaries. Men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and uh, boundaries. What did she say? Oh, it's insecure. Well, I'm trying to think what else. She, she said it's insecure for a variety of reasons. And uh, I fail to see how it's about insecurity when, well, for some of the reasons outlined why it can be an indicator for various things. She also said it's not your business. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, like, if you're that great, like, your past doesn't matter because she won't be, like, thinking Of about course people's about. past matters. I'm, I'm sure she would object, like, she may very well want to disqualify a potential partner because of a criminal history. Oh, no, no, no. What she said, she said was, if you're, because the bodies are from my past, and if you're focused on my past, we can't build a future. That's what she said. I mean, that's a, that's a, what's it called? A, uh, I think men. Empty uh, platitude, <laughs> but I, I, it's, I, I reject it, but go ahead. Men and women are absolutely allowed to have um, body pr body count preferences. You know, anyone can have their their preferences. I don't think there's so that part. I would agree with you that I disagree with what what she was saying. That I don't think men nor women should be shamed for having a, a preference about that or really anything. Yeah. People have preferences about every single thing. Like I prefer blondes, and you prefer girls that want to pay up for the first date like we're all allowed to have our no, okay. I'm we're down all to attracting split. very i'm down to split okay son. so <laughs> i'm not but like we all have our That's preferences <laughs> and we're all gonna attract completely different people because we're all so different i'll pay if she has a large labia how about that well i know how would you know i i know that you have i don't i, I just found she, out about this got a, organization of she's yours. got a, she's got to slide into my dms would you, just, oh, what, shit, what that's how be her would you first know? Would you go you? look at her OnlyFans to find out? Like, huh? how, how do you know? Who would I don't you know, she's got to slide my DMs you? and be like, what's up, Brian? I'm 4'10 and I got a large labia. What's up? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So let's see how many dates you get from You know what? I actually have had a couple women DM yeah. me telling I'm me. I'm sure you did. Brian, <laughs> I'm, no, they'll, they, they've told Mine me like larger I'm than four life. Ten. We are soulmates. Wait, do you have a? No, that's what the girls are probably DMing you about. You got an Audi? What's up? I, I'm saying that's like what the girls interested. are probably. Huh? Is that not what they say? My what? my lady is larger than life in the DMs to you. So I like, I have received a few of those DMs. Yeah, I've exactly. received a few. Yeah. Yeah. Have you gone out with any of them? No. Here and there. Arby's favorite fast food? Yes or no? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> I I cannot. I disavow that statement. We should not be shaming women for the natural way in which they the pussy is i'm just saying it. you shouldn't shame women if they got it's more about a, cleanliness and hygiene what are you talking you can have a clean pussy and have an and Audi. A large i know that's fine but i'm saying huh? like what are you saying i'm saying what, are what you matters saying, more about the looks what are you saying, of it Christy? is how you keep it hygienic and cleanly oh well that's a clean. that's a given Wants dumbo what dumbo Wait, what? Tie what? your ears in a knot, tie your ears in a bow. The bigger, the better. Ugh. The larger, the labia, the better. You should just go on. Any women, hands. listen, l ladies, don't let these men and women shame you if you have a large labia. There are plenty of men who will be appreciative of I your goods. I think that is a whole category on Pornhub, like meaty. I, I think meaty <laughs> vaginas is a category. It can be found. Probably. Yeah. It can be found. Confirm or deny. Yeah. It's definitely <laughs> self confirm or deny. Sure. It's a yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, look, body count is a proxy for promiscuity. So, if you have a high body count, you were promiscuous, you are promiscuous. Most people don't want to be involved in I don't monogamous. think anyone even okay. has, Yo, has a high body Kristen count. Kristen St. Regis. Christy. Christopher, I need you to Christy. stop interrupting me. It's very rude. Very rude, Kristen. <laughs> That's not my name. Okay, Steve-O. That's actually better than calling me Kristen. <laughs> I hate when Kristen <laughs> steal the name Christy as their nickname. It's not my fault Kirsten? your parents. I'm going to start calling you it's Kirsten. It's not my fault their parents named them Christina. How about that? How about that? Name. I've heard this used. Uh, the adhesive tape analogy in regards to pair bonding. So it's like tape. When you place tape on something for the first time, the adhesion is strong, it sticks. 
But the more times you start putting the tape on to a new surface. Well, that's correct. It's scientifically proven. That is what happens the more sexual partners you have. It is what but, happens. But what I think the red pill community fails to offer guys is hope that there is redemption. Like He's Q-pilled, by the way. A guy not, or a girl yeah, not, with a high body I'm count. A guy or a girl with a higher body count. They, there is redemption offered to them through Christ that they're not going to get through the red pill community. I just want to say that. So this idea like once you have oh, a yeah, high body don't... count, your life is over, like that's not true. I think that's a really damaging thing to tell people. Well, I mean, what I... And age depends on that too. Like if you were lucky enough to meet your soulmate at 23, then you're only going to, you're never going to be dating around, sleeping with people. But if you're... 30, 33, 35, and single, you're just naturally Shut going up, to have to have more, like more we can't keep talking. We can't keep talking about the ratio. I'm not. I'm actually oh. just going off what she's saying. Oh, okay, but my it, bad. I'm not talking I'm, I'm not my, talking about it. I'm just saying. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. I mean, it's just like... If we're in our 30s and single and trying to meet like a husband, your body count is gonna probably have to be a little bit higher than if you met your person in your 20s, just because you've you had maybe. you've had to date around a little bit. But then it would go into the ratio thing, which I'm not talking. about. I don't think that's necessarily not, true. I don't think your age necessarily guarantees that you're gonna have a high body count. Yeah. But okay, so you're saying like through Christ you can get redemption, even if you were. You slept with 100 people. Jesus loves whores. There's, there's born again virgins. What? It's true. No. I don't believe in born again virgins. I will not allow. Yeah, I right. hate the whole born again virgins. It's the whole community. I think as a guy. I would never marry a virgin. You, so you would, let me ask. <laughs> I don't think that's what we're talking you about. <laughs> You're Christian. You're Christian, right? Yes. So let's say a woman, she previously was a prostitute and she slept she slept with 300 people but she found christ yes she's, she goes to the church and get she's baptized. no longer she's no longer a prostitute she's now saving herself till marriage would you advocate a male friend of yours do you have a brother uh yes would you advocate for your brother despite she's redeemed herself right mm -hmm. she's found christ would you advocate your brother marrying her uh, it depends on how long ago she was born again was and saved. If she got ago, saved last is... week, no. This I don't is... think she's I think been born again is long bull enough. No, let's been... say she's been a year. No. It's probably still too new in her walk. If she's somebody who has totally changed her life and she has been faithfully living that new life for five plus years, yes. But I don't think you can call yourself a virgin again. No, That's you, why you can't again. regain not your virgin again. You're not a virgin, again. but you can celebrate. A born again right, virgin. But like that past behavior, in my view, if you're, if you're an intelligent man, that should preclude you from a relationship with a man and that would be so, like, so as a non-christian that makes that sense you learned from it would be like, advisable oh, well, it would now, be very but... advisable to recommend to men despite her finding god and being celibate and waiting till marriage if she was previously a prostitute and slept with 300 men that that does not a good wife make I mean, well, I, I feel like the number I, act like would play a part in it. You're saying 300. What if she had like 20 and she was like, you know what? I'm gonna hang up the towel. I'm a. I mean, a lot of women got 20. Like <laughs> they got a lot of women. But, that but I'm saying, 20. I'm yeah, saying, like it it's a number thing. Job, like that's what I'm asking. Is it a number or is it just the fact that she did it? Or oh, the like fact the fact she that she was a prostitute money. or was is it the number? Well, I think there's again like degrees to it. Like if she was a prostitute. If she's a prostitute, no. Like no period if she had, she's a prostitute. If she only had 10 clients, if she prostituted herself, done. Okay. You're done. I, I just, I, I think that's an incredible testimony for somebody to have. And I personally, in my life, right. know men who have body counts in the hundreds before they, before they became Christians. It's kind of different, a Christian, though. It's but, kind of different. But ever from the day they became a Christian, they walked that walk and they lived that life, the fruit of their life shows that they truly are saved and made a change, then yes, I think that person can be, still be marriage material. Well, can't you also say for like men who's had sex with like 300 plus people, like it's also a emotional bond there too, because out of the 300 people you've slept with, you probably 
fell for like 50 of them. You probably had like close relationships for like 50 of them. Mm-hmm. So now you're saying okay, I'm hanging so in the towel. I want a, a real relationship. Things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple things. So in terms of society functioning the best in an ideal world, the you would just everyone would just be a virgin and they would marry the they would get married they would wait till marriage and then they would raise well, a yeah, family. Yeah, that's ideal. In an ideal world, that's yes, nobody's that's, doing that's it. That's perfect. It sucks but, that society is built up this way. To be I think honest. it's a super that's sad, depressing like. world to live in where you think no past behavior can ever be redeemed. That everybody's so doomed to whatever their mistakes are that you can never. I just yeah, like what if the girl was really messed up in the head and she got help? Learning from your mistakes, so you have there's growth. There's something called growth, and like you can't learn. No, you can grow, you can't but like grow without making a couple mistakes. I mean, I don't think that a virgin guy. Mistakes. I don't think a guy who gets married, let's say a guy that gets married at 29 years old and he's never had sex once, is probably going to be the best matchup to marry a prostitute or a former prostitute. But if you're talking about a guy who also has his own path, he's changed. She has, you know what I mean? Then yes, there's not going to be that huge like imbalance of. And everyone has their own past, and they're gonna connect. Right? Like, what if she had like people? Not saying she had a, a legitimate excuse, but what if she was like going through stuff and that's not that doesn't. Change and now, the, and the, no, she found the proper help. She got the help she needed. She's gone through her, done. to her little therapy. It's done. It's over. Become a nun. <laughs> <laughs> you can become a nun. How about that? Look, okay. look. But then it was like on. Like, I'm just the, talking for me yeah. and what I would recommend to other men. I don't care if she's now a godly woman. If you previously were a prostitute, drug addicted, 300 body count, I would recommend. If someone there has are a better drug women, addict, but there are better women out there. For like there. seven, eight years, they like they don't deserve to get I wiped for, up. For me, That's I would. Not. For me, I would not date a woman who was previously a drug addict. If for she example. was sober for years, I don't care how long she's been sober. I'm just, that's a metric with which I'm Dude, not going to date a crazy. woman. How is that fucking crazy? That's I, smart. I'm not saying I'm trying to dr- like How's date that an crazy? drug addict. <laughs> that's but just it's discernment. Like, they probably went through some shitty stuff in their childhood. And that that's another reason. That is another reason they, to an not want to date a woman. Of it, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I'm trying to date someone like that, but I'm just saying if people change their lives around... You, like they deserve a second. Like, are, legitimate, I will, like I will never say, look back either. I will say if that's all you can get, then that's different. But if you if you have options, that's the worst option to select. Right. Regardless if, if you're, of how holy it may be or you know how much of a good person you may be trying to be, it doesn't matter. You don't want a woman that has that history. You don't want a woman that has that on her ledger. In the same way that that women will make the optimum decision when it comes to who they're going to sleep with, who they're going to partner with, who they're going to marry, who they're have they're going to have kids with. Men are also free to make the optimum decision Everyone's and find free. every everyone Everyone's is trying to make the optimum decision. And as and a guy, it, if you have other options, a woman who was previously a pro I I can't believe I have to explain this. A woman who was previously a prostitute and drug addicted does not make for a good potential I'm partner. I'm not like and I, I, like I think that's totally was. fine. I mean, everyone like, has a choice to choose their options. Again, if, it, if, you just, if you we're got clean, if you're I not clean, you know, like, like we're just saying, like if if she was to like clean herself up, I don't care. No, I, here's another thing. I don't care if she's been sober she, for five. Hold on, let me finish. I don't care if she's been sober for five years. You have damn it. If you you were previously a drug addict, there are probably some irreversible. There's some irreversible damage you've done to your body. Yes, of course. Perhaps even when it comes to fertility, so that could be. I mean, there's but a also plenty if you got of the reasons. Vaccine, you're gonna have no, no, no. Done let's that. not. Let's not fertility, so. YouTube's gonna cancel me. Let's not go there. We're but not we gonna could. go. There. No, we can't because we're, we're not, not gonna, gonna go there. Like, but I mean, but look, but that that might be that, and a lot of women who, uh, maybe a lot of conservative women, that actually might be a well, men or women. That, that might be, be a more oh, no, no, red flag zip it, zip it good. Okay. That might be a metric by which somebody doesn't want to date somebody if they got the jab. Mm-hmm. Hey, everyone can have their preferences. Yeah, thousand percent. 
Like I would, that for me is way a way bigger red flag than any type of job. But if everyone can have their preferences, then we can't really say, well, like these preferences are okay, but these preferences <laughs> no, are, are not okay, right? Everyone like it's either gets to one or the other. For themselves what the preferences you literally are. just said when I said, I I didn't, hold on, when, when I just said, <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Oh, Chris, whoosh, zip it, <laughs> zip it, okay. <laughs> Chris Kirsten. You like Ryan. to interrupt. You like to interrupt, okay? I'm not going to tolerate it anymore, okay? Ooh, the sadness. Which, zip it. Okay. You literally just said, Brian, it's crazy that you wouldn't date a woman who's been seven years sober. That's not crazy. That's smart. I'm not saying for you, but I'm saying for someone else, like, everyone deserves to find their person. Nobody, nobody deserves so, to find a person. Um, yeah. Everyone's going to eventually. Well, not everyone. I'm not going. here. No, no, no. Here, I think maybe here's where you're getting caught up. I'm not saying that it's going to be impossible for a woman who used to be a prostitute or who used to be drug addicted to find somebody. It, sh- I agree sh- with you on that. Of course. But what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm arguing is that for myself and honestly as a recommendation for other men, don't date a previous drug addict. There are better options out there. In the same way that women are looking for the best options, you too as a man can go for the best option. You can optimize and try to get the best option. I just think it happens to be the case that a lot of women are unaccustomed to men articulating preferences, standards, and boundaries. Because most men are never, most men are never in a position to. So when women hear it, they're like, this is unusual. The fuck was he talking about? Every woman deserves love. Every woman should have a man. Every woman gets a second chance. That's essentially how y'all treat it. And it's inherent. It's like y'all, it's like y'all intrinsically believe that. I don't think that at all. But there's a lot of women who do. Everybody deserves to have children. Or, well, I don't think everybody is guaranteed to have children or should have that. Yeah, should. I can't talk. I don't think everybody's guaranteed to have children. I don't think everybody's guaranteed to get married. I think that it's totally depends on God's will for your life. Word. Last video, we're going to react to a video from Q over here. If you can pull it up, Nick. Actually, before you do that, Twitch. Let's, let's pull up Twitch, and then we'll pull up Q's video. I wonder what video it is. <laughs> Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Dahlia, thank you for the prime. Unbreakable, thank you for the prime. Tank, thank you for the tier one. Serial, thank you for the prime. Toes, thank you for the prime. Toes, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, man. Chocolate, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it. Guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a Prime sub. Uh, let's pull up the Q video, then we're going to wrap. You want me to pull up his Instagram? Yeah, yeah, his Instagram. Yeah, no, it's the first one. Or sorry, sorry, it's the second one that's pinned, yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I want y'all to understand that in this new age of modern women, this is one of the ways in which they will consciously sabotage their romantic opportunities. The last thing a man wants from a woman is for that woman to play mind games and downplay her attraction to him or her desire to see him. And this is one of the ways in which pop culture, media has led women astray and actually reduced their ability to form healthy romantic connections by getting them to behave in ways that are counterproductive to developing those healthy romantic interactions. When a man is interested in a woman and he's going out on a limb, he's initiating, he offers something for them to do, that is a woman's opportunity to reciprocate that romantic interest. Without any pride, ego, nonchalantness, apathy, manipulation, or reverse psychological tactics. A man with options is not going to come form and entertain such bullshit. And women's friends will even encourage this low IQ behavior amongst themselves. Don't appear too desperate. Don't move too fast. You don't want him to think you're a whore. I've dealt with plenty of women who, when I asked if they were available, they were available immediately. Or they modified their schedules to see me at their earliest convenience. And that's how healthy women tend to operate when they're genuinely interested in a guy. They want that man to know that they're interested as well. Women will engage in and utilize the most counterproductive dating methods and then get upset and vilify the man when those strategies fail to produce the desired effect or outcome. Truth. I agree. All women and want I, I've seen, days, a, like, that's the not the only girl that I've seen, like, kind of do this, like, use that noise. It's like, I, it's one of those TikTok things, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's like, oh my, what is it? She's like, stoked that the guy is 
texting her, but then she's like, responds. She wants to play hard to get. Oh, uh, I'm busy, or like, even though mm-hmm. she, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, um, I think human nature, like, we're attracted to what's rare, and and kind of um, full circle, going back to the conversation topic where you started, where. Uh, you said something along the lines where if the guy was too available, that was unattractive to the to the woman. And because maybe you had multiple other partners, that it actually made women more attracted to you. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's weird. Like I think it's human nature to want the thing that you can't have or want the thing that is rare. So essentially, what the the woman in that video was doing was sort of They're trying, trying to, like to recreate it. that. So you know, I think it's it's not great for bo- either gender to do. I think everyone should. You know, if there is attraction and you're also reciprocally attracted to that person to be like full in and present and not try to play and hard I wanna, to get in I games. I want to piggyback on what you're saying. I feel like a lot of it is how we're at females, how we're raised growing up, especially by older females in our family. Like for me, it was like my gran- my grandma, she would be like, oh, you got to act like a lady. You got to do this. You can't let him like if you want a good man, you can't perceive yourself as this this and that even though we're like super into you we're super attracted we want to spend like every single day with you we don't want you to think that we're like hoes or we're just like out there like we're doing this with everybody else so it's not like a we're playing games in a sense it's like okay let me chill let me see how i can get him without him thinking too much of me anybody else for you I was going to say that that could be the case, like with a lot of women, I do hear that a lot. But like in the video that she's just representing, she's just... Oh, no, no, she was wrong. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Like you can tell she was wrong. Like all she wants is like the chase and like that's all she's seeking is the attention and everything. Yeah, I don't think men, I don't think men or women should be playing games like that. Um, I think it's super detrimental. But I also think like when women are forward... I don't know. It's it just like my, it scares a lot of men thing. away when that's we're for it, like because you can be like, "Oh, you're hot," and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, you're hot too." Let's yeah. let's go. Let's like, go to my Ooh, place, and you're like, "Oh no, you're too, you're too much." Like but I don't. Like, <laughs> you guys want us no games, but then when we are for it, we're like, "Okay, yes, I'm interested." Like you know what I mean? It's I, like, like Ooh, you're maybe wait. doing this with oh, I get in the back. Natural hunters, but I like agree with your video except for I just because there was like the sound over it. It's like if two people like each other then yes, if they both like each other, they should both be dropping things and prioritizing someone. It shouldn't just be the girl that has to prioritize the man. They should both equally be prioritizing each other. Right, and I understand what all of you are saying. The caveat is the guy having options and the way the woman responds. So I'm saying if the woman plays games and that guy has options, then he's not going to necessarily stick around for her to wait to see if she's going to be inter- interested or reciprocate. But what I'm saying he, is he may is he may move on. But if she really likes him, then she just sabotaged that opportunity because she wanted to downplay it, because she wanted to play cat and mouse. That's what I'm saying. But you also encourage men to not play games with, with yeah. Desire, which is true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like it if a woman simps, you know? I do, too. I love it. It's actually it it uh, it takes a lot of pressure off me. You it takes love a lot it, of, but not enough for you to to get rid of your roster and not have other exactly. women that you're seeing on the side. Because you're still forgetting that. Or <laughs> ne- you, you guys she, are impossible. No, no, because you're no you're, you're missing to the down. point to where I said we were monogamous. Yes. And and then and, then and then she was okay, sabotaging. But she, now she got her. So now she got her stuff together. Okay, so now you get okay, your stuff together. Okay, both okay. of you stop playing games. Okay. And both of you get married. Yeah. Who said we wasn't gonna do that though? You no, we'll still do <laughs> it. It'll time just time be on my change. yeah. It'll still be it'll still be on oh, my time turn. though. But it yeah. didn't go unnoticed. It didn't go unnoticed. I'm and saying you guys have both established throughout this entire podcast that there you guys are uh, you know in this like mentality you know that there are hardly any good she good women you. out there. And you are saying that you have a great woman. Don't let her go once you leave this podcast. I didn't. Do you think you being less I available didn't. than she would like makes you more attractive to her? Uh, absolutely. Subconsciously, it does. Is that a is that a game? Would it's you say game. of being unavailable? Kind of. No, like because I'm not trying to play. I'm doing. not. I'm not trying to play unavailable. You're not I'm, oper- to. I'm operating genuinely. Like this is this is me. I have no ulterior motives. I'm not trying to make her feel a certain type of way. I'm just literally focused on me and where I want to be. And with that comes me. If other women are interested, 
then yeah, I'll talk to other women. I'll do other things, but it never gets too serious. It never goes too far. And at the end of the day, when I want to call somebody, when I want to talk to somebody, when I want to take somebody on a vacation, vacation, whatever, I call her. But what if she's just genuinely busy and has her own life too? That's fine. I never said anything against that. Yeah, no, I'm like I agree with you, except for like she shouldn't be the only one. I don't, I don't stop it. her from doing anything she wants to do. Well, but everything what would, she does, what would she be does the does incentive on her own. for you to settle down with her if she actually finds you more attractive when you're less available? Because I'm still doing things like this. So yeah, like, the only thing that would change is me just cutting off other women. No, but but what would be a, it, what would be the sense. incentive for you? As in, like, why would you ever want to give up this lifestyle if the more unavailable you are for her, the more she finds you attractive? Not this, not this lifestyle. Just other women. The lifestyle stays yeah, the same. The the other women is what I mean. Yeah, by, I, by the yeah. Getting rid of the other women. That's easy. But why would you ever do that? I mean, it sounds like when you were fully available for her, she wanted you less, right? Because, 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 because she took it as a challenge and I guess as a motivation to improve herself. How old well, is she? You asked. I told you she's 26. 26. 26. Have you seen her, like, improvement? Ever since she, I guess, sabotaged mm -hmm. your guys' relationship, yeah. like, have you seen her actually trying to progress and mm -hmm. improve herself? Yep, and that's, and that's what I respect. So yeah. at this point in my life, like I said, I told you guys in the beginning, it's not all about me dating other women. It's about me trying to get somewhere where I want to be in my life, like financially. Yeah, I respect that. And, and, and I'm trying to accomplish certain things. So but I'm if you're not, waiting for that perfect moment, it's never going to come. I you're never uh, yeah, going to make enough yeah, money I, to have I, feel comfortable. Yeah, I know, I, I know that. I know, I'm well aware of that. That's why also it's a matter of my discernment. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is um, I don't want to rush it, but at the same time I'm still open to – when it comes, and I'm not saying that's going to take years down the road. That could be next year. That could be in a couple months. But what I'm saying is, I'm just going to operate on my time, regardless. It's just going to. It's just if she's still there, she's free to do what she wants. She's free to go wherever she wants. She's free to be with whoever she wants. So when I'm ready, if she's still available and she's willing, then we'll make it work. But not sleeping with other people for you, what she wants to do, because that grosses you out. Yeah. No, I, no, I'm saying if she slept with if she no. If she slept with other people, that doesn't actually gross me out because we met when she was in a relationship. So I know she slept with somebody else while we talked. Yeah, like, but you said you didn't want her to be. Because I know I'd lose right her. Now. I know I'd lose her. I'm saying, what I'm saying is if she's still there, the number one indicator that would be that she's no longer available is if she sleeps with somebody else. I'm saying I know she likes somebody else, and at that point, I've lost her. Yeah, that's true. So I, that's, that's, that's what I use that as, a proxy for if I still have her. Does she still love me? Is she still committed to me? Once she sleeps with another man, for that moment, she may not like it. it you know, she, he, it, may, it might not work out. But for that moment, if she told me, like, listen, I'm interested in somebody else, I'm seeing somebody else, and they sleep together, I'm operating under the presumption that she's moved on. Okay, so our next thing here. Sh uh, Nick, can you pull up the chat so I can see it? Yo, guys, one in the chat. Should I just start paying for first dates? Should I, you, yes, chat, do you think I should start? Question. One in the chat, yes, Brian. Start, be a gentleman, start paying for first dates. Two in the chat, nah, Brian, you're, you're right. You are righteous. <laughs> Stop. Don't continue. Oh, we got a couple twos. Don't pay for the first date, Brian, unless she has a large labia. One in the chat. One in the chat. Like it's the like 50-50. <laughs> yeah. It seems like 50-50. Okay, I guess I'm going to not pay. To nope. You, I'm 50-50-50. That's Do enough to keep vote. me, keep me yeah. stuck <laughs> in my every, ways. Every podcast. Stuck in my ways. There's uh, a three. What's last, the three? Yeah, I don't know what three is. Uh, I guess that's have her pay for the first date. What That'd be nice. Um, last thing here. Uh, does anybody here, like maybe you've seen the show before, does anybody here, aside from anything we've already talked about tonight, disagree with anything I've said in a previous show? Not off the top of my Any head. Any disagreements? The only show I ever watched was before the was the one, one I was on. in. So Solipsism. I okay. <laughs> I mean, like, I just I disagreed a lot already sure. on that show, but... Nothing. Yeah, okay. Uh, any final thoughts from anybody before we, M Maddie? You want to do a? Let's do a fifteen-minute after show. Okay. Uh, final thoughts from anybody? Speak now, forever hold your peace. I just want to say that 
for the guys that think like there's no good women anymore. <laughs> there are plenty. There are tons of girls that have not gotten the juice, if you know oh, what I mean. Erroneous. That are Christian, erroneous. that are conservative, that want to leave a legacy through their family. There are women like that. Who are waiting for the right guy. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Final thought? Okay. I just think you should start paying for your passes. <laughs> I think not. No, that's fine. We're never going to, like, I don't think we're ever going to see eye to eye, so. Stochastic Decay donated $99. Stochastic Decay has a data science question for us, P. How would you adjust the ratio calculation for women who hang out at clubs versus women who hang out at libraries? I'm open to non-traditional methodologies. I mean, I, I still think it'd be the same math, though. Oh, God. That's the, that's the thing. It's so the same. Same. You, can't, you, can't, you can't knock out the girls who hang out the li at the library because they... They get down to. But it's still the same math because they got less opportunities than the girls at the club, so it's still about the opportunities you took. Word? Okay, it's guys. Last call. We're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a brief 10, 15 minute after show with Madison here as your host. Last call, hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats, donates, and supports the show. Thank you to the panel for coming. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you to all our chat mods. Thank you to Britt, who's helping with timestamps. Any women who want to be on the show, DM out, whatever. Uh, we will be live again Tuesday at 7 p.m. Or excuse me, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. We're, we're changing the time. Uh, it's going to be a different show, the Tuesday show. I'm, I'll just reveal it. We're going to have... I don't know if any of you saw that Netflix documentary about the American Gladiators. We're going to have an American Gladiator panel. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be a smaller panel. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, do something a little different, something new. Uh, if you guys aren't interested in that, it's probably going to be a little more tame. But uh, if you aren't interested in that, we will be back with nor our normal dating talk on Sunday, but Tuesday, 5 p.m., we have the American Gladiator Special Edition Whatever Dating Talk podcast, so uh, be sure to tune in for that. Anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. Good night, guys. We are doing an after show, so if you want to stick around for 10, 15 minutes, uh, yeah, go for it. Oh, and uh, it, you guys, if you guys want, you don't have to stick around for the after show. I know it's we're getting late here, so if you want to. Dip. I don't even know what you do in the after show. I know. It's Is this mystery. where the orgy comes in? <laughs> uh, like the other after show? No. No, no, no. Yeah, what happens what, in the after what show? What happens? Like, right, like do we have to sign that's like when a, the real, a NDA for it? <laughs> the that's real when it goes conversation. Down. Uh, Nick, if you could hit the lights. All right, guys, after show begins now. Honestly, uh, Madison, basically. Oh, wait, last thing, last thing. Uh, I'm, I've set the, the TTS for the after show is 69 and we'll do, we'll read uh, like 1999 and up to like 20, 1999. And uh, Madison, you want to sit here? Sure. Is it, are you just like asking the questions for the after show? Kind of. I'll, I'll explain. Does it get heated? I'm, 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 I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm, I am going to use, I'm going to go to the bathroom first. So I'm very intrigued. I'm very, same. Johnny. <sighs> Welcome to the after show, everyone. So basically, we haven't done an after show in a very, very long time. Ooh. Uh, when was the last time we did an after show, Nick? Like, a month and a half. literally, yeah, a month and a half ago. But basically, after, um, Basically, on the after show, it's just like a little more intimate conversation, you know? We try to gear less away from what we actually talk about on the actual panel and all this, like, controversial shit. Just try to get to a little bit, know a little bit more about you guys. Are and we still streaming right now? Yes, we are still <laughs> streaming right <laughs> now. <laughs> on the same <laughs> screen. And, yeah, we're, we're a little more intimate with the chat and the viewers as well. They can ask us more questions. The the triggers, uh, Did you do it? Nicholas? 
Did you do it? Is it lowered? Uh, okay. One moment. Let me just try to. That's finally more room, though. Should I? <laughs> did we? Did we ever go? Did we ever read this one? Yeah, we did. Oh, was I gone? Yeah. 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 I didn't read it. This side work. I work in a single room for six seven minutes. Maddie said she's not traditional. Attack Maddie. <laughs> when did I ever say that? When did I ever say that? Ask you a question. Ask you a question? Yes. Okay. What's I wanted to talk type? to you. What is your type, Q? What is, what your is type? my type? Yes. Um, What's everybody's what is, type? Yeah, I want to go around the table. What is everyone's type? Okay. Uh, my type is fit. Um... Not a thought. I don't like women who party in club or who always out. Um, I like women with some substance. I like women who like to read a book, like a girl that I can take to the library or I can take to a museum. Um, I love amusement parks, so I also like a girl who loves roller coasters. Um, physically, what's your type? Physically, do you, do you have a type? <laughs> That's cute. Uh, <laughs> nah, as long as as long as she not overweight and she has a nice waist to hip ratio, I'm good. What do you think about do you have any? Girl? Christian girls. Christian girls. I mean, I don't really think much about girls based on their religion. If she attractive, she attractive. I'll Are you religious much. at all? Am I religious? No, not as not as much as I used to be. Um, I still have some spirituality in me, but not right. religious. I don't, you know, I'm not in the church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not praying every day like I used to. But, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really big on religion like that. It doesn't matter as long as she's attractive physically. Okay. Alex? Absolute sucker for brunette, bearded. That is my jam. Almost bearded exclusively brunettes. brunettes. I think all of my exes look like they could be brothers. Always brunette, <laughs> bearded. Almost always. Besides, like, two. So, like, Brian? Similar <laughs> to mark. Brian, yes. I like, I like tall, Brian, dark, you're handsome. That is physically, that's my type. So yeah. No, we do not have it. We do not have enough stuff aligned. But wait, you don't want to get married. I would say also I'm very attracted to kind of Eastern European guys um, or Middle Eastern. Okay. What do you think of Romanian dudes? I've yeah, Romanian very attractive. Oh. They're, they're likely going to get off. Their last name rhyme, rhymes with plate. They're also kickboxers. Would either I'm not into bald. I'll say this. I like a full head of hair. Not into bald. Kind of superficial, don't you think? A little superficial, but I think guys are a lot more superficial than they let on to. Agreed. What if you're, you're Wait, bearded ask, brunette? Ask Who's more superficial, men or women? Don't ask me that Women. Question. Women are more superficial. Uh, Almost Question always. for everyone: Who is more superficial? Oh, who is more superficial? Yeah. Um, I will say, I think it's about fifty-fifty. Honestly, it honestly just depends. Yeah, it, depends. it really does. I think it's depends. men, like, because biologically, men tend to value physical attraction. Yeah, more we than, value it more than women do. I think women are willing to make more concessions. Like, if you're really funny. Or you yeah, know, we'll try it. We'll yeah. try yeah, but, yeah, but, but y'all struggle though. That's true. Like, that's my like, biggest problem. I'm not attracted problem. to you, but you make me laugh. My yeah. biggest problem yeah. is I date guys a lot of the time. I date them for personality and not looks, and then I find myself very unattracted to them. But people change me. Like I might meet someone and think he's really hot, and then after I start to get to know him, it's like I'm no, like, I don't even complete know why turn off. I thought he was hot. That's he the thing. I feel so like his personality was unattractive. Kind of when you're first looking, I feel like I I'm a little bit iffy about when people say like I date people for personality because I honestly think everyone dates people for personality. Yeah, yeah, because you could be like yeah. the hottest person as soon as like I see something like. That just gives me the ick. Just. But it's also like when you're going out looking for people to be your significant other, you're looking for attraction initially. 
You need to have initially. like both, but like I think there's an energy thing, and that's why I prefer to meet someone when I'm out and about in life versus like a dating app or something, because then it, you kind of are just judging by like the picture. But if you start having an amazing conversation with someone, they're gonna become like a lot cuter than if you just like yeah, saw them on sure. like an app and were swiping. Do you do you guys ever find that more attractive people are? less what you're looking for in personality I yes i don't want to say i have bad personalities always but yeah. i almost always like the guy at the bar or whatever that i'm attracted to that i point out to my friends and i'm like he's cute they would probably say he's a six or a seven always because they know his personality no they're just or... saying like to me i'm like that's the cutest guy in the bar yeah. and my friends are like my friends if they were gonna rate him would probably say six or seven yeah me and my friends never have the same type at all yeah so, that's yeah. good that's yeah. a really good thing like, i don't have to yeah. worry about if you it. and your friends have the same type <laughs> then that, that, yeah, that could be trouble you're that's you're probably always you. getting into like, a lot arguments. of guys or a lot of girls don't like oh on, we so. have a tts should men adjust their eight uh can you actually i'll do it Wait, I don't know how to do it actually. Do you wanna put it back up, Nick, please? It was a TTS. Oh, I'll pull it up when I sit back down. Okay. Anyway. Go on with what's your type? Well, you have a boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we talking about physical type? Uh, both, physical and personality. Personality, personality I wise. think uh, you know, definitely articulate, intelligent, able to have like a good conversation. I really love traveling, so someone who loves traveling and trying new things. I love trying new foods and um, just kind of adventurous things in general. Mm -hmm. Hiking, nature, but yeah, someone who is. Um, kind of willing to, to learn. Um, I think life is all about learning. So definitely Absolutely. that. From a physical standpoint, uh, height is important to me. So probably someone who's at least a few inches taller than me. How tall um, are you? I'm 5'6", so I'd say okay, like yeah. eh, at least like 5'9", five 5'10", five something like that. It's reasonable. Yeah. And uh, yeah, fit, someone who takes care of their, their body. Um, and uh, I like beards, too. So. <laughs> Beard gang. That's right. <laughs> um, so for physical, I like a beard. So we connect in Everyone that. likes beards. I like a beard. Days. I have, I mean, I like a fit. I like someone who, like, can, like I wouldn't say fit. Like, you don't have to be, like, jacked out, but you do just have be healthy, to. healthy, you know? Yeah, because I don't really... It's just not a turn on if you're not. But for what was the other one? Is physical? Just personal. Yeah, physical. personality. Physical and personality. Um, you gotta be funny, or at least like try. Try to be. Um, funny. <laughs> <laughs> try and fail. It's okay. Like <laughs> try to be funny. Um, you have to be like, I don't know, like adventurous. You have to be willing to like explore. Like you can't be the type that's like, oh no, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't like that if you don't like to explore your options, like. Yeah, I get you. With like the beard thing, just like a random question, have you ever found it like giving you like acne? Oh my God, not acne, but I will, it looks like carpet oh burn. Oh my God. Yes, and it because hurts. I was gonna right say, here. I yeah. feel like, like beards, like, they, they are, I could say they're attractive, but every like when my boyfriend certain. grows out his facial hair a little bit, I notice that I always just get like a pimple there. Yeah, I get itchy. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, Dry There's skin. like a little bit of itch. It needs to be like a little bit longer. When it's too short, it's just yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah. It's attractive it's but not functional. But I like yeah. when it's all grown <laughs> out. Is yeah. Well, she uh, likes long blonde hair and yeah. man. Right, we know we know her type. <laughs> yeah. Like Chris Hemsworth. I do not Chris like Hemsworth. long hair on guys. Really? Uh, I love long hair so much. No, I we're okay with it. I've found guys attractive that have long hair, but. Uh, personal preference I wouldn't like it either I think because like I don't know there's something about it like we're supposed to be like cavemen living off the land like I don't know <laughs> it's just like it's a lot hotter to me yeah okay personality wise what do you look um, for them sense of humor is like a huge huge thing for me mm -hmm. but there's also like an energetic perspective like I think there's some people that you meet that just 
bring your ener- brings your energy up right away and you're just like laughing and all the same page and then there's some people that just drain your energy so I think that's like super important which is also why I prefer to meet people in real life but yeah that's great yeah like deal breakers sense of humor I could never date a liberal or a moderate ever <laughs> yeah I, I I think I got that from like the last yeah I guess you, you were on yeah well I feel like one thing that I've not even that I've looked for in someone, but I've just found being in a relationship with my boyfriend now was comfort and not just comfort in the way that it's just kind of like, oh, I feel comfortable just talking to you and telling you how I feel that, but also the fact that I'm like able to just come home from like a really long day of work, just be a excited. lot of stress, be excited to come home, be happy to come home. And the second I walk through the door, he's just like waiting there, like relieving my stress, you know? in that kind of comfort i believe in like what isaac i know he's not here anymore but what he said about like it being your best friend i feel Mm -hmm. like when you're in like a good relationship like they're like your best friend you know and you you need the sexual aspect of it too but like i don't know that's how i feel about like my current relationship right now like we were best friends before we ever were in a relationship and with that being it's just like we do everything together and we genuinely like doing everything together. Yeah. People are always like, don't you guys get or ever get like tired of each other? Like, don't you ever need like a break from each other? And it's like, no, he's my best friend. Like I want to do everything with him. Like I'm right. happy doing everything. I don't with think him. you should feel like you need to, or I just think that's probably not your person. It's like the place exactly. where you can con- come home to and be yourself because out in the world, depending on, you know, the situation, whether work, friends, family, you're always going to have mm-hmm. some sort of conflict or maybe some defenses up. So yeah. having that person where you can just come home to and kind of be fully vulnerable and not have to have your defenses up, I think that's kind of oh, the right. best friend thing. It sounds like that's what you're describing. Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes I find me. myself rushing home because I'm like, yeah. it's been a stressful so day. Like, I don't do want to be, I don't want to see anybody else. Do you and your boyfriend live together? Yeah. Oh, nice. Me too. We've lived together for like two years now. I think a good sign of that too is when you just like can't something funny or weird happens during the day and you just like can't wait to can't wait to go home until like yeah. babe guess what happened <laughs> I'm sorry to have abandoned you here Q it's okay I know I was trying to cope it was it's it was the most dull conversation I've heard all night Oh, wow. What? You we were getting really deep there, We were getting right? into we it. Only, I, I was went, about to we say, like, I want a question. spazzy guy that, like, let, has Spongebob humor. That's my type. Like, super weird, like, more going than me, like, spazzy. What's your, what's your ideal person? Oh, hold on. I have a oh, list yeah. written. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Let me see. Very precise. Precise. Like, physical, Lies. physical, yeah. and... I should imagine, to be honest. I can't even imagine. Really <laughs> to be I really, honest, I really, really don't know. I don't know, but I feel like this is where you're about to like put in a dig. Like, yeah, I can, I can only see you dating cave trolls, Brian. Um, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, like, I do really. Like yeah, that. Brian. I don't really like you, so I'm just gonna say that. But you, you don't really date like me either, women. so it's fine. Like. I don't dislike you. You're just. You're, we're just not each other's just types. You. You're just you, you know? Yeah, it's, and you're uh, just you. It's just, you know. There's people I don't I'm like a like, lot, like a lot, a lot, lot worse. Oh, you dislike me? No, I'm it's saying okay I, I just like a, like a lot more people. You're like, <laughs> you're not like crazy, middle. crazy on the low. You're not her top five. I'm in the, I'm in the middle? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So we're talking physical appearance. Uh... Let's see. So, okay, you have deal breaker, deal maker, slight preference, strong preference. So, slight, very slight preference for dark hair, very slight preference for blue eyes. But like, this is not like I, I date women with dark eyes. Like, I don't really care. Uh, medium preference for short women. The shorter, the better. So, I'm trying to. If any of you know a dwarf, like, hook it up. <laughs> I'm I'm trying. To, it's not even like Brenna does, but it's a man. <laughs> Being so. so real. I'm so down for yeah. to go with the dwarf. Like um, four, like I'm trying to. Four feet. Why is that nine? Fun size. Hello. I you know? like being. She can tiny. spin around. I like being tiny, but I'm yeah, not in the like same that way that tiny. women women like to be tiny. Like yeah. it kind of works in the opposite way. Like if she's petite. Yeah. 
I'm down for so I can throw her around or whatever the fuck, you know. In like a, I, I don't have blue eyes and way. I don't have brown hair and I'm not like midget tiny, but like are you describing how me? much how much do you weigh <laughs> why are you asking like you're because i'm interested. like wait 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 bro you're I'm engaged dude i'm not interested just be like, honest you but actually she doesn't have the but I'm, I'm also like just wait wait, wait i don't have blue eyes and i don't have brown hair it's hard to find a blonde with green eyes you don't dye your hair i can see the yeah of course i dye my hair but yeah, like so i'm blonde right now no you're not blonde right now you want you're... a natural blonde no, I don't want a blonde at all. You want a natural hair. I prefer dark lighter. hair. I thought you said, said you didn't prefer dark no, hair. No, I prefer dark hair. Slight preference for dark hair. And wait, what about the blue eyes? Slight preference for blue eyes. Oh, okay. But it, it's not like... That's so that very low. Well, that was Brenna then. Were you, you were, mm. She has dark hair and blue eyes. <laughs> okay. Just keep going um, with your list and we'll figure it out. Large labia. The bigger, the better. Right. Soft spoken. Uh, okay, so clearly not me. <laughs> mm, definitely. Bro, I can't get the, like, bro, you trying, what, what's up? No. It's no. obvious you're, like, super into me. Relax, dude. <laughs> I'm not into dad bods. What? I, I do have a dad bod right I'm now. I'm not need, into dad bods. I need bods, to lose a bit of so. weight. I've been so I stressed. Am. I am. So, just throwing that you out. Have green eyes or blue eyes? Hazel. She has hazel eyes. She's a brunette. How tall are you? She's, Five four. She's pretty Too short. Tall. Too tall. Too tall. I'm no, sorry. I'm not yeah. saying that for Brian. I'm just saying in general, you need to though. Be legally, I like legally that a midget. Oh shit! I, oh fuck! Uh, dwarf. Excuse yeah, me. Excuse me. Did not you're mean canceled to say, now. I'm fucking canceled. Fuck it. Little, little person. person. Little person is the correct. Um, her parents made her do at least three years of violin or cello. Very what? important. What? Oh, Both violin. specific instruments yes. or what, any what instrument? What instrument does do not you count. play? Piano. I, d- okay. I did a little bit of piano. Okay. Um, what about the triangle? Oh, what? no makeup, no plastic surgery, no fake tits, no lipo, no BBL, no lip injections, um, minimal makeup, no fake nails. S- slight preference for, uh, like, if she has fake nails, whatever. It's, <laughs> it's all accepted. You literally You're going to find this girl. No, I know film. exactly where Brian's going to find this girl. A national park is where... Like an this, outdoorsy chick? Yes, outdoor. that's who you're describing exactly. I don't Didn't like... did you say previously that you like, don't like outdoorsy chicks? I don't really chicks. like outdoorsy oh my God. chicks because they be trying to camp and shit. I don't know. <laughs> Brian's a glam. I'm not trying to camp. I don't like camping. camping. Or like a hiker. They don't like to camp. They just, they're just outside. You literally last show asked me how I wipe myself after taking a shit with my nails without getting yeah, bro, dirty. Yeah, bro, your fucking giant and I'm just nails, like, dude. Do, why do you have this problem without your without long nails? And you're like, well, she must have a really big problem if it happens to me on the daily, and I don't even have those things. Like, yeah, just I've just who heard. Comes up with I've it? heard anecdotes from chicks who got the long ass fake nails. That they gotta wipe a certain way, my I'm, dude. Yeah, you have to. Res- no, what you actually rap. is yeah. crazier? I, I don't. That doesn't. But have you ever heard? But like- what I think is crazier is how I can take my contacts in and out with them. That's yeah, yikes. That's, that's, that's like yikes. that's like that's I think a crazier crazy. thing. That's crazy. Order in the court. <laughs> Stochastic decay donated sixty nine dollars. Thank you, man. Stochastic decay is morbidly obese. However. Stochastic Sweet. decay has a lot of opportunities to eat junk food. Based on the ratio of opportunities, I stochastic decay thing. doesn't actually eat that much. <laughs> stochastic <laughs> decay is going yeah, to start why, eating why, more. Like, why? I don't well, get you're to obese, more, it's about right, the if ratio. You're mobi- but to be morbidly, morbidly obese, then you actually did have to have ate a lot more than you're eating. Oh. Cameron Seardon donated $70. For men aged late 30s, early 40s, who are still attracted to girls 18 to 22, would you say it gets harder as we get older? Should we scale our age to older women? Should we scale our age? Wait. Yeah, For you should men definitely aged should scale your should, should, should older men try to be attracted to older women as they get I older? Don't, I wouldn't say it gets harder as men get older because younger women look for older men. Right. Well, I'm I mean, you need to, to like, say. once you start getting into your 30s and 40s, like, you can't be, like, you need to be really solid if you're going to be, tr- like, dating younger women. 
you like it's it's like it makes sense to be attracted to younger women younger women look are younger and are attractive. prettier yeah. generally but it should be a less, but less, less bodies but then you also baggage, if intellectual more compatibility more is fertility. important to you yeah. you may be in like different places in your life so then from that standpoint maybe not it just depends on what you're looking for i think what's your standpoint on like cosmetic surgery do you find it unattractive yes like very unattractive Let's is it like a deal breaker like fucking yes. based. Okay. no offense Kristen Christy I sorry I, the only I'm thing sorry, I have Christy. are my boobs and I just got them six weeks ago I don't have anything in my face and I look great for 33 I'm not like pro plastic surgery but I'm not against getting a boob job or if if someone really needs a nose job or something like I'm not against it I don't I don't have to do that. I just got the boobs because I like them. Do you think you can like easily tell when a girl has something done? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look natural. <coughs> it looks asymmetrical. And like I'm going to use you as an example. I can tell those aren't yours. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. There's six weeks. They haven't even dropped yet. <laughs> They're literally just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on Tuesday. Tuesday was the first day that I could actually go without wearing a compression bra and officially start working out again. But, like, look at my face. Like, I don't have work done to my face. I don't have any plastic. It doesn't matter! I don't have any Botox. I don't have any filler. Pretty proud of my face for 33. All right, I'm going to read these chats, and we're going to try to wrap this. Okay, should men adjust their age range as they, oh, as they older? I think we just... What, no, this, if, what if they're in their late 30s, early 40s, and are still attracted to girls 18 to 22? Oh, did... I think we just read that one. Yeah, no, that it, it was uh, a one. it was a little I different. I definitely but do think though that the older you get, you should adjust it a little bit higher. Like, but I feel like for ratio, men, you know it doesn't I mean? really matter because they're like the. I feel like the older men get, they're always gonna be desired by like younger women. That's true. Mm. Yeah, but we have to think about it in the context of of everyday life as well. Like, they can be attracted to eighteen to twenty two year olds, but pursuing is different you really have to have your shit together and you have to be really really attractive at that age to attract yeah. a woman that young so, so yeah i mean that's uh, like leonardo dicaprio stuff. i was i was right. just thinking yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> also, exactly and i mean, mean he's leo so he also should, attracts the younger woman because he has that status well, yeah, exactly. right in his status yeah. yeah exactly but should men adjust their age range as they get older well if you're not attractive enough as an older guy, you said late 30s, early 40s, to get a younger woman, then yeah, I mean, unless you just don't want, like unless you're just purely, absolutely 100% not attracted to older women, but yeah, if you can't get women 18 to 22, then you don't you probably, have choice. You don't, you're not in a very strong negotiating position, so. And speaking of like the plastic surgery thing, I think there's a lot of girls that get plastic surgery or like preventative Botox or whatever, way too young, and they start actually looking older than the girls that don't do that stuff, so. Yeah. This, uh, also this idea that plastic surgery makes women look younger it's you look no, the I don't exact. Think it it's the BBO culture. You like the same wants age, the hourglass. It makes your face look wider. Here's usually. here's a hot take when it comes to plastic surgery. I think it makes women look worse. I, I do, do too. I do too. So too. I do, I do too. too. It's but not even boobs, a neutral. That's the only thing I more so on like your face. Though so I think better. it makes you look yeah. a lot worse. Yeah. All right, we have a chat here. Madison, can you read this one? The light of a reason can move us towards God, but through faith we are pierced by God's unapproachable light. For when we contemplate, is there a first principle? I'll pull back up. The mind has already ascended beyond itself. God is beyond knowledge and unknowing. All right, there you have that. Okay, we have Sniper Dose. Uh, can you read this one? Brian, one person I would like for you to bring on the panel is at Vanessa Eisenman. She's OF an OF model, model. Street vendor activist, donates all her OF earnings to charity and civil rights organizations. I'm calling bullshit on that. All her earnings? Yeah. I don't know. Just I'd like, like yeah, just like it's all BLM's really earnings went around. to the black community. Girls are going around. They're Baby buying stuff here, and they're you, like, you guess how it. I pay for it. Yeah. Go ahead. Please bring Chrissy back as a regular. She adds comedic humor. Need a surgery update, too. Cool. I just got these, though, but I... <laughs> I like being funny is the best compliment for me I could get. So way, way, way more than looks. So. All right, we have Jay Allen here. I think he meant to send this as 
Craziest place you've done the deed, go. A go lighthouse ahead. in Hawaii, a public lighthouse in Hawaii. I don't know if I can answer. Because you're embarrassed or no, you just haven't it wasn't, done it anywhere? It just, it's not with the guy I'm with. That's okay. Oh. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> I don't have any. I've never done the deed in a crazy place. Beach? No, not even. <laughs> my public lighthouse video is on my OnlyFans if you uh, <laughs> wanted to see what it looked like. And it was way, way before I made my OnlyFans. My hair is black in it. It was when I was a Pilates instructor. And it is with my ex-boyfriend. Haram. Uh, Q? Aquarium. Aquar wow. Aquarium. Wow. In, in the actual water? Or? No. No. no like, in the water with the fish, yes. Yeah, with the shark. Like those dark <laughs> tunnels, that, those talking. dark tunnels that you walk through, like right before you go in, it was a secluded corner. I know exactly what kind of tunnel she had. In, know, she had on a sundress. I was horny. I, it's where, like, I like it's where, that. Like, the turtles and stuff are, you know, that are in the <laughs> little case. Yeah. What would you have done if someone came by? Were you, like, thinking about that at all? I'd go ahead and finish what I was doing. It's already too late at that point. I'm like, you already I'd just caught. be like, don't tell nobody, bro. <laughs> I'm stealing that idea for a video. I'm not going to lie. I just saw a video on TikTok of this, like, couple getting, like, confronted by the cops because they did it on, like, a Ferris wheel. And they got like, arrested? Yeah. Yeah, and, like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was just on a Don't first deal when I got here, and um, me and Brenna were saying, like, we think people, like, actually, like, fuck on these things all the time. Yeah. Oh, and Ferris wheels. They make you take your picture before, for the ride, before the Ferris wheel, because I think they don't accidentally want to get it out on film, because all the pictures are, like, out front. Yeah, I've had I'm the not thought, sure. like, yeah, a couple wait. times. Huh? Uh, the beach, huh? for me. Huh? Oh, whoops. What? Okay. The beach. Uh, Yeah. It. Hey Brian, any plans on Michael Knowles coming back on the show? Uh, Still waiting for the much anticipated. Wait, hold on. I'll what time at the beach? Like, was there a lot of people there? Or was no, it, it was like, nighttime, so I was secluded. <laughs> What's that? Like pretty secluded. Yeah, there weren't there weren't other people. Okay. Oh, did you want to finish this, Maddie? Waiting for the much anticipated Brett Cooper episode. Also, do you guys still think a courier package delivery driver is a red flag for a profession? Uh, no, mm -hmm. to that last part. Uh, Michael Knowles, maybe. I, we were gonna have him on a while ago, but like it fell through, and then uh, we'll, we'll try to get him back on. We are gonna have on Thursday the seventh. We're gonna do an off day. Thursday the seventh. We're gonna have. I don't want to reveal it. Give a hint. Don't reveal it. Yeah, I'm not going to reveal it, but we are going to have an, uh, a Daily Wire guest on the 7th. Pretty sure. Um, okay, I think we're all caught up. Uh, oh, wait, we have this. Question for the blue dress. Who is Aaron Pizzi, Terrence Pop, or Tom Likens? Your hit, YouTube hit, nothing not said before. Good luck, have fun. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> Sorry. From New Zealand. Okay. Uh, thank you, Angry Casper. Thank you for the membership. Appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> any final thoughts, anybody? Can we see what your main girl looks like? <laughs> yeah. Not on stream. But like, can right. you show just us? Like, just pass it around. Nobody After the show, if he wants to. Yeah, I can show you all that. Okay, show. cool. Why do you think? I just want to see. I'm just curious. You're so judgmental, Kristen. You're so judgmental. No, I really just want to see. Wait, what is your type? Did you answer that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah was I think I missed it, but yeah, it's, yeah. I just like an attractive girl who's not overweight, who has a good waist to hip ratio. Okay. And I like I like substance, so I like somebody I can go to the library with, or I can go to the museum with. Sub I agree with the substance thing. I hate yeah. when I for can drag only queen have story hour. Or, yeah. Huh. I said for drag queen story hour. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the after show. We will see you Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific with uh, for the American Gladiator special edition, whatever, Dating Talk podcast. Uh, it's going to be a little different than our normal panel. So uh, if you fuck with it, sweet. If not, no worries. Uh, 07's in the chat. Good night, boys. Good night, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.